what do we want to call this? Final poop, poopination. Because uh, uh, let's face it, we are probably going to die here quite frequently. Let's go ahead and turn it to hard, because that is what we are going to be playing. What the hell? Okay, let's rename it again. Final poopination. Sure. Like the, like the film. Final Destination. But instead of, instead of people dying because uh, a fate is spiteful and greedy, it's poo. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves once again tree capitated because it is absolutely fantastic. Done. Awesome. Trade rebalance. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if we'll use this. I think these are experimental. We won't use them just yet. We'll use them later. Okay, now that that is done, everything is fine. Let's create a brand new world. This is going to be our forever world, by the way. We are no longer going to be playing hardcore Minecraft because it's really unforgiving. Like, really unforgiving. Oh. God roll. Nice. Oh, I love this. Oh, nice. We actually just spawned at... Oh, yuck, there's a swamp on the horizon. Oh. I don't want to look at this from my castle. Whoa, oh my god. What the hell is that? Is that a flying island? Like, unironically, is that actually a flying island? I think it, I think it may be. It is. What the hell is this? What is this? Is that a dog? Uh. Okay, I'm coming up. We're getting a nice wee view. Okay, the swamp has kind of ruined the scenery of this area just a, a, just a smidge, but it seems like the rest of the area is actually pretty nice. What the hell is that? That's so weird. Maybe we want to stick like some vines up there so we can climb up there, but I don't know if I like it, actually. I don't know if I, I want to live up there. There is a dog here. I'm kind of suspicious of it. Let's punch a tree. That is probably what we should be doing, right? We should punch trees. Yeah, that was my first reaction after not playing Minecraft in many years. What, is that a flying island? <laughs> okay, so we can now make ourselves an axe and we can start utilizing tree cap data, which I've only got in store because we have to keep restarting the early game and I want to just blast through all of the tree chopping as fast as we can to get a base. Okay, done. We've got six logs. We're going to snap one of them off. Not in a, not in a final poopination wipe. Oh my god, the swamp is so big. Ugh. That is revolting. I don't want to look at this. Hey, there's a sunken ship just... What the hell is that, actually? Is that a sunken ship? It's a, there's something in the water just over here. There's something in the water. Okay. Maybe we'll want to make, like, an underwater base this time, because going up in the mountains did not serve us well at all. What the hell is that? There's something, like, peeking above the surface. It might just be a block, though. I, I just don't know. Right. Still kind of, like... Trying to gauge where we want to set up base, right? I think we'll move away from the swamp because it looks like ass and I do not like swamps whatsoever. It's just a revolting place to be. And it spawns witches who are very unforgiving in terms of combat. Okay, we've unlocked some new stuff. A little bit of frame drop, isn't there? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, am I? Maybe we want to turn the uh, chunk generation down just a smidge. Where is it? Uh, video settings, right? We'll turn the simulation down to like 16, render distance down to 20. That should probably do it. Probably. How's that? Oh, that is significantly better. Awesome. There is something in the distance there. We need one of those uh, spyglass things that I, I read about, don't we? What is that? I mean, we can actually make a boat now, can't we? Because we've got enough wood to do so. Let's just turn all of these into planks because it's handy. We'll make ourselves a crafting bench and we'll place this bad boy down right there. Now we'll make ourselves a boat, I think. Yep, good. Boat, boat, done. Put this in the ocean. We'll get into it. Let's go check this thing out. I don't know what it is. Get a bed before it's nighttime or you have to hide underground. Uh, it doesn't matter if we die at this point. So I think we could probably actually just get away with uh, fiddling around until we get ourselves a somewhat permanent base. What is that? There's magma down there. That's a little bit sus. What is this thing? Is that supposed to be like the top of a ship? Oh, it's an underwater portal. What the hell? Seriously? How do we get out? Uh. Uh. Okay, I've demolished some kelp. I've thrown some kelp. 
I'm literally hitting every. Uh, what the hell was that? Okay, let's look in this. Oh, nice. We already have a weapon, some golden armor, a bunch of nice crap. Okay, let's break this down so we don't have to, like, swim back. And then we'll get out of here. Are these gold blocks? Whoa! Gold blocks much? Sick! We've got some gold blocks right here. Uh, let's go ahead and put down this boat, and we'll get into it, and now we'll go away. Now, we took a lot of damage. I didn't actually do anything to the boat, so I think there may have been, like, some kind of animal attacking us. Uh, what's this way? This looks like alpine. We probably don't want to set up at the alpine region. We probably... Maybe actually an underwater base would be a really good idea. But it looks sick as well. Maybe we should find somewhere that's kind of, like, really pretty underwater. What is that? There's something underwater on the distance over there as well. Let's go check it out. What's the worst that can happen? I don't think we got a pickaxe. No, we didn't get a pickaxe. We got an enchanted shovel. Golden shovel. And we got an enchanted sword, which is actually a pretty damn good start. Awesome. This is very shallow ocean, isn't it? I feel like if we are going to make like an underwater... Oh, that's deep. Oh, that is really deep. Maybe we set a base up down there. There's like a, a light down there too. What are they? Sharks? Dolphins? If they're sharks, I'm already terrified. What is this thing? Is this like a temple? What's that? Sick! Okay, someone has to... Oh, control. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's how we get through. What? Oh, God, there's zombies! I'm off! <laughs> Piss on that! Light it! <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, that's the uh, golden thing that we already found. Ha! If you want an underwater base, you'll have to get an ocean hard that lets you breathe underwater. No. I have set up a couple of underwater bases in my, in my lifetime. The trick is to either find sponges and kind of like use doors to encroach outwards and make everything dry from the inside. Uh, and then kind of like build around that with glass. That's exactly what I want to do. But maybe we won't do that. Okay, good. Little island here, this is kind of cool. Move that dirt block because I don't like how it looks. I see a little dolphin off in the distance over there, little friendly dolphin guy. What is that? Is that another tower? Sweet lord, this place is rife with things. Look at all the things that we can do here. It's a big ocean as well, actually. I do really like this. What is that? I think that might be a dirt mound, but I think it might be worth checking out. Ah! We'll just fill in the blocks, then break them. Yeah, that's probably actually what we are going to be doing. We'll fill them in with doors, because they do two blocks at a time, and it's really easy to bust them down after you encase them, and then you just progressively kind of like encase outwards. That's how I do it. I don't know if it's different in Bedrock since I play in Java. This is, this is Java. We're not playing in Bedrock. We started in Bedrock for a little bit, but quite frankly, the lack of features was a little bit underwhelming, so we, we didn't... Hey, that's cool. There's like an island of birch over there. Maybe we need to get a car top. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Oh, buried treasure already. A lot of paper. Perfect. We got some books. We can set up a uh, bookshelf already, which is pretty cool. Uh, don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, well. And we want to go in here, don't we? We want to see if there's like a second chest. Because the second chest usually has good stuff in it. Somebody told me. Oh, nice. Perfect. What's in here? Yes! Rotten flesh. Perfect. We also got a suspicious soup. A lot of food, actually. This is just absolutely fine and dandy. I'm going to... I'm going to use this here leather cap. It gives us a plus two oxygen bonus, which is awesome. I love that so much. Let's see how much we can breathe now. Go down. That is potent. What the hell? We're not losing any little breath bubbles. Okay, we're losing them very slowly. I, th I think we are actually getting to a point where if this were a roguelite, we would be saying, yes, let's build an underwater base. Oh, I like the look of this. What is that? It's like red trees over there. Cool. Oh, no, a buried treasure? It's good, huh? We just found so much cool stuff. Whoa, look at this place. We found an archipelago. I got the honeymoon phase going on. I'm pretty sure those are barracuda or fish. I'd be pretty happy actually to live with fish. What about down there? There's a big trench down kind of like under the water here. Oh, that is deep. Maybe we could kind of like 
set up a little base down south there. South side. I think we also may have found like a, a mushroom area right here. Go ahead and do a crouch. What do we got? There are mushrooms here. Maybe we set up our base. Look at all these gigantic trees though. Holy hell. We gotta like, oh, we gotta get an ax to chop them down. We got to also cook this kale, right? So we can eat it. I think that's, that's the thing. Big mushrooms. We found a, this is a wealth of resources. We've even got sugar cane straight off the bat. This is great. What a start. If this were hardcore, we'd basically have everything just made by this point, right? And since we already know how to navigate with a boat, we could probably just set up our base here and then just kind of like go around the archipelago, right? I like this. I really like this area. I feel so good. Jesus, that is it. No, I didn't actually uh, know that there was just a single trunk birch tree. Okay, so we've got a little forested area here. We might want to set up here. I do really like the idea of this little island. Looks good. It does, doesn't it? Nice, calm game and nice, calm music. Asking Alexandria. Well, it can be calm. I've got a couple of calm songs. I'm going to be uh, rotating Asking Alexandria's albums across the stream as well, because they do slap uh, like over and over and over again. Is this a path? What the hell is this? got a weird sound okay sun's going down a little bit of mossy cobble here is there something under here no no there is not oh i might be wrong i might be wrong there may actually be something beneath here there was not okay let's go ahead and get a crafting bench set up right in the middle of this very dense and unwelcoming forest we'll get this sword on our hotbar right here what does it do it is Bane of arthropods. So it's really, really good at killing the spiders that spawn around here. Let's put this somewhere where we won't lose it, like right on the shore, I suppose. Even though we could just like chop a single tree down and immediately replenish a billion crafting benches. Come over here into the birch limbs. The birch beach. Birch beach. I, I do like that. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves some sticks so we can make ourselves a single axe. And what we are going to do with this is we're going to start cutting some trees down so we get a big bit of wood. Then we're going to make a nice wee base here. It's not going to be our first base. It's not going to be our, like, permanent base, but... Wait, what the hell? Is tree capitator not, like, enabled? What the hell's going on here? Resource packs. No, it is not. Okay, we're going to go back to the menu really quickly. And we're going to enable tree capitator because apparently it just doesn't want to work. Uh, final purpination. Let's go ahead and edit it. Where do we do this? Open world folder. Sure, let's try that. Data packs. Does it contain it? Yes, it does actually contain tree capitator right here, but it seems like it won't actually allow us to enable it. Why? Why? What, why would it just, like, break a save like that? Maybe I uh, hit it in the wrong place. But it also wasn't popping up in the uh, settings either. That one hardcore technical player doing his mob farming machine makes a hole down to the core. Oh my god. Yes! I saw spider's eyes off in the distance. Let's like mine out the bottom log of something. Okay, tree cap data is actually enabled. We just, I don't think we hit out the bottom log. I think it should have worked though. I feel like it really realistically should have worked. We'll make kind of like a, we'll use all of the wood available to us. Want to grab those sticks as well. We'll kind of like try and make ourselves a nice birch house. Good. We also need to kill some sheep, uh, otherwise we're going to have to try and survive this night, which might be just a little bit too fiddly. Let's go ahead, bust all of these down, we'll get a bunch of birch logs, so at least we can do the framing. Okay, is it working now? Yes! Okay, excellent. It just did break for some strange reason. Okay, we've got an enderman over there, that's not amazing. Oh, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Ah, right, looks like he's doing absolutely fine. Let's go back to mining up these trees right here. Free cash money. Get this one as well. Okay. We don't have much durability left on our axe. Let's just use it to take this guy out. Okay. I tried to drop assassinate him and it didn't quite work. This guy's slow as hell. Is he supposed to be that slow? Whoa. There we go. I just got the achievement monster hunter. He dropped something as well. What'd he drop? He dropped a goodie. I think he dropped a golden nugget or a potato. There is suspicious stew here. I don't know if we should be eating that. Might not be a good idea. How much of these birch planks do we have? We've got less than a stack. We probably want to maybe get a few more, right? So let's get ourselves another one of these axes. And we probably also want to get ourselves, while we're here, some kind of pickaxe as well, don't we? 
made of wood so that we can get a little bit of cobble and then we can make a stone pickaxe. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, it seems pretty safe so far. Whoop. Here we go. To recap, that is so cool. I love this mod so much. He dropped the chopper. I did drop the chopper. And so did the... So did the monster, actually. The monster also dropped the chopper. A lot of things are dropping choppers here. Okay, good. Dropping more choppers than uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Go ahead and bust down a couple more of these birch trees. Then I think I'll just kind of like focus on the larger ones. On these... Oh my god! Okay, first jump scare. Let's go ahead and try and beat this thing to death. Crit. Crit. Okay, made a little bit of a mess. I heard that zombie. He kind of like panicked me a little bit. I'm trying to do crits. We got to do crits. I think this uh, also has a speed increase as well. Definitely want to patch this in eventually. It's hideous. A big scar on the land. Yuck. Ew. I hate scars. I hate scars on the land. Oh, he dropped the copper. Eat something before you can't run? Yeah, that's probably actually a really good idea. What do we want to waste? I'll eat some carrots. I won't we eat. Oh, we also got a flint and steel, which is pretty funny. I'll eat some of these here carrots. Hey, would you look at that? Over there. I think I see. Do you guys see that? I think I see an arthropod. You know, we've actually got the sword that is the bane of arthropods. And I also think that we kind of want. Yeah, it is bane of arthropods. Nice. Oh, piss off. Skellingtons and a creeper. Wow. He hit like a truck and we're almost dead. Oh, I'm running. I'm running away. Oh my God. If we actually die here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's build up. Hopefully with a couple of bit. We don't have enough. Let's build up with this right here. Oh, damn it. So close. So close. Okay. We didn't have a bed, which is absolutely fine. We lost all of our gear, but we also don't know which direction we went in. Let's go ahead and punch a tree. Hopefully it didn't like go into a grave or something like that. We'll make another boat. I think making another boat and then just kind of like holding out in the water would probably be the best idea. Okay. Two and three. I didn't realize you'd uh, lose all your things when you die in, in hard. Probably makes a lot of sense, actually. Whoops. I didn't actually want to place that down whatsoever. Okay, we're being hit by a uh, zombie. That's not amazing. And there's also a creeper just over here. That's also a little bit crap. Let's get onto the top of one of these trees, I think. Like this one here. I know that they can't jump. So let's exploit that. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Let's go ahead and turn these into planks right here. Done. And we'll get a single crafting bench on the top of this tree. Like so. I don't even think spiders can get up here, to be honest. Let's get another boat made up. Good. And now we're just going to gap it all the way to get our gear. Okay, there is a creeper down there. Let's try and trigger him. I kind of triggered it. Whoa. Damn it. There we go. Excellent. All right, we're going to go this way because I'm pretty sure this is the direction that our stuff was in. <sighs> eat something before you can't run. I did eat lots and lots of things. What do you mean you told me? I ate half the carrots we had in our inventory. It wasn't running, that was the issue. It was trying to find cover from those skeletons who really, they, they hit way harder than you'd think they would. For a ranged enemy that hits nine out of 10 shots as just an aimbot, it happens. Your stuff despawns after five minutes, move quickly. Yeah, I know. I, played, I have played this game a lot in the past. I didn't play it past 2018 though. That's kind of where I, I took my hiatus from Minecraft because I had a copper. I didn't understand what it was for, and I was also playing Bedrock, so Copper, apparently it's used for automation, a lot of people in chat have been telling me during the hardcore playthroughs. Uh, unfortunately, automation doesn't work in Bedrock. It's uh, dedicated to a single chunk, all of the automation, so if you don't get it, you kind of, um, if you don't get all of your machinery in one chunk, it won't work when you leave the area. Do you remember where you died? Uh, yes, we had this little archipelago over here. I'm kind of like sailing towards it right this second. I always forget when I die. Uh, we realistically probably should have a map by this point. But we had so much good stuff, I'm actually not going to let it go. Okay, night is almost over as well, which is just fantastic. However, we did die in a forest, which is not amazing. Not amazing whatsoever. Okay, so if you follow the shore... I also like this island right here, actually. That's a nice... I oh, no, actually, never mind. I see swamp. I just saw two skeletons and a spider swarm uh, spawn over there, too. Yeah, that's just a giant cavern, actually. That is the uh, worst place that we could set up. All right, where are we here? This is not really a part of the archipelago that we found ourselves at. we got to keep on going, I think. 
Keep on skirting around the edges. I see another little uh, portal down there. A lot of resources in this ocean. Got to be said. Okay, there's some jungle biome just over there. I don't really care about jungle biome. What the hell was that sound? Is that a dolphin? Weird. What a weird sound. Uh, the night is almost over, though. Jesus, that looks like a mess. There's no way in hell we're setting up our base there. That is actually disgusting to look at. I hate that. I hate that so much. Sunrise! Beautiful. Oh, the forest... The hell was that? Did I just hit a... Did I just hit the dolphin? There's a little bit of magma over there, so that forest is quite likely going to burn down. Yuck! What is that? Gross! I don't want to see that. Ew. Okay, I think we're actually pretty close to our little archipelago just over here. Time is running out. We're going as fast as we can. What is that sound? There is literally no faster way of going there, by the way. Especially without a map. So this is kind of where we started to find the area, wasn't it? We didn't see that disgusting chunk of abhorrence. All right, there is a, there's also a savanna over there. Maybe we've gone a little bit too far in one direction. And we have to kind of like backtrack slightly further this way. There's more swamp over there. Good grief. This spawn is actually kind of a little bit yucky. What is that? Is that a castle? Holy hell, is that actually a castle? Or is that like a village? Okay, I'm also pretty sure that I keep hitting some kind of dolphin. Oh, there is a dolphin here following me. Nice! A little bit of loneliness, uh, kind of shaken off. Why is it lit up underneath the ocean there? That's concerning. What could possibly be doing that? What are those things? What's lighting up down there? There's like a couple of, like, crystal spawns, I think. And they're, they're projecting out light. Maybe we could just take some of that. Okay, so we've probably lost all of our things, but we have actually found a gigantic desert and a village. I feel like we turn back, we loot the village, because the only thing we really had was a golden sword. Damn, I drifted around there like a pro. We only really had a sword, we had a couple of carrots. Pfft, big whoop. We'll find more carrots. I just want to get a lay of the land first, maybe find somewhere a little bit more forgiving to set up our base. I know we had that sunken treasure map, but if we have to kind of like randomly stumble upon it, I won't feel too bad about it. That does look really cool though, doesn't it? Maybe we want to set up our base over there. Possibly. All right, we're going to go and loot this here village. What is that? Two rabbits doing, a, doing some buggering. A little bit of buggery with these two rabbits. Oh, we've interrupted the orgy, which is probably actually good because one of them was really small. So I, do, I don't necessarily think that was a, a legal buggery that we just saw. Okay, it looks like they've got themselves a little bit of a sugarcane farm here. Let's just go ahead and speed up some of their uh, sugarcane acquisition because we are going to need a lot of it, I think, in the future. Some right here, all around the place. I'm basically going to try and terraform to our advantage as much as we possibly can as well because I know we're going to be doing a lot of exploring when it comes to this game. Hey, we've got food already sorted. There's lots of hay over here. What we don't have is an axe to tree capitate with. Okay, we'll bust all these down because we can turn each one of these into nine wheat, which is three bread per block. So we're going to kind of like consolidate all of our wheat into these here wheat blocks. Rob the hay and make some bread. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that right now. This looks sick. Look at this. Little castle right here. It's got a couple of cacti on the windows. Oh, maybe we want to set up here. Do we just want to like take this room as our, as our base? There's a potion stand right there too. And a chest. Almost missed that. Hey, awesome. Love it. Okay, beautiful. So I think that that's actually enough for us to make kind of like a, an automatic meat cooker of some sort. We'll need a bit of uh, steel to kind of really polish it off. Excellent. There's also, how many people are here? Let's see. Bing bong. Whoops. Bing bong. Bing bong. Bing bong. Everybody come to the town center so I can vet this uh, village for whether or not we're going to live here full time. Got the hiccups. Hello, everybody? Looks sick. It does look sick, doesn't it? I think we'll, like, set up here just kind of as, like, an intermediary base. There is also a savannah over there, and I love acacia wood. We do have oak on us. I don't really care about oak. I really like the idea of kind of, like, creating a giant desert castle. Okay, nobody 
acknowledges the bell, which is really annoying. Anything in the well? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and start busting down this wheat because uh, we need it way more than this entire village needs to eat. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, so, I have also seen recently they run away when you ring the bell. Oh, okay. Thanks, Isaac Bluestone. I didn't actually know that. I'm going to be looting your house now, good sir. Oh, a crafting bench. That's immediate wealth. I think that the villages are kind of like essential for some forms of automation. Oh, no shot. Oh, I thought it was like an enchanting table. Turns out it's not. Hello, sir. What's up? Librarian? He'll sell us a book into piercing, which is pretty good for 10 emeralds. He also sells bookshelves for emeralds as well, which is pretty nice. Maybe we do want to set up here. This place actually does have a lot of facilities that we may want. We should, shouldn't we? We should set up here. I think I'll set up here. Yeah, if somebody... Uh, I mentioned that um, I saw that villages are kind of like now a form of automation. Does anybody actually know how to utilize vill villages in the automation? What the hell is this? Oh, hey there, sir. Uh, this is a terrible house you have. The Feng Shui is all effed up and stuff. I suppose he does have a porch and no one else does. All right, we've got a cauldron here. This guy's like coveting his cauldron right here. He will sell us some dyed leather, which uh, gives us plus two armor. Also, he'll give us an emerald for leather. So we already have, get out of the way, dickhead. We've already got emeralds generation right here. If we just go and hunt some cows, we should be able to do so. What do we want to do? It's time to conquer the villages. Yeah, I think we gotta like sit up here, right? Jesus Christ. What, you people think it's okay to live here like this? What is wrong with you? Dude, this is right in the middle of... Like, I've seen some bad potholes on the road, but this one takes the cake. That is a nasty... That is a mean pothole. Oh, they've got uh, beetroots. I see that. That's awesome. Nice. And they also made stairs going into their farms, which is just so forward thinking. I vibe that so hard. I think I will actually move into that potion master's house. I don't care who the potion master here is. He's not going to be potion master for long. Is there anywhere else that we haven't necessarily ransacked? Uh -huh. Yes, actually, this building right there. I'm really glad I closed that gap. This guy's growing grass inside of his house. Oh, you born in a barn? Good God, man. Okay, there's a little seat right there. A blue... I, I like the color of this beard. Okay, this is now our beard. It is, it is a cyan beard. We'll make him another one if we find any sheep. We probably won't, honestly. Hello there, blue X cats. Oh, speaking of which, hey. There's a cat right here, and we found a blue bed. Excellent. We found your entire username in the uh, time space it took me to say it. Uh, first of all, I think we should prop. Is this sand? No, I think it's sandstone. We should probably plug in this hole right here. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to get some dirt. We're just going to plug in that hole. I'm certain that it's going to be the death of us at some point. All right, now that we've also got some acacia logs, we could probably maybe... I don't know. Maybe we could kind of, like, build out this village. Make it like really, really nice and bougie. Make everybody else really jealous of our village so that all of the, all of the like really hardworking individuals want to come here so we can enslave them. And then I think we will just like give them the reward of shelter, which I think in Minecraft is probably the best reward you're going to get. Is this single player? Yes, this is single player. I'm going to be playing this uh, vanilla for a wee while. I'm going to be uh, following a little... Kind of challenge list that a viewer, Scott, uh, gave to me. And hopefully we'll cross, like, at least half of those off before we start moving on to, like, modern skyblock and stuff. And I'll open those up into uh, closed public lobbies. Okay. What's around here? Did we loot this house? No. Cactus. And some green dye. Well, I wonder what that guy does for a living. <laughs> He's also got two green beds in there. Uh, we are quite low on HP. Let's go ahead and just plug in this hole before we forget. Where is it? Where is the hole? Okay, that's not it. It's over here, right? Yeah, there it is. My god, that extends out for quite a way. Okay, we're plugging this in. Yucky. I don't think we have enough to plug it in fully, actually. Okay, we need two more dirt blocks. Let's go do that before we forget. Right, so now we have two dirt blocks here. We are going to plug in the hole with. We can probably actually just eat some bread, right? Because we've already found lots and lots of bread around us. This is probably actually a better start than finding a golden sword in a treasure chest. Gotta be said, it's probably it's probably better. All right, I think this is not sand. I think that is sandstone or cooked sandstone, something like that. Maybe. 
What else is around here? Let's take it. Let's have a good look at this Humdinger River cavern. There's a camel, and it's kind of like trying to kiss the sky. Okay, still pretty deep down there. Uh, I think that this is probably I don't know. Like, call me crazy. Certain death, maybe. <laughs> maybe we want to cover that up. I have an idea of a challenge. Get a music disc from a creeper. It's probably already like the challenge list I have has thousands of challenges on it. It is very comprehensive. It's probably already on there, to be quite honest. I'll try and do it, though. How do you get music discs? I know that there are music discs in the game. I never actually went out of my way to kind of, like, try and get them, though. Okay, let's beat down all of the sand for no reason other than I want the glass. And now let's go ahead and start setting up shop in this kind of, like, little castle down here. Ah. 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 Ah, oh, there's an upstairs. Oh, bougie. How high is it? Jesus. <laughs> ah, perfect. Nice. Look at all this other stuff we found. I'm in such a good mood now. This is probably the best start we've had, honestly. I know we died already, but this is probably the best start that we... There's a tiny man down there. What's he doing down there? What the hell? Uh, I'm also going to take this chest so I don't have to craft one myself. Hi, I'm you. Hey there, Caden Samuel. Try to defeat an iron golem with your bare hands. Oh, I can probably do that. I can probably do that, but I'll need lots and lots of uh, attempts. <laughs> okay, so we didn't ransack that little building over there. This is now our building. This is ours. This is actually our home. We're going to set up in here. Let's put our cyan beard right there. And we've set our respawn point. This is nobody else's home. This is ours. And we also have a double chest where we can put all of our crap in now, like this cactus we don't want, wheat seeds. Oh, we'll probably plant those, actually. We'll probably actually uh, fill out the... What are they? That guy is tiny. We'll probably fill out the farms that they already have here, because I think that that might be a really, really good idea. Okay, that's sand. That's sand. This is not sand. I wonder what this material here is. Kind of sus, isn't it? It's pretty well lit here, too. Maybe we want to sleep before we uh, do a flip. How the hell do you do a flip? I like ends up. That's absolutely fine. As long as you're smiling, that's that's all I care about, to be quite honest. I'm just trying to spread the happiness. Do a 360 jump. That is probably a bit of a hard challenge. Whoop! There we go. Done. That was probably more of a 380. Okay, looking at that log right there. Whoop! Done. 360 jump. I have played... What is the deal with this tiny little guy? Do you trade? No, he just kind of... I think he's calling me slurs. And that was definitely a cuss... Oh my god, I can't show that on YouTube. Oh! That, that little guy is a heathen! He's got short man syndrome to the max. Okay, so let's start kind of like looking around. Maybe we want to set up a mine pretty close to this place as well. We probably also want to like start planting out some of these cacti. So we can grow more of them in the very near future. We may need them. We may use them as kind of like defences. Because I... I think I stopped playing this when raids became a huge, huge part of the game. Put that there, put that one there. Okay, that's good enough, they'll grow. Skulls? No, we're good, we're good. We already set our spawn point, we're not gonna lose this place. Let's go get some acacia logs. And then we should be fine, right? Let's get rid of this cactus as well. We don't want any of the cactus like close to the village, I don't think. We'll probably end up setting up some kind of gigantic wall around here. I do kind of like the idea of a gigantic wall. Okay, good. Uh, this is... What the hell? I think one of the villagers actually just jumped on this plot right here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, like, fill out these farms. This uh, this sucks. This is really inefficient. It's probably as inefficient as a... Well, I say that. I think that's wheat, that's carrots, and that's beets. So they've got a... a they've got a very big variety in their diet. Maybe we set up a farm just, like, over here instead. Ah, uh, okay. We'll do that, actually. We'll do that. Enslave the villagers? We will. If the villager is wearing, wearing he is on the ban list. We slay him. I, I mean, his only crime is that he's kind of like a, a bit of a, a bit of a deviant, right? He was doing uh, what we would consider to be um, adult crimes in real life. He was committing um, IRL felonies, public indecency, uh, custard us, which isn't really a, a felony. It's just kind of like harassment, a little bit of harassment, which... You know, the laws surrounding harassment aren't exactly cut and dry. They're, they're very... 
We could probably set up a castle on this kind of like little aisle over there as well. That'd be kind of cool. Let's set up a castle over here so that we can always overwatch this village that we're probably going to realistically enslave. Uh, Hello, sir. What do you do for a living? Nothing? Uh, you don't sell anything? Okay. What a penis. Uh, what an actual penis. I'm Hida. Uh, nice to see you there, Blue Cats. Welcome to the channel. What is up with this tiny little dude? Uh, do you sell anything? No. Uh, Okay, let's make this place great again. What do we, we probably want to name this town first, right? What's a, what's a good name for a town surrounded by sand? Bro, I got the Discord mod experience. <laughs> yep, that is definitely the Discord mod experience. I do kind of like the uh, skirting of this place. Did you actually just plant something? Whoa, unbelievable. All right, let's uh, go and start getting some wood. We're gonna start chopping some trees down. We'll get some nice acacia saplings right here and we'll start making some stuff. Is that a cat? It is. He is way out of his league. We don't have enough wood, unfortunately, for a single... Wait, what are these logs here? What are these? This is... Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and make some oak planks. We'll get some sticks going and then we will... Uh, Make a crafting bench. We need another log. We need another log for this crafting bench. So that we can actually make the thing required to chop the trees down. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop this into the bench right here. Get all of these oak planks. And now we're going to craft ourselves a wooden axe. And also a wooden pickaxe. Because we do want to be able to get some cobblestone. Ah, we're just short on logs. Which is not going to be a problem for a few more seconds. Done. Check out this whole tree. All right, let's turn all of these into planks, and now we want to make ourselves that pickaxe, don't we? Right like that. Beautiful! Redstone can go off of the hot bar. I think we're in a pretty good spot right here. Let's get some of this acacia wood down. Let's make the village great again. Yeah, we're going to make the village great again. I'm, I'm tempted to name it New America. It's probably actually appropriate if our intent as the leader of this village is to just enslave everybody and collect on all of their work as well. Because to my understanding, that's pretty much the foundations of America. So we'll, we'll replicate the US. How does that sound? We'll, we'll make it great again. Mexico? I know, Mexico's got a lot more freedoms than uh, what we're <laughs> intending to do to it. To my understanding. What the hell is this? Oh, egg. Oh, egg. Jesus, these things are crapping out eggs like crazy. Thank you. Thank you, chickens. Everybody say thank you to the chickens for the, uh, for the eggs they just crapped out. We just want to kill all of these cows, I think, because they drop the leather that we can exchange for emeralds with that guy who um, has a, a really bad house. Excellent. I'm drop assa assa assassinating these guys because this is apparently the new way of combat. This was not a thing back when I was playing this on Bedrock. Like, absolutely in no way, shape, or form was that even, like, considered to be combat. Okay, we'll drop this tree down. We'll get lots and lots of saplings, and then we'll plant them in a gigantic kind of, like... A, a gigantic area, all close up together. Ooh, I think we found a contender for a mine as well. Never mind, it's over. That's embarrassing. Uh, let's chop down heaps and heaps of trees. We'll turn, we'll plant the, uh, some of the oak, I think. We won't use a lot of the oak for building, but I think that, like, situationally, oak does look kind of nice every now and then. And then we will basically use the oak. Now, why would we use the oak for this? Okay, our pickaxe is way too low in durability to uh, knock that tree down, so let's go ahead and just make another one egg beautiful i think we'll cook most of these logs up into charcoal so we can make lots and lots of torches and then we'll go down into the mines where the hell did we put that crafting table i thought it was over here now that's definitely not it <laughs> oh no there it is it's surrounded by grass which i'm actually just going to free up right this second ah. the trades were trash the trades were trash before for real the trades were trash before for real uh, I, I'm really sorry, Five Host. I'm, I'm having um, an innumerable amount of trouble deciphering what the hell that message means. Uh, so we probably want to make a, another X. Actually, we probably don't want to do this much longer, do we? We probably actually want to go ahead and just kind of like go and get some cobblestone so that we can actually start making tools. But I love all of this acacia so much and it's so satisfying to knock it all down. Whee, there it all goes. Awesome. Love it. Great. Uh, these chickens are crapping out eggs, which we are going to turn into automation. Because uh, I do have a schematic in my head for automatic chicken cookers. Basically living rent-free at all times. It definitely pays for itself. 
And it basically also gives you unlimited free chicken. Cooked chicken. Got some pumpkins over here too that we could probably uh, cook up too. Maybe? Okay, we're outside of the boundaries of uh, what I would consider to be the desert. So we could probably actually start picking up some cobblestone, right? Yeah, let's do that. Whoa. <laughs> this is deep. Deep little cabin down here. Let's just go down here first. Excellent. I have finally made an advancement into the Stone Age. Bedrock doesn't have Stone Age, by the way. That's that's one thing that I really feel is lacking in bed. Holy hell, how deep is this? Jesus! Is that gold? There's gold everywhere down here. There's gold in them hills. Maybe we want to kind of like create a elevator all the way down there and then just use this as our mine. That might actually be really cool. Okay, we picked that one up. Awesome. Let's pick this one up too and this one as well. Okay, we've probably actually got enough some stone tools. I think we will do exactly what I just said down here. We'll kind of like, I don't know, fill in most of this little valley down here. And then we'll kind of make a, a, a big mining base down south side there. I don't like the new caves. They're kind of too big. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that. I, they've grown on me. They, they've definitely started growing on me. But the big caves also got to be said, that's where we've died every single time in the hardcore playthroughs. We rolled about five worlds. They all kind of like screwed us over. I'm going to mine down this entire pumpkin patch right here. We're probably going to make some pumpkin pie, realistically. Probably going to make lots and lots of pumpkin pie. I've got food on the mind, by the way. <laughs> I've, been I've been going to the gym for the last month, which is not the first time I've ever been to the gym. And I'm, I'm warming up to my like last workout routine that I used to have a couple of years ago when I went to a gym and didn't wasn't limited by a single dumbbell and uh, a sandbag. And now I am always hungry. And uh, I brought Yin Set, my girlfriend, uh, to the gym with me yesterday. And she did a half an hour walk and she got back and she, all, she had such bad gym brain. She literally could not articulate a single sentence in full. <laughs> and uh, right after, I made her like this enormous dinner of a, a wrap full of um, like vegan meat replacements and, and vegetables and all that stuff. A lot, very, very filling. She was like, I'm so full, but I'm still hungry. I was like, Bluestone, Big Caves should just be more rare. I'd like them. Yes, actually, that would be beautiful if they were just, like, a little bit less common. I feel the same about all of the Sakura trees as well, because in one of the hardcore uh, worlds that we rolled, we were going through some plains surrounded by savannah, and we found one hill with two Sakura trees on top of them, just dropping blossoms all over it. And it, it, I kind of had these, these eyes for these Sakura trees, as if we just discovered some kind of oasis or some paradise. And it looked so cool. And then the next world that we rolled, we ended up getting uh, this biome, which was mainly mountainous. And it was just covered in Sakura trees, which really cheapened um, how I feel about the Sakuras. Okay, we got lots and lots of logs. We are going to smelt them down into charcoal. Hopefully we've got 11, to oh, we've got one too shy of a cobblestone pickaxe and also a furnace. We are gonna go home though. We're gonna go home and bedtime everybody. We're gonna go home and we are going to make sure you better not go into my home. That's right, you dickhead. You stay away. Excellent. We'll make a furnace. We'll start cooking up some stuff. And hopefully, we'll be in a really, really good spot. Maybe we make this kind of like the furnace wall. Let's just start with one. So when I usually start these uh, playthroughs, I tend to make a crafting side and a smelting side. So I'm actually going to take this here uh, floor piece. I'm going to mine it out. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to replace it with a crafting bench. Because not only does it look sick, it's also functionally uh, very uh, economical, I would say. Ah, oh, doesn't that look nice? I love that. And then we're going we're gonna to recess more crafting stuff into the wall here. Ah, yeah, I always like the old caves because they were like tunnels. They were very cool. I, I don't know if what you guys mean by new tunnels or new cave systems. I imagine you're talking about the giant crevasses all, just scattered all over the map, which scars what would otherwise look like beautiful land. Because it, it, it is a little bit ass, isn't it? It's, it's a little bit ass to look at. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll make a single furnace. And with this furnace, uh, let's recess it into this wall right here. Hopefully it'll bust outside. Nice, we can access it from outside. Gorgeous, let's put that there. We are going to fill it with these acacia logs right here. Uh, you guys can keep that burp as well. It's absolutely free. And we probably want to melt it down with maybe some kind of broken wooden axe. Excellent. We got enough sticks. We're going to go for uh, trying to make a set of cobblestone tools now. I think we're probably in a pretty good spot to upgrade to cobblestone. And we probably want to get some stairs packed out around the place as well, right? We, we definitely want to get some stairs. I kind of want to mine out 
all of the sand around our house as well. Create like a, a nice little area, a nice little wall. We're probably going to wall off this home too from the general populi because I don't necessarily want them to uh, covet my house. I know it's going to look better than everyone else's eventually and we, we don't necessarily want envy on the mind of our villagers while they're trying to like loot all of the resources for us on our behalf. What are you guys up to? Do you trade anything? No. Do you trade anything? No. Okay. We need to get like lots of homes, right? Or we need to get lots of beds and then put them in the homes. Rightio. We could probably also shave off a lot of this kind of like flooring and create some more flat paths. So it's a little easier to navigate and people wouldn't necessarily get stuck too much. I think that might also be a good priority. So let's get out of the desert because unfortunately it is covered in uh, useless sandstone that we can't necessarily use for tools. I'm also kind of like beautifying the area just while I pass through it. Excellent. Just by knocking down some, some grass or stuff like that. Mowing the lawns, I guess you could say. Probably actually just shave off all of that dirt. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some cobblestone tools. We are then going to come back here. We're going to see what... Oh, it's about to rain as well. We're going to see whether or not we can get ourselves some uh, kind of like productivity going. And we'll also pack out... Oh, there is also another contender for a mine down there as well. We'll get some torches and then we'll go down and we'll actually start mining a few of the actual things out. Where was it? Where did we want to mine out? Jesus, that looks also like a really good contender. This is probably actually a great place for mines to be. Ah, this is where we wanted it to be, uh, isn't it? So let's go ahead and start mining uh, a few little bits and bobs of cobblestone down here because we want to. I'm just going to shave off these bits because I think we could probably pick them up as they fall. Hopefully as they come towards us. Excellent. That one's going to fall onto that and we'll get too close to... We lost one of those. That's fine. Where else? We want to start shaving into this as well. Good. Once we get a full set of tools, we get like two pickaxes, I think. And then we'll go south side from here and we'll go all the way down into the mine proper. Let's go ahead and try and grab that. Good. And we'll mine this one out. Gorgeous. Nice. Because we can just jump down onto there, assuming we don't hit that gigantic, like, plinth of stone. Or more, more like a cantilever, actually. There is actually a, a few little jutting bits of stone, so we're probably going to have to take a leap of faith off of here. Which is fitting, given that we've been drop assassinating everything. Okay. Either the sun's going down, or it as, is actually about to piss down with rain. I literally cannot tell. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Where's the moon? It hasn't been a whole day already, has it? Oh, egg. Yes. We're going to need a lot of eggs as well because uh, that's kind of integral for the automation of food. Burn in the furnace some oak and get natural charcoal. Uh, we're uh, we're going to be burning uh, probably not oak, but these acacia planks. And the reason for that is when we knock down a tree of oak, like this one right here that doesn't have the... Um, this is probably a regular uh, sized piece of oak and we can actually see that there's not a lot of logs in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, including the bottom. And that would otherwise be... You know, a, a generously sized tree without getting into the multi-box trees. Six blocks is pretty generous. When you look at the acacias, you have not only six blocks before the leaf starts, but then you have these branches that splits off the side, which means a more efficient farm. And I also like the look of the acacia planks more than I like the look of the uh, oak. Oh, I know. It is supposed to be raining, but we're in a kind of like desert and savanna biome, so it's not raining because it never rains here. Okay, good. Let's check how many cobbles we have. We've got enough cobbles for... Uh, let's do some math. Okay, so we need three for an axe, three for a pickaxe. We need at least 12 for two sets of each. And we probably also want a shovel as well. So we'll get... No, we've actually got the perfect amount for exactly what we need. Yeah, we're definitely going to do this. I do quite like the camel up there. I admire its humps. Uh, this is just... <laughs> we have to fill this in at some point too, don't we? Maybe we'll make like a, a little slave encampment down there full of villagers where we kind of like set them to work in the mines. Uh, what is this? Sand? Do we even do like sandstone? We got smooth sandstone. That's pretty cool. Let's try and like stick it here because we're going to be taking this path quite frequently. Please. Yep. Oops, that's sand. Uh, this can go there and that can go there. And now we can at least get back to the village. Perfect. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Okay, we're going to get lots and lots of charcoal now. We are going to burn probably an entire stack. I think we already stuck some wood in there to kind of like get it going initially. Get the furnace going. And then we're going to use the acacia logs as kind of like our sole source of wood. That's not our house. This is way too small. I hate that. Good. We'll come down here. 
And maybe we won't burn all of the acacia. We'll probably turn... We'll turn these two acacia logs into acacia planks. And then we'll make some doors for our house. Because these acacia doors look so cool. Right here. Uh, these are slabs, aren't they? Okay, we don't want slabs down there. We probably actually want to pick these out. And then replace them with steps. Possibly. Maybe we'll have some... Um, oh, we've actually got steps right here. Perfect. Good, good. So we need some more smooth sandstone to kind of like pack this out, which is fine because we can actually just shave off of the, the original path right here and here. Great. That'll expand out the amount of space that we have. Get out of my house, dickhead. Jesus. Do you not understand the sanctity of a man's home? Okay, block, block. And since we can do it, I'm going to go ahead and put these smooth sandstone slabs here, 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 and here. Which means... What the hell was that sound? Okay, we can't get inside because of this uh, kind of cool-looking doorway, which we need to get rid of to place the doors regardless. That is a boat. Probably a better way of letting someone out. What has this guy got? He wants rotten flesh for an emerald. We could probably actually get kind of like a, a mob farm. And we've also got some redstone dust here, which would be nice for early redstone, but we've already found some early redstone, so it might not really be all of that useful in the end anyway. Got a lot of leather. Uh, we're going to keep these eggs and what else have we got? Pumpkins. We've got this raw beef. We've got wheat. Probably want to plant these log, uh, these uh, saplings right here before we forget about them. Yes, uh, and we are currently missing another two, count them, two smooth sandstone pieces. Make sure we get to shave them off at the end of this path here that just doesn't go anywhere. We've got to be kind of cautious too, because it'll be hard to tell when it's actually becoming nighttime if it's dark skies like this. We'll keep. Let's go ahead and put the sandstone here, and now we can... Uh, we've actually got four steps, so we can put this all along here. Doesn't that look nice? I love that so much. Let's put the acacia door right there and right here. See? Already looks awesome. Uh, are there any mods? The trees auto drop and one log is chopped. Yes, there is one mod. We tried to install a shader pack earlier, but it didn't work because Curse Forge um, is a revolting um, <laughs> manager, a, a revolting app manager. Essentially, we just wanted... A shader pack. That's all we wanted. Uh, we also have Tree Capitator installed because it kind of... When we were going through the hardcore packs, it was a little bit annoying to have to kind of like keep on doing the whole punch the tree down thing every time you die and generate a new world. So uh, we wanted to skip through that. Acacia planks. Probably want a lot more of these. 14 planks is absolutely fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and make two, count them, two of these. Now we don't need to open the door when we go through it. It just opens for us. Perfect. But we do have to open it from the outside, which is ex that's a trade-off I'm happy with. Nice. Uh, so we should be cooking up some charcoal. Good. That's going to last ages, actually. Let's put some more charcoal in there. We'll just generate charcoal as fast as we can. We're going to put some crafting things going up here. We probably want to move this potion brewing stand out of here so that the villagers don't keep coming in here and uh, using our home as kind of like thoroughfare as well, because that's just annoying. Other than that, no. No mods, and we're not going to be installing anything else into the game. Okay, good. It is not nighttime just... It is getting dark, though. It is getting quite dark. Is this where that little guy was living? Not really. Oh, well. That's fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see what kind of door this is so that we know not to grab it. And then we'll make a set of tools. What a kind of door is this? Jungle door! My guy, seriously? Are you going home? Yeah, you better be. Oh, he trades. Good. Uh -huh. We probably also want to just absolutely pack out this village with jobs, right? So we're going to need to get some of those little automation doohickeys anyway. Even if we have to go to another village and ransack it for its bits and bobs, I'm absolutely happy to do so. All right, still got our wee chest in here. Uh, okay, let's start making our tools because we need two. We actually need a bunch of tools. So we'll put a lot of stuff over here. We'll get some pickaxes. And we'll pack those out. Get out of my house, sir. And then we're gonna put two here. We'll get two of these axes. We've got two pickaxes, pickaxes, two axes. Uh, we probably don't need this boat either. If we're gonna settle down here, this is probably the place we want to kind of like stick all of our resources, right? All right, got an axe, got a pickaxe. Let's actually change the pickaxe and the axe around because we want to use the axe for combat. It hits like a truck. And uh, even though the cooldown on the axe is twice as long as the sword, you don't have to attack as much, which is just absolutely fantastic. Saves on durability. Probably don't want to carry around these cacti with us either. We still have a spare acacia door. Don't really care about it too much. We've got a wooden pickaxe. We need a shovel, don't we? With our last cobblestone, we'll make a single shovel. Nice! Great! Excellent. 
So we've got the bare minimum for a house. I really like this uh, kind of like play here as well. Someone pointed out this was called terracotta. It looks sick. I actually really like this. We could probably also put this bell somewhere that's not just in the middle of the... Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's put this bell down like here. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Hey, there's some more um, stuff we can steal. Let's or empty out our inventory and then we'll start going down into that mine. Because I, I think that that mine was probably the place we want to start going down to now. Okay, let's do that. There's so many things we could do. So many possibilities that we could engage in right this second. Should probably actually find these saplings as well, maybe. Uh, don't need the hay bale, don't need the boat, probably don't need oak planks, but we'll keep them on us anyway. We don't need those oak logs, we'll keep them down here so we don't lose them. Don't need the acacia door. V nice, V nice. Okay, we're going down, down in an earlier round, and sugar, we're going down mining. Yeah, we could probably shave most of this down at least one level, and I'm definitely going to change this goddamn yucky, yucky looking farm because it is absolutely terrible efficiency. Big yuck. Big old revolting yuck. I probably want to do like a... What does water extend to? It's like four by four, isn't it? On each side, four on each side. Okay, where is that place that we want to go to? Uh, I think it's slightly further this way, isn't it? Oh, we've got an egg on us. Uh, I did forget to make torches. We'll go and do that before we go into the mine proper. Still that cat right here. Isn't going anywhere. Another crafting bench right there. That's fine. Okay, that's weird. A couple of buttons up on the uh, building there. Don't know what they do. Huh. Looks like the uh, crops are actually flourishing here. Huh. Don't know how. No one's feeding them. Huh. Right. The only issue with where we are currently living is that our house lives is so far away from where we need... Get out of my house! Actually, no. We want him here because he trades for rotten flesh. Uh, we'll put the egg away and we will make a bunch of torches with all of the charcoal that we have crafted here, won't we? I probably want to make some more sticks. Let's go ahead and make another 24. That is actually perfect. Because now, we've got a stack and a half of torches. Beautiful. Let's get that on our help bar. Don't know, keep that there, I suppose. Is this guy actually making potions? Huh. That's cool. Oh, well. Come in here. We want to decentivize the villagers from being able to enter our home somehow. I think putting, like, a moat around the, the door might decentivize them to actually enter the home. Might be a really good idea. I do like the architecture of this place. Very cash money. Very cash money indeed. Okay. We've got this axe right here. Uh, still not really going to kill any of the livestock. We'll keep them around. There's some sheep over there that we may want to potentially breed. Might be a good idea. And we're coming down into where we want to kind of like set up our, our mine, aren't we? So we'll, we'll torch this area up so that no nasties spawn down here which we don't really want. We don't want anything to spawn down here while we're kind of using this area as a mine. Oop, that's a hell on earth down there. Gonna go ahead and torch right there, good. Actually, this is pretty, this is pretty good. Maybe we'll go down here. It's gonna be hard to get back up, believe me. It's gonna be real hard to get back up, but I kind of think this is a, a nice start. Unless it goes into that goddamn cavern beneath the village. In which case, probably going to get rid of the whole thing. I'll torch it up because it seems like it does actually lead underground to the village. And we don't want that whatsoever. Some magma down here. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, I do quite like where we are here. Maybe we want to just create some kind of strip mine going down from this location. Put that there. More torches here. Oh my god, it's never ending. It's literally never ending. Put something there. And nothing in here, so we're going to torch it up. Just make sure that we kind of like get everything out of the way. Up here, we are still looking real nice. Where are the torches? There they are. I don't know what... That was vine. Okay, great. We've got some coal right there. Probably not going to get it just yet. Probably want to torch up this entire place first. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is this entire area just torched, right? Like a reference to serial arson. That there. Just to be safe. I don't know what the radius of these torches are, but we aren't going to take any chances. Is that all torched up? Oh, there's magma in the way anyway, so even if someone does come down there, they'll burn to death. 
Hopefully it'll uh, cook their rotting flesh too. Is this sand? Yes. Okay, good. Go ahead and torch up here as well. And through here. Good, good. Come up here. Okay, so this little mine that we have down here doesn't really have any kind of like obvious resources, but we did torch it up, so we're not going to be snuck up on from behind, which is actually fantastic. That's all I could ask for, all I could want for. Yeah, not really a, a good way of getting out of here, though. <laughs> oh, yuck. Okay, we'll come up this kind of like little path we've crafted for ourselves. There's also down there, but I don't think there's really any way of going down there necessarily. Yeah, let's just move on through here. We won't worry about that little hole in the wall. We'll come all the way down and we'll just make sure that we've got what we need. Okay, so the reason I'm coming down here is because it's already lit up and we want to kind of like aim for this water, don't we? Instead of hitting all of the... Uh, but we do also kind of want to create a path that goes all the way down, don't we? We don't want to... We don't want to have to get ourselves a path up. Let's start shaving down. Let's actually get our shovel out. Good. Excellent. Okay, I was hoping that we weren't going to be ganked by some kind of gigantic drop. Now we're getting into the uh, actual cobblestone territory, so let's start mining this crap out. Okay, good. Not a sheer drop. I love that. What's over here? It's a sheer drop. Great. Let's not go down the sheer drop. That is also not a sheer drop. What is this stuff? Andesite? Yeah, I think that is actually andesite. We are going to torch up this whole path as well, so nothing spawns here. So don't worry, guys. Mine out some of this. Good. And we are almost down at the first kind of, like, obnoxious little area that spawns here. Right, get rid of this. We are unfortunately getting into, like, darkness territory, though. Okay, let's put some of this andesite just right here. Because it looks the same, and it doesn't look like we've scarred the earth. Put that there. Right, let's go ahead and torch up this entire cavern. This wall, this cavernous wall. Good. And that goes nowhere. We'll just torch it up regardless. Some coal over there. It's not what we're interested in whatsoever. We're just going to want to make sure that nothing's going to spawn here, don't we? Watch that up there. Right, so uh, this is the area that would have kind of like clipped us on our way down if we jumped off the ledge. So let's just go ahead and start mining all this crap on the edge out, I suppose. Because we don't want it anywhere near us. Or anywhere near this water. Oops. Okay, good. We've burned through our wooden pickaxe. That's fantastic. Go ahead and continue along here. There we go. Awesome. So we've now got some kind of elevator that at least leads back up to here. So that'll give us a little quick escape. I'm going to mine this out here. Just so we can kind of like get on this little platform here. Let's also coat around here with some of this andesite. Uh, let's kind of bridge up from here as well. Okay, I don't really like that right on the edge. So let's go ahead and pick that one off. Perfect. And I'm going to, again, do a little bit of quality control right there. Put some here. And we're going to torch this place right here up. Probably want to torch over here as well. In case we get spotted by something down that cave. All right, now we're getting into the actual cavern. Oh, there's a creeper down there. That sucks. Okay. Oh, we have nowhere to go. Okay, good. I knocked it away from me. We literally had nowhere to go because there was no way back up this hill right here. Well, there is now. Let's actually mine out a little staircase. Nice. Beautiful. I like this. Uh, put another torch here. Okay. That creeper actually created a path for us. He didn't have to do that. That was actually very kind of him. What a guy. What an actual guy. That was really altruist of him. Okay, we got some iron over here. We are, I think, at the bottom of the cavern now. We've got coal basically everywhere. Let's go ahead and get some of this copper out of the way so we can jump on top of it. I'm not going to mine it when we see it. Ah, creeper? Yeah, 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 there was a creeper. In fact, there's a bunch. Of, this looks sick down here, actually. This looks really cool. Maybe this is where we want to set up our little mining area. We'll, we'll use this kind of, like, giant plinth as kind of like a... Um, a place where we can put lots and lots of furnaces. Ah, uh, we'll come back to it. We don't have a map on us just yet. I am going to take this iron right here because it's fresh on the mind and we don't really have a choice. One iron. Wow, you shouldn't have. Thanks, game. Just the one. Good. Uh, doesn't look like there's a way down from here. I hear a zombie. 
That sucks. Let's go around. Ah, we're down at the co the gold level as well. We saw lots and lots of gold down here. We don't really want to do anything with it until we get an iron pickaxe, though. Let's go ahead and put some andesite here and here so we can go around this. And I'm going to mine this out so we can plop it down right there. Granite. Oh, that's a weird color for granite. Okay. Right there. Where are these zombies at? I hear them. I definitely hear... Oh, they're probably underneath us. To be quite fair. Probably underneath us. Ah. Okay. So, we're pretty low on torches, too. Still not really seeing a lot of, like, goodies down here that we can just pick off from the side of the cavern. Whoa, okay. Look down there. It's certain depth, but there's some iron. Ah, uh, do we risk it? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, to be honest. All right, what is this doing for us? Absolutely nothing. Let's plug this hole. Kind of useless. Good. Now we don't have to worry about that water dragging us off. So, okay, there is actually a zombie down here. Okay, let's mine some kind of staircase to go down. Because, quite honestly, we're not going to be able to get down there if we can't get back up. I kind of like this. Right, let's uh, start mining out from here, I think. We'll do like a, a nice 3x3 three three staircase looking three thing. Mine down here, mine down here, mine down here. Come here, zombie! I dare you! I dare you to come at me, bro! A double dog dare you. Okay, he's too slow. That's a shame, because we are going to bump him right on the head. He's not even looking at us. What an idiot. Done. Nailed. Absolutely destroyed. Demolished, one might even say. Put a torch there. It's our last torch, or is it? Boom. Another half stack. Okay. So now that we've done that, I'm not actually going to create a staircase that comes up from here. And you know why? We've got water. We can just go back up the elevator. I'm going to put another torch right here. Hi, Yinsen. Hello there. Cookie uh, does stuff. I was just live. I am currently live. Man, there are so many YouTube streamers now, aren't there? I actually think I find more uh, streamers than viewers on YouTube. It's pretty crazy. It's like everybody's got a side hustle these days. Whoa! My God, look at that! Iron all over the floor! Yes. Let's get some. I'm not even going to bother torch up this place either. We're just going to mine up all of this stuff. I got seven viewers. It's me, Iris. Oh, hello, Iris. What were you playing? What, what were you playing that you got your seven viewers? Because generally, uh, when I'm streaming, I don't really break the six viewer mark, but over, like, the entire stream, I'll get maybe 100 viewers, maybe maybe 200. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and knock it up here. Good. I'm going to safely kind of, like, eradicate any chance of us getting snuck up on in here. Then we'll go around. I was playing Roblox Islands. Ah, Roblox, very popular game. A lot of people love Roblox, don't they? Look at this. This is its own ecosystem. What is down there? I don't see diamonds, hilariously. That is the one thing I'm currently actually looking for. I don't see any diamonds. I don't know what level we're at either. Uh, there was a button, right? Yeah, this right here. So where is... Ah, right, X, Y, Z. So we are at... Uh, we're at 21. So all the way down there is probably, ideally, where the diamonds would spawn. Which would be fantastic if we found some. I just don't see any from up here. They're kind of hard to see anyway, though. All right. We'd probably pour some magma off the side, and then we'd be able to uh, see a little bit better, but not yet. There's a giant... There's literally a nerd pole right here. A gigantic nerd pole. Okay, so this excursion wasn't particularly fruitful, but we did get a few resources under our belt. I'll, I will torch this place up, sure, why not? Ah! Roblox community has been a bit dead, it's been trying to come back. Oh, maybe it's because uh, the uh, Roblox guys tried to add the uh, the dating platform to Roblox. Remember that? When they, um, when they tried to add a dating platform to Roblox, which is probably the stupidest, most irresponsible idea I think I've heard this, uh, this decade quite frankly. Let's put a dating profile for a, um, for a, <laughs> for a game famous for, for grooming. That'd be, that'd be good. People can groom much more eff effectively. There was like a, a dating platform inside of our game. All right, I'm going to be torching all of this stuff up. Looks like there's a lot of access points outwards as well. So we're not kind of like caught with our pants down here. This place is huge too. I think this one might actually be a better contender for kind of like 
permanent mining base. Is that a skeleton? It is. Piss on that, I hate skeletons so much. They are literally cancer. Okay, I'm gonna try and uh, drop shot the spider. I couldn't do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to like hit them from range. Excellent, done. Let's go get an eat so we get our health back. Nice. I got a new sub for it, awesome. Okay, plop that down there, plop that down there. Righty ho! Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, the skeleton, actually. I hate skeletons so much. They're actually just the bane of the game. I know they're like super basic and all that, but the thing I hate about skeletons is that they almost never miss. And it, it seems like the shield is also kind of like 50-50 on whether or not it'll actually deflect a projectile. Unless you're like using weird angles, and I don't really understand the angles either. I'm hoping that skeleton's just gonna fall into that lava right there, but it's, it's probably a pipe dream. It's probably not actually gonna happen. We do have a little bit of iron on us. We've got 19 iron. There's probably enough for a full set of tools. There's more iron over here. Let's go ahead and nab this while it's on the mind. Good, yes, very nice. Any above us, actually. I don't think we checked out above us, did we? We still have three torches, which is pretty cool. Uh, put that one there. No, I don't see anything above us. But we have torched up this entire area, so at least we know we've explored it and seen basically nothing. Nothing useful. I know there's gold there, we can't mine it up because we don't have an iron pickaxe yet. We will get an iron pickaxe. We will. Okay. So around here... Maybe up a... Hmm. I don't want to, like, focus too hard on getting coal because I know we've basically automated charcoal. With the, uh, with, with the furnace that we have. We've, we've basically got the ability to make charcoal on command. And for every charcoal we, we get, we can also make four more charcoal. Ah, let's get it. Why not? And I'll get some of the copper as well. Maybe it'll come in useful later. It's better to have it than not, and not need it than vice versa, right? Right, good. Much like uh, government subsidized healthcare. Hello there, Caden Samuel. Welcome to the stream. Okay, gonna go ahead and fire that one down there. Let's go up all the way back to base because it's probably night time. It's definitely night time. Actually, maybe it's not the best time to be going up back to base. Maybe we'll want to wait until sunrise because now we're going to be contending with lots and lots of little gremlins and, and goblins. Let's go down here. We could probably actually mine out maybe these two. These two stones right here. Let's do that actually. So we've got a, a better access upwards. There we go. I don't really understand how the water is still functioning the way it is, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. Okay, we'll come all the way up here. Oh, no. We don't have access. Around. Okay, we'll actually use some dirt. Why not? We've got a handful of dirt. We'll just throw this out. Good, and we are probably at a really, really good spot to... Make a little staircase here. Just kind of patch it out so we don't fall off. Didn't want to put that one there. Tomorrow, I sh should I stream Minecraft? That is completely up to you. Uh, honestly, the best success you will ever have if you want to stream your own content is the success you have when you yourself are having fun. If you're enjoying the game, if the game makes you feel things and uh, stuff like that, that is what people want to see because anybody can play a game. Anybody can play a game. Not everybody can have like a friend on command at their fingertips. It, it's just unrealistic to expect people to just have access to friends at all times, right? That is the whole point of streaming. So that people can kind of like, you know, find communities and friendships outside of IRL when their friends are all sleeping or um, in, in case their friends aren't sharing the same interests and stuff like that. I'm going to stream Minecraft. It was very fun today streaming. I like it. Good. Excellent. It's the fun that people are attracted to. And if you've got like, oh, hey there, buddy. Let me put you out of your misery. If you've got like uh, a nice voice and a great uh, setup and all that stuff, that's like a bonus. But as long as you're having fun, people are attracted to the to the energy that comes from having fun. Knock down some of these trees. Uh, I'm going to set up a little bit of a, not apiary, not an aviary. What is it called? Uh, the place where you grow trees. Orchard, sure. Hello there, cat. Just get the crap out of a cat. That's funny. Actually, oaks do drop apples. That is something to consider. So maybe we do want to start planting a bunch of oaks too. Oh, you piss off, sir. You are not welcome here. Wow, I too hit him and he gave me a bow. I actually just got angry seeing that guy hiding under one of my trees too. Right, so let's set up a little orchard really far away from this village because we kind of want to expand out the village and 
We don't necessarily want to be harassed by mobs who aren't burning to death outside of them. Well, I'll, I'll kind of like shave off all of these. Oh, would you look at that? We've got a bow and we've got a single arrow. I wonder if we can hit that skeleton into the sunlight. Let's try and aim a little bit upwards. Boom. Nice. I one hit him and I got the achievement take aim. Don't know what it does, but hey, free bone. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock out all of this grass right here. I don't have a great setup. I'm just in my bed and on my phone recording is on a bottle and I have LED lights. Ah, uh, that is how you start though. That is, that is how you start. My first ever ring light was a lamp with a low light LED bulb in it. And I set it on top of like four boxes because I didn't have a, a tripod stand for it. And that was what used to illuminate my, uh, my face for like the, um, the first year that I, I started streaming as a hobby back in like 2018. It looked ass. You can see it all on my Twitch, which is uh, the same username, Yinson69. You can see all of that on there, but it's, you know, it, it, it definitely has that kind of budget vibe about it. And it's a vibe for some people. It's not a vibe for some people. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're just like enjoying what you're doing, people are attracted to it. That's what I found. People weren't necessarily attracted to my face back when I was first streaming, even though I'm quite self-consciously a very pretty man. But the, uh, the games that I was playing and how I was playing them and, um, you know, the fact that I was enjoying it, that's what people liked. That's what people really liked. I'm also not going to talk much because I'm playing Roblox. Absolutely fine. You do you, I'll do me. It's kind of how streaming works. It's kind of like a, a one-dimensional uh, parasocial kind of, kind of experience, isn't it? Got a bunch of sticks over here. Uh, we've got another cavern of the damned just over here. I'm going to take out this. I'm going to pixel hunt this log right at the bottom. Take it out. It's just a yucky oak. But we kind of want to clear off this, uh, this, this beach here, right here, don't we? Excellent. I'm still watching. Yeah, I know, I know. I know the deal. I know the deal. A lot of people, when they are watching a streamer, it's always on a second monitor. And you can sometimes get away with a budget setup if you just, like, have a, a very vibrant voice like I do. Because on that second monitor, it's just to generate noise so people feel a little less lonely. Same way, same reason that boomers kind of, like, listen to the radio at work. It's, it's just so that it passes time and they feel a little less lonely. Excellent. Got another tree right here. I'm going to use that uh, cobblestone axe to kind of like burn through, I think. Makes more uh, charcoal. But yeah, you can get away with a budget setup because people usually aren't looking at their stream in, a st a stream in the background. It's usually a second monitor kind of thing. I have found very few people who sit there on their phone watching me on their, on their screens like with nothing else. It's, it's very uncommon. Very uncommon. In fact, that's how I watch Markiplier. <laughs> Like the only YouTuber, well, him and Umperville. Those are the only YouTubers that I really watch these days. And it's always a second monitor kind of thing. Right. We've got a lot of sticks. We probably don't even need to craft sticks again. We will never want for more sticks in our life. Got a few more of these trees that we want to knock down before we're kind of happy with this uh, little beach here that we've got. And then we probably want to go find somewhere to plant all of these saplings that we have accruing in our inventory. Too far away from that tree. Good. Uh, we're running low on durability for the axe. Probably want to prioritize all of the trees that are actually close to the village rather than the ones that are just next to the water. Actually, the ones close to the village are in fact guarded by an iron golem. So maybe that's not so much of an issue in the first place. Hmm. Okay, food for thought. We'll knock these four down. Then we'll start going through the village and we'll knock down their trees. Maybe we'll get some like public planters going on. Maybe we'll move the houses around. Maybe we'll get like a nice, a nice little village going where we kind of like set it out ourselves and uh, we kind of like manage the infrastructure and we form like a housing council. And if somebody ever paints their driveway like, uh, like green or something like that, uh, we can take them to court and then have them thrown in jail, which would actually be an excellent premise for how we get them to generate all of our resources. Just the, uh, the people that, that did not abide by the housing committee. <laughs> what a stupid premise. <laughs> the most fascist housing committee in the world. Okay, good. Let's knock this one down. I don't think we'll be able to knock down another tree unless it's uh, kind of small. We'll try. We'll try and knock this one down. I don't think we'll have the facilities to do so, though. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't have the extra ability. Let's just go ahead and knock them down by hand. Even though it takes ages. Like, this is why I have Tree Capitator installed. It's because it takes this long. And we also have another stone axe here that we want to break. Ah! Okay, we had enough durability in that one. Sure as hell. Good, those leaves are going to despawn. Perfect. Love it. Uh, let's go set up kind of like an orchard, maybe on top of that hill over there. The high ground is always best, right? 
I'm also going to shave off this dirt right here because I, I don't know why, but I don't like the look of it. We also need some farms. We need some, uh, some creatures. We need some agriculture. We need some crops. And we need a clue because we, we don't really have one at this point. I'm also going to shave off this. I'm doing a little bit of terraforming to distract myself from all of the chores that I've already set for myself. Let's just shave all of this, this off. I kind of like the idea of a savannah being like plains. Big, big flat plains so that we can kind of like be the king of all we survey, so to speak. Then we can see really far off into the distance. And the only thing we won't be able to see past is kind of like that giant sandy mound, which actually does make a pretty nice looking feature piece. Gotta be said. Gotta be said, it's a nice feature piece. Uh, what I don't want is any sight of swamp. Yuck. We don't want to set up our house anywhere near any swamps. They are disgusting. And they spawn witches who are gross and they have huge, huge noses. Just absolutely vile. Uh, let's also get rid of this crafting bench right here. Maybe break our axe on it. We didn't break our axe. Oh well. Another day, another breaking axe. Huh. So we are probably going to need to get a huh. few shears, actually. We've got some iron. We can make some shears and then we can probably start shearing off some sheep. Might be a good idea. I kind of want to get rid of some of that dirt as well. Let's go all the way over here. Whose house is this? It's just a, a, a little crap hole. It's a little crap hole house. We probably want to start getting the villagers to top and tail, right? Is this guy actually making things? No, he's not. I think he's just... We've got a spider eye. We've got an actual spider eye. Huh. Cool. We've got an egg. We've got a lot of stuff that we can actually put in this crap chest here. Got a lot of coal, which we're probably not going to use because we've got a full stack of charcoal just over here. No, we don't. We have five charcoal because we use them all for torches. Okay, let's change that. Uh, we've also got some cobblestone. We could probably replace a stone axe by making another two of them. We've got enough sticks, most certainly. We've actually got a stack and a bit of sticks, which is uh, pretty god tier. Let's get two more of these axes into our inventory here and here. That way, when this one runs out, we won't be left in a bad predicament. Got another crafting table here. Probably not going to use it realistically. Acacia sapling, we probably want to keep that. Stone pickaxe, we'll keep it. Got a lot of resources, actually. We've got some um, some crop stuff that we could probably actually... I think the next priority, we'll terraform the center of the town and then we'll make sure that the farm is really nice, okay? We'll go out, we'll start actually planting a bunch of stuff. We also need to smelt down this raw iron. So let's go ahead and pick out one more of these smooth stone blocks. We'll go ahead and make another furnace right here. Done. Got some copper right there as well. Uh, let's place that right there. We will put in all of this iron and we'll take all of the charcoal that has been made so far and we'll stick it in here. Done. Excellent. So, what else do we need? Probably not a hell of a lot else if we're just going to be terraforming, right? We need a bucket, which means we need iron. We need shears, which means we need iron. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, what the hell are you? A wandering trader. He's selling a flower, selling an acacia sapling, which we have lots of. Fire coral block. Don't know what the hell that is. Probably just damages us. It's just selling a bunch of crap. Packed ice. Yeah, all of this sucks. Leave. You're not welcome here. You are literally not welcome here anymore. I'm not joking either. He is not welcome here. It's almost sundown as well. Uh, let's go ahead and start terraforming up this village. We'll kind of like pretty this place up a little bit. Make it all nice and bougie. We'll get some like consistent paths as well. Because the paths that we currently have are a little bit arse, aren't they? They're, they're just a, a smidge arse to look at and experience. Probably want to get some uh, more of the smooth sandstone as well. So we'll probably want to go into the little ravine over the side there, get some sandstone, and we'll pack it into some smooth stand sandstone. Even if we have to like cook it, that's absolutely fine by me. And knock all of that out. Probably want to go another level down as well, because it seems like that is basically flat nominal. We'll kind of have this village raised up, and then we'll put some walls all around it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a sleep real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Is it not night time? Looks like it's night time. Boop. There we go. Okay. We got a pick in our hand as well. Excellent. Hmm. We need a shield. Actually, we, re we really need a shield. We'll probably get on that later. But we do need a shield. We need a really, really big shield. Okay, so I am probably also going to migrate a lot of these houses around. Got some rotten flesh. Nice. Free rotten flesh. Everybody say thank you to the weird village for the rotting flesh. Okay, so this farm is 
is it's fine it's it's fine for what it does do we actually want to take this one block down or do we just want to like shave off what we've got here with the shovel maybe we just want to keep it where it is actually okay this guy's got a little bit of a pet cactus over here let's start shaving around this guy's house I think that we're probably actually at a fairly decent level here. I do want to go one down, but we can always just build up, can't we? We probably don't care too much about subterranean stuff, right? Because we are basically at the water level. We're only like, what, two, three blocks above water? Which is fine. It's absolutely fine. I kind of do like it sometimes to be on the level of the water, but I know that deserts are always surrounded by dunes. Uh, much like that movie, um, what's it called, um, the one with the sandworms. It's, it's got a real good representation of dunes in it. Oh, what is it called? The sand dunes all over the place, and the sandworms, and, uh, uh Sh Shia La Hood, something like that. What is it called? Ah, uh, I can't remember. What is it? It's about, it's about like, um, these villagers living inside of caves, inside of all of those sand dunes. And the spice all over the sand dunes. God, what is that movie called? And there's also another one in like 1987, I think? Or is that a Taylor Swift album? One of the two. There's also, there, it, it was a remake. There was a series of movies that came out recently with uh, Timothy Chalamet. We basically played this character, um, living, basically learning how to, how to be a, uh, 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 one of the, one of the peasants living in the sand dunes in this world. What is that film called? There's two of them. And, uh, you, you know, there's sandworms and they have to drink their own pee and stuff like that. Kind of like the beer grill sim simulator. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's gross. I don't want to think about that. Let's get rid of some of the sand. Okay, the beautification project has begun. Maybe we want to shave down one level. Or maybe we want to just kind of, like, have this flat nominal. Why is it not... Why is, why is it different here? That's weird. It's super strange. <laughs> Okay, this trader is literally harassing us now. Maybe we do want to shave one floor down. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to shave another floor down. I know it's probably uh, a little bit excessive, but it's probably easier to shave all of this off than it is to kind of like move entire houses. To be quite honest. Okay, we've got all of this uh, pretty much knocked up. Good, 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 good. And punch through here. We're going to need a few. We're going to need quite a few shovels, actually. We should probably go and get some more cobblestone, realistically. We'll get all of this pathening stuff uh, kind of, like, off of here. Because I don't think it increases your movement speed. And I know that the actual pathed areas do increase your movement speed. So maybe we want to have just actual paths going across the village instead of the sandstone blocks. And we'll use these smooth sandstone blocks as kind of, like, architectural um, things. Are you instant? I'm back. My mum called me. I, I hardly noticed. I, d I didn't even hear her. Like, she can't have been that loud, uh, to be quite frank, because I, I certainly didn't hear her. Okay, I'll knock these up. I'll leave this guy's farm up for now, but we are going to knock it down for the sake of uh, getting a gigantic farm set up uh, probably pretty close to where we are. Like, maybe if we shave off all of this, we could probably set up all of this area here as, like, two different... Yeah, we could probably set up two different farms here. Irrigate it, make it look really, really nice. I think we'll do that. So let's take all of this down a couple more levels, and then we'll kind of like terraform into that area there. We're kind of like waiting on the iron. I don't really want to use iron for terraforming. Oh my god, my dude, you almost just got aggroed on. Jesus. Piss off! Go away, no one wants your flowers. This guy's literally cancer. <laughs> He's standing there trying to get me to spend actual gemstones on his bloody flowers. Piss off! Yeah, he just literally will not leave. And he won't sell anything else. Uh, what will you give me for, I don't know, this, this raw copper? Nothing? Okay. Well, piss off then. If you're not willing to work with me, I'm not willing to work with you. Simple as that, jackass. Uh, also, be careful. Don't stand on these things because I'm terraforming right now. We're doing a beautification project on the first village we found. I know it's probably not the best village we found, but it's, it's definitely the first. Okay, this is going to take ages. Let's go get some cobblestone from some, like, literally anywhere, and then we'll just make a bunch of uh, tools. Because we've got enough of these stone pickaxes, we just need lots and lots of the cobblestone itself. Is there a way of getting up from here, actually? What do we got? Smooth sandstone. We've got, like, a stack and a bit of smooth sandstone. 
Maybe we just kind of like pile up sand. Yeah, let's pile up sand right here. Because we don't need to be all the way at the top to do this. Excellent. Nice. Let's get a couple more. Actually, we probably don't need to use the sand at all, to be quite honest. We can just do this across the face. It's really handy if there's like a gigantic bowl where you're building from. But we don't have a gigantic bowl. What we actually have is just a, a kind of platform right here. Excellent. Don't know why I filled that bottom one in there. It was completely unnecessary, but I did it regardless. We've also got a lot of sandstone down here, so we probably want to take a lot of that as well. All right, let's take a lot of this cobblestone, as much of it as we possibly can. I'm going to try and shave it off of the ends first. Okay, whoops. Need some dirt here now. And let's go ahead and start shaving off of this end. Hopefully we won't uncover a gigantic hole that we can fall in, or maybe villagers could fall in, because that would suck. I haven't seen any villagers fall down any holes, actually. Maybe the AI has improved. Unlikely, though. <laughs> the AI in this game, still pretty bad. Still really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to start shaving into here. We probably are just going to light up this cabin and then just leave it. We'll, we'll patch over it and then we'll just leave it. We may use it as kind of like a subterranean base eventually, but don't necessarily think this is where we're going to set that up, to be quite frank. Unless we want to kind of like have a, a quick access mine just like right here where we can start strip mining from. Actually, that might be a really good idea. That might actually be a very, very good idea. Maybe we'll do that. Because this is a pretty good access of sandstone too. Okay. Go ahead and just shave off the uh, sides here. Excellent. Uh, probably don't want any of this stuff here in the walkway. Oh, this stuff is so much easier to mine. Wow. Okay. Maybe we do want to get all of the sandstone while we're down here. Excellent. I'll kind of like, I'll get rid of any form of escape as well, just in case somebody does get down here. So they'll have to find that little, um, little platform that we made. Maybe we can also encase entry to this place in a, in a building. Like that really, really badly made one with like a cauldron in the bottom. And that's it. Maybe that's the one we, we want to kind of like have as a, a mining bay station. We'll, we'll set it to work, because all it's got in it right now is a single cauldron, and that is just bad. I don't know if uh, people are picking up jobs based on it, but there's nothing for them to do. Okay, what else is through here? Not a hell of a lot. Uh, let's continue shaving off these edges. Kind of minimize the risk of anything spawning on them. Get rid of all of this here. Excellent. Very cash money. Nice. And we've broken one of our pickaxes. Actually, we don't have any other pickaxes. Let's use a stone axe until it breaks. Might take a wee while. In fact, it might take billions of years. But we want to get rid of it. We want to get rid of the axe out of our inventory because it can't recapitate, which means it's kind of useless as a, as a as a tree felling item. There we go, done. What it would be useful as is a weapon, but it doesn't have the durability that we need to kind of like utilize it as a weapon. All right, let's come all the way back up here. Great. What have we got? We have some sandstone. Let's actually fill out this little path right here so that we don't get stuck there. Oh, poos. Right, uh, we need to get rid of the sand. And we also need to get rid of this dirt right here so we can get up. Nice! Well, that is a treacherous path right here. Maybe we'll just keep it. Maybe we'll make it. What the hell is going on over here? What? <laughs> The Iron Golem just got killed! Did that traitor actually just kill our Iron Golem? No shot! I dropped enough Iron Ingot for a bucket though, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Okay, we do have another Iron Golem over here, so it's not like... It's not... All is not lost. We've got some more Iron Ingots right there as well. Let's go ahead and put all this charcoal back into there. And then we'll put another stack of planks in there, I suppose. Or logs. How about the stack of acacia logs? Probably makes sense. Uh, let's also, ugh, also halve that. And we will kind of like put some charcoal in here and another stack can go into that Aww. furnace there. Then we're going to have so much charcoal, we probably won't know what to do with it. Got two stone axes. That's fine. We've got a poppy as well for some reason. What we need is a decent amount of shovels, right? We need, oh, we've got enough cobblestone. We can definitely do that. Okay, let's start dumping all of the crap we don't want in here. Uh, we probably don't want two and a half stacks of acacia saplings, but we should probably go plant them rather than just dumping them. We probably don't need that much dirt, probably don't need that much smooth sandstone. We probably don't want that sandstone, or that sand, or that dirt. 
actually probably consolidate that at least and then put that excess dirt in there. The cage logs, we've got a stack of them. I don't think we'll end up using it because we have a couple of planks. Oak logs, oak planks, don't need either of those either. Right, so we could probably actually start making iron tools, but we're not going to just yet because it's still a bit of a waste of iron until we kind of look, know what we want to do with it. Great. Okay, so we'll continue terraforming up here by getting ourselves a bunch of stone shovels because we're going to need them. I think four stone or five stone shovels? Four might do the trick, actually. Let's just go ahead. Four stone shovels, done. And we'll keep on digging and terraforming until all of these break, essentially. All right, let's mine this down one level. Excuse me, sir. Why did that old iron golem have to die? Why did that traitor kill him? Why is he an aggressor? What a dick. What an actual dick. I know it looks kind of ugly to have sand underneath all of the... Uh, the sandstone here as well, but at the same time, we can always replace it with some smooth sandstone once we get enough of that. Uh, we are going to punch immediately to our left as well, and I'm digging up all of the sand downwards instead of kind of like building upwards, specifically because we're going to need a lot of glass later for our for our bases. We're going to need just an absolute heap of glass. All right, good. Shave around here. Excellent. Come all the way through here. We're already at half durability for this shovel. Well, wouldn't it be weird if there was like a tree captator mod for the shovel? No clue how the golem died. I'm pretty sure what happened was he aggressed against this here uh, trader and the trader's llamas killed him. Because if you attack the trader, the llamas spit at you and they can do ranged damage. I know that because I played Minecraft Dungeons. I've never like seen them fight anybody in Minecraft per se, but I, I did play Minecraft Dungeons and that's what the llama summons did. That was essentially their super. They are incredibly potent. When I was playing Minecraft Dungeons, I was essentially just a summons guy, which is generally what I always spec into every time I play like a top-down RPG. Just as many summons as possible. I got to the point in Path of Exile where I had so many zombies on the screen and their movement speed was so high that enemies literally could not get onto the screen before they uh, were just one hit by these zombies. More likely he fell into a cave. He didn't fall into a cave because we, we watched the trader um, assault him at this well right here. That's We saw it. We, we literally saw it with our own two eyes. It happened. Get these two down. And probably start shaving off this hill right here because it's a little bit too tall and it blocks the nice view on the distance. There's a white rabbit here. Oh, I, almost, I might be coming into the wealth of owning a rabbit in the very, very near future as well because one of my flatmates is looking at getting an indoor hutch, which is awesome. I love rabbits so much. One of my favorite animals. They're so gentle and they're a little bit cheeky. All right, we'll get all of this. Yeah, not only did we witness the iron golem get assaulted to death by the trader, we also picked up the iron golem's three iron ingots when it died and it unlocked an achievement for us. Which is a little bit strange. Okay, we'll get all of this mined out. Good, 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 good. Uh, I'm I'm just a little bit paranoid that there's going to be a villager on the other side of the sand when I'm mining, and it's going to be that trader right there because he keeps harassing us to buy his flowers. No one wants your flowers, dude. Piss off. You know, spitting hot fire here. Slinging truths. Slinging truths. Like, uh... Alex Jones, before he got all crazy. Okay, we'll keep on mining all through here. Get all the way down here. Yeah, we probably could actually... I think it's faster to mine top than bottom. But at the same time, if we... We can just hold the mouse in the same place just by mining the same little line there. Excellent. Get rid of all of this. Uh, we're going to be putting down a big section of farm. So that's what we're working on right now for anybody who's, who's just kind of... Could you go away? Go away! You are the worst. You are literally the worst. Okay, we're down a shovel. Let's just use another one. Actually, screw this guy. Huh? Screw this guy. Absolutely screw this guy. I'm going to wait until he stops moving. Uh -huh. Okay, and now we need a pickaxe, which we don't have. Damn it. Maybe we can just mine it out before he kind of, like, moves. Hopefully. No! So close. Huh? Okay, if he stays over here, we can... Okay, we can't mine that one out. We need him to, like, fall into a hole and die or something like that. 
I'm just gonna keep on mining out around him because his harassment is literally the pits. Okay, uh, I can't place any blocks down either. Come on, man. Walk onto a, a, a pit of some sort, I dare you. Okay, good, shove him into there. Good, okay, he's stuck down there. Now we can't do anything, we're not gonna aggress him. The llamas aren't going to attack us. Perfect. We can probably actually kill him just by um, dropping some lava down there too. I don't know if he drops anything, but you know. <laughs> okay, excellent. We've just hauled him off, which is pretty funny. Let's go ahead and just uh, fill in that one there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start mining all of this up. Excellent. Actually, you know what? I've got a, I've got a way that we probably could just uh, kill him, right? We'll put that there. And uh, we'll put sand in there and in here. Hey, there we go. Creative engineering right here. Hey, no, don't worry. I'm just uh, drowning your, uh, your owner. Oh, a leash. Thank you so much. All right, llamas, run free. What a twit. What an actual twit. Okay, he didn't even drop any goodies other than a leash, which we are going to use to kind of like get some sheep and cows and stuff around the place. That guy's haul was absolute ass. We are not gonna miss him. Yuck, I don't know what he was offering us, but it, it just wasn't good enough. He couldn't close the deal. We definitely actually need a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and make a couple. Let's do that now. Uh, pickaxe. Two sticks, four sticks, and any cobble? Yes, we've got plenty of cobble. Right here, done. And we'll put that one there. We'll get the sand off of our hotbar and we'll put this one right here. Nice. Good. So if we cook the sand, it's going to turn into glass, which is pretty cool, actually. But what we're more interested in is, is this kind of like smooth sandstone. So I think that if we get enough sand, we could probably consolidate it all into a single gigantic block, which would be the smooth sandstone. Okay. Got a little uh, port right here. You got a gun, hee hee? I beg your pardon? I absolutely have no gun. I do not have a gun. Welcome, uh, Titan Cameraman V2, to the stream. Uh, we didn't use any kind of, like, weaponry whatsoever. We got one kill so far on a living creature, and it was, in fact, sand. Sand is our favourite weapon currently. If this were Battlefield, that would literally be our statistic. Favourite weapon, sand. Okay, shave around here. Good. I'll create, like, a, uh, like a farming zone, I think. And then we'll put some... We'll move the farmers' houses and we'll build them next to it so that they kind of, like, give us some, some free labour. Okay, I'm going to kind of like shave through here so that it doesn't look so strange. Yeah, this hill gets pretty high, actually. We could probably just like, um, we could probably actually shave off most of this as well. Good. Yeah, we probably will actually end up doing exactly that. I'll shave off this so we can actually get up here if we ever need to do so. And then we'll go ahead, we'll go down a block. I thought today was vote day. No, today's Minecraft day. Uh, tomorrow is vote day. Did you actually read the post? Did you read the poll? Probably not. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll mine all of this out. Good. No, Thursdays are now going to be dedicated to uh, Minecraft exclusively. That was kind of what I was trying to figure out is when are we doing Minecraft? Because I knew that one would have been one of the major votes. And then what are we going to be doing the other request days? Righto. Lol, wait, no, I don't remember. No, you don't. It che go check the post. I haven't edited it or anything. It literally only says, come and vote for the game we're playing on Friday. There was one post that said, um, we are voting on Thursdays and Fridays for the games we want to see. I basically, at that point, already dedicated Thursdays to Minecraft and uh, Fridays to kind of like getting through the, the major requests that everybody wants to see. Because I don't really know what requests everybody wants to see. I only know what the requests are. Okay, we'll come through here and we'll go through. I remember you saying it was Minecraft? Yeah, Thursday's going to be dedicated to Minecraft days. Uh, that's now just going to be a channel feature. Because there's so much Minecraft stuff that people have recommended and want to see. Uh, we're not playing on hardcore anymore, though. By the way, we've uh, kind of like gone to just hard mode. Which is kind of unforgiving. You lose all of your things when you die. But it should still be fine. Okay, that's precarious. I know if we hit all of that, it's going to sink down one level. Let's go ahead and mine all of this out as well. I don't know why. I don't like this kind of like lip right here. Good. And the more of this we uh, punch off, the more of it'll fall down. Okay, we should have another 
No, we've gotten through all of our shovels. Pretty crazy, actually. I'll go here, I'll mine all of this off, and then we'll see whether or not we can make more shovels. Because we definitely want to keep on terraforming. Excellent. Knock all of this down. Good. Perfect. I'm also going to level it off with some sand as well. Punch all of this off. Nice. Thank God, I really didn't think you were going to be able to last in hardcore. I was scared you would permanently lose after a lot of progress. That's the that's whole perks of... Um, that's, the, that's the point. That is the entire point of hardcore. You lose everything. That's it. You got, you got one chance to not miss your chance to blow. Because that opportunity, it only comes once in a lifetime. And then I, I don't really know what the ad lib they say afterwards. To me, it's, it's basically just um, a, a different language. You know what I'm talking about, right? The Eminem song, Mom's Spaghetti. Uh, we can only sleep at night time. And it's night time. We were literally a second off. Yeah, so we're going to be doing uh, basically as much of that challenge list that you put forward uh, as we possibly can in this world here. And then we are probably going to move on to Modded Skyblock, where I basically just invite one person into the lobby at a time, and when they die, that's them done. Everybody I play with will only get one life, and then that'll be it. We'll see if we can't, like, uh, send them off in, um, in some really, really big, gory ways as well. We have lots of axes. We don't have a lot of shovels. Still need way more shovels than we actually have. Let's just get six this time. This dickhead is now pushing me in my own home. Get out of my house! Maybe if we remove this uh, potion thing and put it in a different house, he'll just leave. Okay, we've got lots of charcoal here. And we've got lots of charcoal here. That is full stacks in both of the furnaces. Love that system. Which system? What, like uh, the furnaces or the... The little crafting table right here. This is something I've been doing since I first played this game in like 2012. I recommend always checking the spreadsheet for what to do next if you want to get it done a decent amount of time. Oh, at the moment, I'm just kind of like trying to set up a nice place to call home. And then I'm going to start looking at doing the uh, list full time. I want to terraform this village, right? Uh... Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, uh, they're multiplying. What? There was two, now there's three. What the hell is going on here? So weird. That's so, so weird. But yeah, um, we're going to like call this place our base, right? I've already got a wee plan as well. There's a little kind of like spit over there. We're going to turn that into a gigantic castle at some point. And then it's going to overlook this village right here, which we are going to kind of like... We're not going to dismantle the entire thing, but we are going to kind of uh, chop and change exactly what is here. So we'll kind of like customize this village to our heart's extent, because I know that one of the biggest pains in the ass that I remember from Bedrock is getting a villager from A to B, unless we can use a lead on them. Can we use a lead on a villager? <sighs> no. I don't want to hit him either, because there is iron golems around the place and I don't want to die necessarily. Okay, let's get all of the sand out of the way. Uh, what we are currently doing now is creating a facility uh, where the villagers can essentially just get into farming, right? That's exactly what we are trying to get them to do. And we have been down in the dirt mining a couple of times. Unfortunately, we didn't exactly find any, like, goodies. We, we didn't... We found a, a bit of iron. We found about 20 iron, which... We're going to dedicate to some shears and maybe even a bucket. And then after that, probably some tools. But we don't want to waste it on tools that we're just going to use for terraforming a village. I'm playing my favorite mod pack right now. What is your favorite mod pack? My favorite mod pack was probably Feed the Beast, <laughs> honestly. Or Redstone Flux. That one was awesome. I loved all the electrical engineering in that. Gave me a little taste of the uh, stuff that I intend on studying next, next year. We've got a lot of cats around us too. It's probably because of the savannah. I thought that they spawned in jungle biomes, but maybe that's not actually a thing anymore. I mean, Java has actually just surprised me in so many ways, shapes, and forms. I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, we've almost broken the shovel. Great, let's get this one out. There might actually be one more mod that I install, but maybe not on this playthrough. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. There is a mod that I remember from one of the mod packs that auto replaces a tool that breaks in your hand with a tool from your inventory. It's really, really handy. But I mean, like, it's, it's not too much time lost. It's just a, like a quality of life thing. Maybe I won't install it whatsoever. It's called Advent of Ascension. 
plus. Cool. Is it like a, uh, it's, it's not like, um, a tower roguelite, is it? Because I, I have played Minecraft Dungeons, and I know a lot of the maps from Minecraft Dungeons were inspired, um, quite heavily by a lot of the kind of, like, mod packs and stuff. That, uh, Minecraft and Mojang both were all like, hey, that's impressive. Nice work. It's a pack based around just one mod with a few quality of life mods as well. That's kind of cool. What's, what's the mod? Please tell me it's tree capitata. No, we've got another traitor. Don't do it. No. I know that I may have killed your brother. Don't do it. Oh God. Uh, uh, we need to like stick some, something soft down at the, at the base, right? Don't do You stay right there, my dude. No, actually let's try and, and uh, get him. Let's try and, let's talk him down from the ledge. Uh, my friend, my friend, you've got so much more to live for. My dude, you don't have to do this. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this whatsoever. Don't do this. Look, I'll, I'll buy whatever you've got. Mushroom? What the hell? Coral block? Sugar cane? Dirt? Oh, screw you, man. Oh, no, he survived. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. <laughs> there is a tree cap that alternative that is even better than tree cap potato. Oh, what's it called? I've never heard of a better tree cap potato mod than tree cap potato before. We need an axe. We need an axe in our inventory instead of two picks. Okay, they're probably gonna spit on us, which is absolutely fine. Yep, here they go. Die. Okay, we're engaged in the combat. Die, sir. Die, good sir. Don't spit at me. Oh my God, seriously? Okay, one down. And two is running away. But will he? No. Oh, that was what I call combat. Whew. Hello, my friend. Hello, timeless god. Welcome back. No, cl no clue. I know, just know it works really good. I mean, tree capitator is probably about as good as it can get from like, um, I think about it for five minutes standpoint. Because how it works is it basically just like takes the bottom chunk of a tree and then goes up in a cone shape. So um, that's how it detects what are trees and what are not. So you can kind of like... With tree cap daddy, you can still make buildings and stuff, and it won't it won't dismantle the entire things. My favorite mod is the stacker mod, where you can set the stack size size to anything you want, up to one billion. Jesus, that is excessive. A billion is actually I've seen some mod packs where that is probably underkill. It's, it's probably not enough for a for a full a full kill. That'd be kind of cool actually if we if we get it there if we get it here. I do kind of like the stack size being um. A binary number, though. It, it does satisfy something in my brain. There is something in my brain. About it. It's really, really nice. Jensen, add mods to your game. I already have. I've added Tree Capitator, and that's going to be literally all we are doing. We are not going to add a single other mod. And the only reason we've got Tree Capitator is because I don't really like fishing around in the, uh, in the leaves above... Um, you know, way above where we can reasonably reach just to find the log that despawns all the leaves so we can grow more trees in the same spot. The Advent of Ascension is the mod, but it's so damn big, over 20 dimensions and huge RPG elements. I love it. Nice. Maybe I'll give that one a go in the in the future. Probably in the far off future, though. This one is going to be a long-standing series. I can I can just tell. And we're going to be playing in like six-hour bursts too. Actually, maybe not today. I do have to shoot off early today, so it might be about five hours that we play today. Jensen sing this. Wait, wait. Why the demands? Why, why are there so many demands going on? We're just here to play some relaxing Minecraft and maybe uh, murder some some flower salesmen. I'm not going to be singing any Undertale fan songs. Oh my god! <laughs> so many people have been asking me to cover Undertale fan songs. Okay, I'm just going to flat out say it right now. The fandom is wrong. All of the all of the theories that have come out about Gaster and Undertale, all of the alternate reality theories, all of the Gaster follower theories, they're all wrong. Right? I have scripted half of the game theory already. I've already spent, like, maybe five hours scripting this goddamn thing. I'm only four chapters in as well, into the script. And uh, now that it's all laid out in front of me, I've got a very clear section of evidence where all of it is just wrong. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing any kind of, like, Undertale fan covers or anything like that. I'm just going to drop the game theory and then drop the game. <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play all the, the other ones, but I'm not actually going to sing it. Absolutely no. And begging will get you nowhere in life. Uh, a little bit of friendly advice for you.
Okay. We just burst one of our shovels. Bit of a shame. It isn't. S to G. Are you having a stroke? I, th I think all of the demands might be um, might be overwhelming your brain, timeless god. You, you may be having a, a little bit of a struggle there, trying to uh, trying to get me to do things that I physically cannot do. I haven't heard the music that you were trying to get me to reference. And I don't watch YouTubers uh, who play Undertale, and I will not start watching YouTubers who, who play Undertale, because quite frankly, I want to enjoy the game that I played for myself. That's as simple as that. Literally as simple as that. Okay. So we'll get all of the sand out of the way. Try to cover it? Absolutely not. I've already said no. I'm hardline about this. There's absolutely no chance in hell you are getting me to cover a song I haven't heard. Oh, oh my god, I thought there was like common sense around the world. Isn't it? Is it not like... Is it not like just a, a social thing to... Like not have people insist people sing songs that they've never heard before? And I'm not going to listen to it either. Whatever it's called. I just joined your Discord. I'm new here and I'm really enjoying this channel. You'll probably really enjoy the Discord then. There's actually a couple of things uh, to do there that I curate myself. There's a bit of sand here. It feels wasteful to leave it here. I suppose we could probably eat an apple. Yeah, we'll eat an apple. Free up our inventory so we can keep some of that rotting flesh. There's a couple of channels in there. One is called You Bop, You Lose. Uh, every week I will stick a an album in there. And if you can sit through the whole thing without enjoying a single song, then you win the game. Get out of my house, small person. What are you doing? I also just tried to eat some uh, flesh, some rotting flesh. Gross. All right, our crap chest is filling up real fast. No, I'm, I'm still not going to be singing a song I've never heard, my dude. <laughs> okay, let's kick this guy out of our bed. At least we know. At least we know when it is nighttime. It's pretty good, right? Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, we probably don't need these acacia planks on us if we've got a whole stack of logs. We can just turn those into planks as they go along. Uh, bones as well. Probably don't need those on us. Probably don't need the string on us. We do need more string, though. I do kind of want to specialize as uh, some kind of crossbow main. Honestly. We've got a lot of charcoal on us. We probably don't actually need that much charcoal. Get out of my house! This is the most disrespectful crap that I've seen in so long. Chat is insisting I sing a song I've never heard. There is a short man jumping on my bed. He just went out the cactus. What a twit. What an actual twit. I don't know what his deal is, honestly. Okay, uh, we probably need more shovels, don't we? No, we've got enough shovels, actually. Let's just go ahead and we'll keep on going through. Okay, look, my dude, if you uh, keep on spamming uh, lyrics in the chat, I'm going to have to time you out. It's, <laughs> it's really annoying. Explains the plot. Dude, I know the plot. I've wrote a game theory about the game, and I just said every single person who has told me the theories has been wrong. It's been nine years of misinformation on the internet. And this, if there's anything that bothers me on the internet, it's misinformation. That, that is genuinely the one thing that just pisses me off. So I'm not going to go and listen to a song that tells me the plot of a game that I can debunk in literally a, a, a couple of minutes. If you've seen the series on my channel, you'll actually know this already. So um, I'm probably being a little bit mean. I'm really sorry. If you haven't seen the series on my, on my channel, I did do every single run. I haven't beat Sans yet. I'm going to be doing that in my private time. But every single run that I've had, I've, I've basically taken what the uh, fandom's official statements were based on the story of Undertale, and I've squished them with my, um, with, with my hands. It literally isn't real or misunderstood. Yeah, but there's evidence for a story and I've written a game theory. That's, that's the thing. I have written a game theory. It's a theory, but it's supported by all of the in-game evidence that we see in the game. Oh my God. Is, is this actually like a hard concept to grasp? That somebody has extrapolated uh, data from, from, incomplete, from incomplete data? Do people, like, okay. Again, like, I, I feel like I might be a little bit mean saying this, but do people just, like, not think for themselves anymore? Is YouTube brain rot actually taking over the internet? Like, I'm saying this unironically. Is it actually happening? The lyrics don't have the plot? What do you mean? You, you, did you not just tell me that it talks about the, uh... Yeah, explains the plot. 
It's random regular lyrics. Okay, cat. I don't believe that for a second. I don't believe that whatsoever. Okay, good. Uh, we probably actually want to start filling up the farmland now. So I'm going to take a lot of the sand that I have, and I'm going to start filling in a lot of these holes. Let's go. That's not what we want. This is smooth sandstone. Weird. Why is this in our hands? Where's the sand? Uh, we probably had a couple of sand in our inventory already. Let's go ahead and start filling in this area, and then we will kind of, like, mark out some recesses, I think. All right, good. And we'll fill all of this in. Good. Nice. We'll get this... Nice and flat, I think. Explains the plot is in the lyrics. Oh, of course, for that song I've never heard. Yes, you are so right. Yes. Yes, it's in that song I've never heard. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? So overwhelmingly dumb. <laughs> God, I love that so much. Hey, I saw a meme. And thus, because it's a meme, everybody else has seen it. Good logic. Uh, we will go ahead and... Why are we in here? We, we, we actually need a lot of the sand now. Okay, I think that guy's just tugging himself off in the corner of our bedroom, which is probably actually more respectful than getting into our bed, sleeping on it, and then jumping on it when we kick him out. That is, that is literally garbage. Yeah, no, that, when I was playing Undertale on my channel, and you'll probably actually see this if you go and actually watch the, the VODs for the, for the game, instead of just like... Um, talking random lyrics uh, at me while I play a completely different game for literally no reason other than uh, because I'm here and, and uh, you know, people can actually just do this. The issue that I had with that game is that I was playing the game, trying to enjoy the game. I was trying to get, uh, like, a handle on the story, and so many people came onto my streams to tell me uh, spoilers of the story, essentially. And what these spoilers were was misinformation from wikis and other YouTubers. So all these people gave me was a bunch of garbage uh, telling me, yeah, yeah, this is fact. And if you don't believe it, you're actually just a, a piece of human garbage. I, I don't know why you would even bother me playing this game if you don't already know the entire story. Uh, like, just let me play the game. Just let me enjoy the story. Because I did actually, I found a story behind the scenes, and it's not the story that the fandom has been uh, just trying to lump on me the whole time I've, I have been playing the game. It's completely different. And it's better. It's actually, it's, it's got it's to gotta be said, it's, it's probably a better story as well. I actually know the real lore. Oh yeah, go on. The person that people think is Gaster isn't Gaster at all. That's not lore. That is literally... <laughs> oh my god! You Okay, so that is covered in the first two minutes of my game theory. Is whether or not Gaster is the mystery man. No, he is not. And the only evidence for people saying, hey, Gaster is the mystery man, is that apparently his kind of like theme song, when he disappears, which we found in a stream where I was secret hunting, his theme, when he disappears, is Gaster's theme slowed, uh, sped up. So what I did was I recorded the Mystery Man theme, and then I slowed it down in post to about 20% of its original speed, played it side by side. It's not the same key, they aren't the same notes, and it's not even the same time signature. So it's not the same song whatsoever. That is what all of the whole Gaster is Mystery Man thing uh, hinges on. That one tiny little scrap of uh, evidence. Which isn't evidence, because it's, it's just complete um, misinformation. Dr. Wingdings Gaster? Yep, uh, can't argue with that. He does speak in Wingdings. A lot of people also accredit some dialogue to him that's not in Wingdings, which is a little bit silly too, because uh, if everybody else has font thematic consistency, kind of has to be. Kind of has to be um, Wingdings. You can't li it literally cannot be anything else. Okay, we've got uh, more sand here. I want to shave off another. I, I hate to say it, but I probably want to shave off just like another lower layer. Because then our house would basically be on par with everybody else's to an extent. But then all of these other buildings are kind of too high, aren't they? I mean, we can always move them, can't we? Dr. Wingdings Gaster is actually a knight from a chessboard. Oh, yeah, cite your source. Because <laughs> I've got direct evidence that says that he is not only not a knight, but he is. Uh, you know, he's, he's got a job given to him by literally everybody who employed him. I don't know. I don't know if we actually do want to take this down. Actually, sure, why not? Let's take it down just another level and we'll just move all of the houses that we kind of, like, don't like. Let's just do that. Because quite frankly, just having... 
all of this crap in one place is a little bit a little bit cumbersome honestly you find this per person when you have a uh, certain love okay <laughs> what is the evidence though because i have not only beaten the game in every single mode minus sands uh, but I have also seen the Sands ending. I just looked at him up out of curiosity because I was sick of fighting him all the time. Uh, yeah, I found him genuinely boring to fight. But um, I got sick of fighting him, so I looked up the resolution, and it was just wildly disappointing. It didn't give me any of what I was expecting to see. In fact, it didn't actually give me anything that I could reasonably use in the game theory that I'm currently scripting. So a little bit of, uh, of a damp fart right there. A little, little bit of a shame. I was hoping Genocide would, would actually give us, you know, something, but... Not so much. Is in one of Sans stands? Oh yeah. Who is it though? You, you can't just be cryptic when you're theory crafting. That's that's what people have been trying to do. A lot of people have been trying to like stop me from receiving spoilers. But quite frankly, I've played the game to death. <laughs> there is nothing new that I haven't seen. Like I appreciate it, and I, I do appreciate that uh, people are kind of like going out of their way to not spoil anything for me. And it was nice for the first couple of runs, but now it's it's a little bit annoying. It, it, it's just a little bit a little bit frustrating. Simply because it's the spoilers that we use as evidence. That, that's that's it. That's that's all the stuff that we can use as evidence when we are theory crafting. Get rid of all of the sand as well. Uh, now I know I've just made just this ab this huge heinous looking agricultural plane. But it is going to be filled out with some lush farms and stuff. And we'll get some uh, nice jobs going as well, I think. Yeah, we'll pack it out. We'll pack it out with some goodies. Okay, get all of this out of the way as well, because I don't want it there. We're going through shovels like crazy as well, though. The night? Which night? <laughs> is it Undyne? Is it the dog? Is it the two dogs who just got married? Is it the uh, the two bros who have their gay love affair in the uh, in the pacifist route? You can't just say the knight. There are so many knights in the game. Okay, it's getting to be like a sundown. I don't think it's like sleep time though. We could probably actually wait just a little bit longer. And I was hoping to like not talk about Undertale lore in this in these Minecraft streams as well. This is kind of like where I was hoping to turn my brain off and just talk about literally anything else. It's been crazy. The fan base has been absolutely ravenous for more Undertale content. And there's just not, there's just not any other Undertale content other than like fan games that I can play. The Knight is part of Dr. Wing's Gaster. What? The Knight is part of Dr. Wingding's Gaster. Huh? I've seen no evidence to support any of this in the game whatsoever. I mean, it's like, it, it, it's nice that you're, um, that you're uh, kind of like theory crafting and giving me lore, but uh, like, it, it, none of it sounds right. Mystery Man is actually part of Gaster. Now I know that you're full of garbage because I, I do have direct evidence that that is not the case whatsoever. Uh, let's get more shovels. Gaster and Mystery Man have zero connections whatsoever other than motive. They never meet. They don't touch each other. They don't know each other. It, it, it just doesn't happen. I've got direct evidence of it. It's going to come out of the game theory later. Okay, nothing in the furnace. We don't really uh, have any use for this iron ingots just yet. We probably actually do need lots and lots of these uh, shovels. Let's get more like uh, six of these shovels going. We'll consolidate these piles as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The gaster was shattered to a million pieces and he went to the void. Uh, sounds like you're quoting game theory at me. Sounds like It sounds like uh, you're quoting Matt Pat's incorrect theory at me right now. Some parts were left? No. It didn't, it, no, it didn't happen. <laughs> that is not what happened. Again, cite your source. Where are you getting this information from? Because if you say a YouTuber, you need to take a step back and uh, think for yourself for a bit. That is like a core principle of my channel. It's just like, you know, freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want, but you have to live with the consequences of saying it in the first place, which is usually going to be, uh, dude, you're wrong. Like, just flat out. You can have an opinion, but if you mark it as an opinion, people won't uh, give you so much crap for it. I talked to Toby himself. Did you? Uh, cap, hard cap on that. Hard cap on that. I am a YouTuber trying to um, kind of enforce Toby Fox's copyright standards on uh, my channel, and I can't even talk to him. I've, I've had no responses. So, you know, un unless you have literally been like an interviewer for a game studio or something like that, I, I doubt you'd have time to go and see him. 
Dr. Wingding was, was shattered. Uh, do you have any sources that are not just trust me, bro? Like literally any source? Because they haven't cited a single source yet. I'm, I'm waiting for the source. And you can obviously say, oh, I asked Toby Fox, but that's an unverified source and it's speculation and hearsay. No one can verify it. Okay, good. Still coming around here. We've kind of like sheared off a, a good amount. I'm pretty sure that once we get down this level, we'll just start recessing a farmland. And then we'll just leave the villagers to it. He failed an experiment from the true lab? No, he didn't. He succeeded in all of his experiments from the true lab. Like all, all of those homunculi down in the bottom of the lab, were, uh, they were intentional. They were, they were the exact purpose of uh, what he was doing. Again, I have direct evidence. Cite your evidence. I'm not, I'm not seeing any, any evidence. Did you literally just come onto the stream to give me a bunch of speculation in here, sir? You don't have anything other than trust me, bros? Seriously? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, you'll be very upset when the game theory comes out then, because I have an overwhelming amount of evidence. Play the game? Dude, it's on the channel. I have played it in every single way you could play it. I, d I don't get why why the aggression? Like, I know I'm, I'm probably an aggressive person myself, but it's because people keep coming onto the channel and then just vomiting a bunch of re regurgitated garbage from YouTube at me after I had an original thought. Like, it's, pr it's pretty easy to just, like, play the game and then extrapolate from incomplete data. But it's another thing entirely to, like, play the game and then be all like, oh, what happened? Then go on to MapHat's game theory and then get just dumped with misinformation. Because his uh, Gaster thing, I don't even need to see it to know it was wrong. The source is the signs on the true lab. What? What signs on the... Are you talking about the, the literal empty nothing burgers that just kind of like gave us a little bit of context as to what the lab was? Is, is... Okay, so... Hold up. What you are giving me here is that there is a connection in sand stands because of a night that is in sand stands and the connection is directly quoted to be on one of these signs in the, um, in the true lab, right? That, that's, that's basically what you're telling me, right? All of these massive leaps, these massive mental gymnastics. Is that, is that what you're trying to tell me? Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy indeed. Righty-ho. So we're probably actually going to shave into there as well. And we're probably going to dismantle that other farm as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish this off. We've got more than enough room, by the way. We have so much room for this uh, farm that we're working on here. We'll get all of these villagers who are kind of like working on these tiny little crappy farms. We do need to make a bucket so we can move the water. That is really, really important, actually. So we want to shave in from relatively over here, I think. Probably skirt around this house a little bit, like so. And then we'll kind of like go straight down here and create a really, really nice kind of looking farmland, I think. I think this is going to be really nice, actually. Okay, good. We'll come all the way through here. Nice. We're probably going to get through all of our shovels as well by the time we're done with this. I'm not saying you're wrong at some parts. No, I, I'm saying that you are literally telling me things that I have debunked in streams. You are, you are giving me evidence that I have specifically called out as being incorrect misinformation uh, literally in real time as I was seeing it. While people in chat were just kind of telling me, oh, what do you think of this plot point? And all I can say was, you know, it doesn't actually tell us anything. It's somebody, if somebody writes on a sign, it's an opinion. Yes, it was lost to time and space. Again, no, I have evidence that says he wasn't. And all you've got to trust me, bros. The shattered thing, again, no. I, I, it, there's no shattering happening whatsoever. It didn't happen. Okay. Uh, we're almost done with this uh, kind of like sand area that we were kind of working on. There's a lot of kind of like smooth sandstone beneath the sand. I don't think we'll replace it. I think what we'll do is we'll, cre we'll create kind of like a tiered, like an Egyptian style irrigation system where it just kind of like goes, rolls off the hills, so to speak. I want to see your proof. Can I? Absolutely not. You'll have to wait until the game theory is out, which then will be public information. It's public information, because it will be a YouTube video that anybody can access at any time from any device. Whoa, too much sand in our inventory. Let's go and dump this. We'll probably need a... Uh, let's actually get a chest. Let's get a chest basically made up 
from oh. some of the crap in our inventory because we do need somewhere to put all the sand that isn't just like on the floor here. Okay, oh. probably need one, two, three, four. We'll make a double chest. And we'll stick it outside in the middle oh. of the village so that we literally cannot lose it if we tried. Okay, good. Oh. Get more of that sand up. Nice. Oh. Good. Uh, let's go here and stick it right here. Boom, boom. Good. And we'll dump all of our sand into it because this is probably the best place for it. Probably not the dirt. Because it's, mm, it's just going to be sand in here. Excellent. Now we'll go back to it. Uh, did we break a shovel? I think we broke a shovel. Yeah, we must have. Because we only had a tiny little stack of dirt. All right, go through here. Uh, I hate to say it, by the way. If you, but if you are asking to see my proof, then it means you are not confident in your own evidence. Uh, I, just, I just want to point that out real quick. It is going to be a, a huge undertaking, by the way. I've, I've stuck up community posts about this as well. It is literally going to be the biggest video that I have ever made. And it's going to be the hardest video that I do make, probably in the coming years, by a very long shot. It's so big. It's so big, so in-depth. I, I have to order it by characters, and each character is getting, like, its own five-minute spotlight, which... <laughs> By its own merit, it's going to make it like a three-hour video. It's crazy. I'm, then I'm going to have to condense it down. It's going to be a nightmare to make. But kind of like seeing everybody, everything laid out in front of me, it, it does fill me with a lot more confidence. It fills me with determination. You know, kind of knowing that, hey, I was actually onto something, and now that I can see a, a timeline where there was no timeline, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's very nice being able to do so. Okay, we'll come through here and knock it all down. Great. Excellent. Nice. Uh, bust that down. And we'll keep on going. Good, good. Okay, so... How the hell do we get three iron golems here? What is going on with this place? Also, there's lots of villagers here ready to claim a job, which I am, I am all for. I love that so much. Okay, let's go ahead and continue just busting all this down. And then we'll get our little tiered system. We could probably roll it off of these hills here. That'd be kind of cool, actually. We could make, like, a, an enormous farm so that no one ever runs out of food. We get a couple of pistons. We could also automate melons and pumpkins and stuff like that. I just don't know if we are going to use that as food or if we use kind of, like, the automated cookers or anything like that. It's hard to say. All right, we'll get all of this basically done and dusted. Mine all of this done. I think we'll have all of the sand basically gone by sundown, which would be absolutely fantastic. I would love that so much. Good, good, good. And one more line. As they say in G-Easy's house, one more line. There are so many golems. I, like, there were only a few before, and it's kind of funny that one of the two of them died. But it's kind of weird having so many of them here. All right, we're a little bit slower in punching out this sand, but I feel a lot better knowing that we've got all these iron golems around the place. That is awesome. That is very cash money. Okay, let's go ahead and bust these last three, two, one, done. We'll fill that in tomorrow. We'll go and have a sleep first. We've got so many stacks of sand as well. Jesus Christ. Look at all of this. We've already filled up half of a double chest. That would be an entire chest's worth. Great. Get out of my bed, sir. Okay, we're doing a sleep. Uh, I don't know how many days we have kind of like survived so far, but we are doing significantly better. I think I just bred with me. Brother, uh, I think I just got buggered. Okay, so I am now going to maybe think about creating a strip mine into the earth after we create at least one of these farms, probably pretty close to the city here. Actually, we'll probably shave through this thing as well. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's let's definitely do that. Aww. Go ahead and place this here, here, here. Here, here, here. Good. Uh, gonna bust all of these seeds because they are now useless. I think there's another one under this composter. To break that. Okay. We do need another shovel to get through this little zone. We do have a pickaxe. We can kind of, like, get all these steps and uh, little bits of skirting, which is actually very nice. I do like that. Maybe we'll keep that. When we kind of like make the other, make the other farm. Okay, good. Knock all of this down. Wonderful. And now we need to 
Get out of... Oh, my God. These villagers are harassing us. I need a shovel. Maybe two. And we'll kind of, like, start caving in at least one farm. I don't think we'll do the tiered system just yet. Maybe we'll get two of these here. Shovels. Perfect. One, two. Boom, boom. Great. Put that there. Get these leads and buckets of uh, compost off of our hot bar. In fact, we'll stick them in this chest right here, and we'll put these shovels on our hot bar, of course. Great. Okay, let's come along here, and then we will knock down this farm, because it's worthless. It, it literally serves us no good to be here. Okay, good. Excellent, actually. Let's throw all of this down. kind of want to shave again behind, like another line or two. I don't know why. Okay, let's actually do that. We don't want any of these villagers, like, accidentally jumping on the farm whatsoever. So we'll kind of, like, shave a little recess through here. And then we'll get rid of the uh, rest of it. Good, 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 good. Let's go around that block right there, because I can't path them through it. Oops. I almost just hit that iron golem. That was really close. Okay, we've got a path here. Let's go ahead and mine these out. Two, three. And we'll keep on recessing into here. Great, great, great. Excellent. And we'll probably shave off that whole hill as well. If that iron golem could uh, stop harassing us, that'd be awesome. I'd love that. I would love literally nothing more. Okay, we'll knock down all of the sand. Great. Let's keep on going through these lines right here. Uh, that is a path. Let's go ahead and use our pickaxe on here. And now we use the shovel. Excellent. Let's go through here. There's a villager literally standing there watching us terraforming. It's like, what the hell are you doing? This is my home. Why are you doing this? I'm also going to use a lot of the sand to kind of like fill in the hole right in front of us as well. We're definitely going to do that. Okay, we'll push on through here, all of it, and we are golden. Done. Okay, sand. Let's go ahead and drop all of the sand in here. Through and through here. We kind of want to level all of this crap off here. We don't really want the opportunity for jumping anywhere near the farm. So maybe the tiered system would have to be separated by fences, aside from, like, stairs that come down. Maybe. Hard to say, actually. Good, 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 good. All of this has been done. Okay, so now we have kind of like the room to stick the foundations for a farm. One, two, three, four. I do remember a farm is kind of like four by four, right? Could you piss off? <laughs> Let's just do four by fours, like a couple of them. Okay, knock that one out and... What, how much is this? One, two, three, four. Actually, five. Okay, so that will be... Nope, don't want to do that. I'm going to keystone this out. Okay, so this is going to be the... No, actually, we do want that mined out and we want to put that one there and mine this out. Because what's going to happen is we're going to want to put a uh, channel down here, right? So we probably actually replace these two and then mine out this one because that should be three, four, including this edge. Okay. We'll create a channel. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be the middle of the keystone. So let's go ahead and just kind of mark this out. And then we'll come through and we'll put some water down. Two, three, and four. Excellent. Two, three, and four. Nice. Two, three, and that one's already leveled out. Perfect. So the rest of this has to be dirt. So let's keep on kind of like keyframing this out. I know keyframing is an editing term, sorry. I suppose keystoning would be the one. We'll get some dirt on our hotbar because we actually really need it now. Great. And let's place it here. And we'll keep on placing here and here. Great. And there. Nice. And right here. Excellent. Let's keep on mining this kind of like edge out. Nice. And this one as well. Let's go ahead and just get our shovel out so it's a bit faster. And down here too. Okay. We'll come through here. That is supposed to be dirt. That's supposed to be dirt. Uh, that's supposed to be dirt. The rest of this, dirt. This one, dirt. Good. And once I've got these uh, very, very important keystones out, we are going to go ahead and just use our shovel to mine up all of the sand. Like so. Good. One of them broke. Freeze up an inventory slot for later. 
Excellent. That is one of them done. I hope that the water reaches that far corner. Probably will, actually, realistically. We're going to have uh, channels instead of just, like, a single stopped item, I suppose. Not item. A, a single, like, stationary uh, piece of water. Like a source block, I suppose you would call it. If you had played this game more than I have. Excellent. Now, more shoveling. I'll mine out both of these, actually. We know where the dirt are supposed to go. Just get rid of all of it, all at once. Good, and now dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Excellent. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt, dirt, and dirt. That's a whole stack, by the way. This is what a whole stack looks like when it's placed. Crazy, isn't it? Okay, so now we probably want to go ahead and get some soil. What are your rules with swearing? Don't worry, I don't like swearing. It's kind of personal. I'm, I'm happy to talk about it, but it is kind of personal. I kind of like got to the point in my life a few years ago where I started holding this core belief that swearing is fun to do and not to hear. So when it comes to like swearing IRL, I'll, I'll cuss like a sailor whenever I damn well please. But like on streams, I'll kind of, I'll massively limit it to things that I personally would not consider to necessarily be swears. Like damn, bugger, bastard, all of, all of those kind of ones that you would necessarily hear on TV. Your parents would let you watch on TV if you're like, I don't know, four years old. Those ones I can get away with saying on stream, but I kind of make it a bit of a rule on the channel to not cuss up a storm if I can help it. I haven't slipped up in a long time. I think I said an F word like, uh, I don't know, four months ago? And that was the last time? It was really, uh, it was MatPat that kind of changed my mind. Because I, a lot of people started piling into my streams and MatPat once said that he had a responsibility to his audience to protect them from some language and uh, themes that they would not necessarily be old enough to experience. So that's, that's basically what I, um, have shaped my channel around now, is, is that one little thing. Right there. I couldn't tell you where uh, he said it though. We need a bucket, that's why we're here. We need a bucket for some water. Probably actually need to get some food sorted. Oh, that's what we're doing right now, actually. Whoa, that's pretty. Is it the, there's no shot that's optifying. It wasn't working. It wasn't working, it can't be, it, it's not working now. No shot, okay. We'll replace the sand with a bucket. Excellent. Nice. And we'll come all the way up here. We're probably going to shave off this whole dune. We don't want it there. It's actually really annoying. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to stick this right in the center. And with this, we are going to go ahead and make a hoe so that we can kind of till the soil. And then we'll place a compost bin next to the farm or even on top of that center block just so that it's not so bad. How the hell do we make a hoe? How did we make a hoe? It was sticks. Wasn't it? And then two on top? Yes, ho, good. That's exactly what we want. Nice! Okay, now that we've got this bucket, let's start hoeing out all of this, and then we'll start replacing all of these uh, kind of like watered blocks here with, I don't know, something a, a little bit more static, source blocky. Good, 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 good. Nice! We are so fast at this. I have done this so many times, by the way. <laughs> Hoeing up an entire dirt field. I have done this so many times, I cannot begin to describe how many hours I must have spent doing this in Minecraft. Because every time I play this with my friends, I usually default to being the farm guy. I'm, I'm usually the guy that's like, oh yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll get food out of the way. And then I go and find uh, the, most, the, the, the most hideous way of getting food. Okay, we can also kind of like fix this block right here as well, which is not really functioning. There we go, good. Any shows, cartoons, animes that you want? Good question. Uh, anime never necessarily like clicked with me, which is a little bit strange to say. Because I, most of my friends adore it so much. I just don't really have enough time to really get into anime. I know it probably, there'd probably be a few of them that I do actually like, but there's none that I've really gotten into. I think I was mentioning yesterday, like if I did have to start some kind of anime series, I'd probably start Attack on Titan, because it's supposed to be like baby's first anime, isn't it? And it's, it's got enough violence for it to also get away with being adult. A lot of people have also said that I'd really like uh, Berserk, which is probably not wrong. I probably would really like Berserk. Okay, good. Put all of this here. 
get rid of some get rid of the, some of these yucky uh, moving blocks of of water. Put this one here. That one can go there. Done. Okay. So now we have an irrigated field, and it is reaching the corners. If it reaches this one, it's got to reach all of the other ones too. So now we can start planting things. Let's go ahead and start planting some of this wheat, right? We'll start. Oh, actually, no, we don't want to do that just yet. We want a block of sand right here and here and also here. And the reason for that is we want that compost bin that we took out of our inventory like a stupid idiot. And we kind of want to uh, put it down in the middle block right there so that the villagers aren't uh, so hard pressed when it comes to jobs. Where is it? There it is. Got it. We could probably also make some planks that go over it so that they don't have to jump on all of the uh, fields as well. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe. Big maybe. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if they start damaging the equipment first and then we'll re-up from there. Don't need this hoe anymore. Yes, we do actually. Don't need the bucket. Yeah, we do actually. We don't need that sugar cane. Okay, composter right here. Let's go ahead, place it right smack down in the... I oh, don't really like that right in the middle actually. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this right from the middle. Uh, I'm going to stick it just here. I'm going to stick it right there. I don't like touching. Actually, I don't like it touching. I'm going to stick it right here, right in the corner of the farm. That probably makes the most sense. And the reason we needed the hoe is because I placed all of the things down like this. And I thought I needed the bucket, but it turns out I do not. Right, so we'll hoe that out. And these farmers should theoretically farm for us, right? If we just start planting all of this stuff right here. Good. We just got a seedy place. How you doing, bud? Okay, we've got a single farmer. I don't know if he's good enough. He will literally trade bread for us. And 22 carrots, he will give us an emerald. Jesus, that is lucrative. Let's go and see if they're growing any uh, carrots at the other farm that they have. Because we have essentially just replaced this other farm with the one we've just made. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you're probably not going to like this, honestly. But, uh, you know, it sucks to be you. <laughs> Absolutely sucks to be you. Good. Let's go ahead and knock these down. Uh, this was wheat. Yuck. I think we did find some carrots, but we I think we died. I think we died before we could kind of like utilize them in any recipe. Good. Done. Now that farm's out of the way. Oh, this farm as well is uh, a bit of a, a bit of a damp fart on our pro productivity. Let's go ahead and fill in all of this water so that we don't accidentally bust into it. And here we go. Nice. Oh, we uh, just removed that guy's job. That sucks. Maybe we put a composter on every corner here. That might be a really good idea, actually. Put that there. Yeah, I think we've actually got two villagers coming over to claim their jobs now. Cool. Let's give them a, a few wheat seeds just to get them started. Are they both claiming jobs? Okay, so it does work like that. Right, that is neat. This guy literally just jumped on the farm as soon as he claimed... Oh my god. Are you taking the piss? Are you actually taking the piss? You better hoe that. You better hoe that. I'm not joking around here. You, if you don't hoe that... Don't do it. Okay, I think I confused him a little bit there. Now, I don't actually know how these guys are going to farm, but if we just leave them to it, I'm, I'm sure that they'll actually get it done, right? You asshole. Get off the composter! Oh, I see they are actually planting. Okay, well, I've got a better idea with these here uh, composters. Let's go ahead and just place them, like, I don't know, way over here so that they can't damn well break the farming blocks that they're hired just to sustain. Okay, one goes there. I'm gonna break this one. Good. I know this guy's gonna lose his job, but you know, watch me here. We're about to make Minecraft great again. Again. Maybe like here, here, and we'll also get rid of this one here because they seem to be able to jump on the farm from there. Right there. Done. Okay. How's that? Are you guys happy now? Oh, I think they just ho- no, that was me, I think. I think I hoed that. Imbeciles, do you like this? They are kind of like planting all of our crops though. It's spreading. Okay, so we've got wheat essentially sorted. We probably go and take some of the giant wheat bales that we found earlier and convert that into food. Hi, Yunsen, I'm back. I was playing Roblox, but I came back. 
That is awesome. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I know the point of a stream is to kind of like be on a second screen. You're not offending me or anything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get six of these bales turned into wheat. Like so. That is 55 wheat. I wonder how many we can turn into breads with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, we'll just place it down and we'll keep on halving it until we get to a nice nominal. Like that, maybe? 15? 17? Okay, one more. Good. Done. We've got 18 bread. It's pretty good, actually. Pretty good for only a few blocks of the, uh, the hay bales. When I can change my name, I change it to Iris Duster because I like that better. Oh, yeah. That's good. It's good for the brand. <laughs> it's a little bit dehumanizing and probably um, uh, takes away from the social aspect of streaming, but it, it's good for the brand. Are you busy today? Yeah, I got a couple of things to do after, uh, like, just before the stream would have ended originally. But uh, I've got a couple of things I need to go out and do. We need to go out and get some new glass bins. Uh, from our local council, because unfortunately we've had some uh, wankers living around us stealing our glass bins uh, very consistently over the last year, and we're out of them. And they've also stolen one of our neighbours' ones, which they were kind enough to lend us, so I, I feel terrible. And um, uh, I think it's just uh, some of our neighbours. We've got some real, like, dense neighbours. Some of the stupidest people that I've ever met live right next door to us. And I, I don't think they've ever kind of, like, lived outside of home. It's very clear that uh, their parents just gave them everything and they don't really know what to do otherwise. If this guy wants a job, he's going to have to piss off. There's only a few of these composters. What if we get more of them? Why aren't they reaching the furthest plots either? That's another thing. Slay? Yeah, yeah. I'll slay. Are you going to plant? I think they've almost filled out... Yeah, they filled out this whole field. That's pretty impressive. This one right here, still kind of waiting on. I think I do have a technique. Okay. Let's get rid of this one. And this one. We'll keep this one in line with that. Okay, I thought one of those dickheads actually just jumped on the props again. We'll put that there. And we'll put this one just over here. And hopefully that should, like, blanket cover the whole field. And they should all kind of, like... Be stimulated enough to take the jobs. Now, is one block away good enough? No, it is not. I think we actually need two blocks away. I don't want these guys, like, jumping on the crops. That is a big no-no. Put that there. Excellent. We'll go ahead and do this one. Hopefully that iron golem won't walk onto the block we want to place this one on. Right there. Good. All right, everyone, come claim your jobs. How do we make these things? How do we make compost bins? Let's, let's search compost. No, we don't know, actually. There's no way of knowing. Crazy. Crazy indeed. All right, that's fine. A bird outside of my office window just made direct eye contact with me and crapped on the deck. What a jerk. What an actual jerk. Let's put all of the sand in here. These guys were all like, oh, what's all this for? It's for the houses. It's for the houses, you dunces. We're going to chop and change this place like crazy. Okay, I've got more shovel. Let's go ahead and start shoveling this off. Why not? Good, 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 good. I think we will. Okay, like... I do kind of want to put a mine beneath the town. And I also think that maybe this building right to our left would be the best place to actually set that mine up underneath. Because right over here, we still have uh, that giant crevasse. And we kind of want to set up like a mine going down from there, I think. Since we've already lit this whole place up, why the hell not? And I think that probably the best way of doing it would just be to have a, a gigantic staircase that just goes downstairs from here. So let's go ahead and just take this guy's cauldron. Because it's kind of in the way. Upstairs. Kind of worthless. Uh, maybe we want to chop and change how this is all laid out as well. Because we don't need to be up here whatsoever. Let's do that. Let's change this place up. Okay. Let's get this uh, cactus out of the way. There's two of our inventory slots that just got taken up. Let's knock out. Kind of like, I suppose this side? Yeah. Let's knock all of this out. And then we'll start busting down this here ceiling, this deck. I know we've just cost somebody a job, but we can always just place this cauldron down literally anywhere else. The house next to this place, that looks cool. Maybe the cauldron should be in here. Let's do that. Cauldron. Nope, that's sand. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Right there, done. Enjoy. Whoever that is, you've now got a new house. Okay, good. Uh, or do we want to kind of like, um, 
No, we just want to be... We just want this as an access point, don't we? We don't necessarily want this to be too complicated. Let's get our pick out. And we'll start busting all the way down into here. A little bit of sand right there. Don't really care, though. And all the way down. And then we want to go sideways. Like so. Through the sand and this dirt right here. We probably also want this all torched up, too. So we'll probably actually... Let's go and get some charcoal. We'll make some torches and then we'll craft this area. Looks like all of the villagers have gone home. Doesn't really look like they're packing out all of the other farms, though, unfortunately. We're probably also going to have to go on an expedition to go and find ourselves some decent crops. Because I know wheat is probably not ideal. Let's go ahead and do a sleep. Right here. Beautiful! We've got a lot of the achievements, actually. Let's go and check out the, um, the advancements. Okay, so we can get the bucket with lava. That's pretty easy. Protect yourself with a piece of iron armor. That's also really easy. Deflect a projectile with a shield. We're probably going to have to do that eventually anyway. Acquire diamonds. Sure, we'll do that too. What else we got? Adventure? Sneak near a skulk sensor or warden to prevent it from detecting you. Sneak 100. Don't know what the hell Sneak 100 means. Uh, scrape a copper bulb with an axe to make it brighter. Copper bulb with an axe? What the hell is that? Uh, tame an animal. Sure. Total B location. Move a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch. That's not bad. Make the text of any uh, kind of sign glow. I know how to do that, actually. That's uh, redstone and dye, isn't it? Can you get out of my house? Beetroots. Okay, he will only buy the crops, which is pretty funny, actually, because he's uh, the one growing them. Let's see if we've got any potatoes. I think we found some potatoes earlier, but we don't have any on us, unfortunately. Uh, we'll actually dump out some of our inventory, I suppose. Cactus probably can go in there. Charcoal. We'll keep that, actually. We'll make that into the into the torches that we need. I didn't realize we had charcoal on us. Charcoal, and also we'll get rid of this little uh, manual here. We'll put some sticks beneath them. We'll make as many as we can. 40, that'll do the trick nicely. Let's go ahead and dump into the building materials chest, which is just over here. Right over yonder's bread, and we should be Gucci. Right here, dump, 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 dump. Excellent. Now, let's go and turn this little, uh, this, this horrible little building into kind of like a, um, a transit station for our mine. Okay, we probably want to remove those two doors as well in case we fall down there and hurt ourselves. But until we do that, let's just not bother. <laughs> let's actually just not bother do that. Okay, I'm going to punch all of this out of the way. What's the harm? Okay, now we've got the soil and we have to start mining outwards too. All right, I know it looks like we're creating a mine, but we're not actually creating much of a mine. We're actually just going to bust right out of this end here, which should realistically... What the hell? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have come out of it by now. Oh, maybe we didn't go down enough. Here we go. So this is leading into the little... Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not leading into the cave whatsoever. Do we have a spear? Yeah, we've got a spear. Of course we do. Maybe it's this way. It might be this way. How far down are we, actually? Well, we're not far down at all. Okay, so we have to go pretty deep, it seems, to lead up to this here cavern. Good, good. We'll set up, like, a rail system or something. We'll turn that building up there into kind of like a, um, a railway, I think. All right, good. We'll bust all of the stone out. Excellent. Uh, it's getting a little bit too dark. Let's go ahead and place a torch. Can we, like, put this in our offhand? Oh, we can. What happens if we right-click? Oh, perfect. Great. I love that so much. Good, good, good. We're busting out here. We're probably getting down to the layer that we want to be at. I think I recognize this dirt block as kind of, like, one we have placed down. Maybe. Possibly. Let's see. It is actually one we placed down. That's so funny. Okay, let's go ahead and... i like, pack that out. We'll get our shovel if we have one. We we do have a shovel. It's on our hotbar. It's pretty far away from all of the rest of our equipment. Now that we have built that, we probably don't need this little staircase that leads up from here because it's hideous and I don't like it. So let's go ahead and just dig all of this out here. I'm going to, like, get rid of all of this yucky, yucky dirt so we don't have to look at it. We want to thematic consistently, see, when it comes to our, our little mine down here, don't we? Excellent. So up here, we are going to put some sandstone because it doesn't look as bad as cobblestone. And let's go ahead and mine out this one so we can actually see 
We'll mine out some of these top blocks as well. Excellent. Okay, so we jump up here. Let's uh, sandstone this off. That's probably where we got the sandstone, to be quite fair. Uh, yeah, most likely. Most likely where we got the sandstone. Okay, we'll put a torch right there. Excellent. I like this. All right, now that we have a little path of egress down here, let's go ahead, get our shovel out, and we'll dismantle what we've already got set up. Which is kind of like... Uh, it's a little bit yucky, honestly. It's, it's, it's not the best looking, and I don't like it. Good. Now let's get rid of this dirt that leads all the way down here. Nice. We never used this path, I don't think. I, I think we just made this path, and then we just ignored it flat out. Okay, good. So we want to kind of like make a, a little mining cavern down here, I think. Maybe going into here, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's just start. Let's start a mine. Because there's only one way to actually get a mine started, and that's by actually knuckling down and getting all of the mining done. We could probably do this with an iron pickaxe as well if we were feeling a little bit frisky. Just because it might take a little while to get through all of this cobblestone. Okay, good. You know what? I'm actually going to come out here while it's on my mind. I'm coming all the way out. Probably also get rid of all of the stuff on this platform too. Let's just do that. I think I see a villager right at the outskirts there. That's pretty funny. Let's kind of like use our cobble pickaxe to uh, do some good here. Excellent. And we'll bust through these now. And then I'm going to shave off the next layer as well. Maybe in the next two layers, because they're probably a little bit counterintuitive. You have to keep on jumping up things just to go back down. I don't really like that too much. We'll just use we'll just use the pickaxe to uh, kind of like get rid of what's on the top surface. And then we'll go up top. We'll get an iron pickaxe and we'll go and actually start knuckling down in the mine. It's probably a really good idea. I do kind of like the, uh, the andesite placement here. It does look nice. When it's natural. When it's naturally forming, it does look nice. Got a bunch of smooth sandstone as well. That's fantastic. We can use that for building blocks. Excellent. So I think that we're probably going to start making houses out of acacia logs, uh, planks inside, acacia planks, and then potentially sandstone for the walls. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe it's a bad idea. Okay, just use our bread to bust through that there sand. So our, our bread is now all sandy and gross. A lot of fibre though. A lot of fibre, a lot of roughage. It's really good for you, I hope. Hard to tell. Hard to tell without actually eating the sand bread. Okay, good. I'm going to leave that copper there as well as a decoration because not only does it suck and it's useless, but I don't want it in my inventory. All right, let's bust through here. I'm just strip searching. Well, maybe not searching. Okay, let's go get that iron pig now. Because it's probably about the time we should reasonably think about maybe going to bed. Uh, we'll get a minecart set up here that kind of ends in this building as well, I think. So we might have to move the staircase ever so slightly somewhere else. We're definitely going to have to move these doors. They're very annoying. Let's get rid of them. Let's let's shape up this, uh, this home. We'll wait until sundown, assuming the sun's not literally in the middle of the sky. And uh, then we'll go sleep. And then we'll go down to the mine. Wait, why would we... Why would we need to sleep? Then... Okay, good, good. Right, so we can get rid of this now, which we need a pickaxe for. Yeah, we definitely need a pickaxe. Okay, let's go and make a pickaxe. Whoa, this guy's crafting like crazy. This guy's not planting anything. Dude, do you want to work for a living, maybe? Do you want, do you want to suck less at your job? Actually, we also... Whoops. That's not what I wanted to place. Ah, right, let's go get a pickaxe. I wanted to put down the, uh, the good old torch. But it seems like we can't really do anything with the torches unless we're holding a weapon of something, of some sort. Okay, so we want a iron pick right here. Probably want two of them, actually. So let's just, let's just make two of them, knowing that we're going to have to get two of them eventually. One here instead of these horrible looking jungle doors and one right there on our hotbar. Cool. So probably don't need all of that dirt. Probably don't need a stack of cobble or a stack of diorite. Yuck. Don't need any of that. Good. Okay, so let's go and place down some torches so that even at night these crops are guaranteed to be growing. I think. I think. Why, why do these farmers only work when I'm in the vicinity as well? Okay, one there. Good. One there. And we'll put one here. And also one right here. We'll get some fencing around it. 
We'll get some fencing and we'll also kind of like eventually get to the point where we've got gates and stuff and we'll put the torches on those. But for now, uh, this is good enough. Okay, let's start busting this down. Good, 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 good. This is now just going to be a way station for the minecart that takes us down to the mines, I think. We okay, can get rid of these yucky doors again. Don't know why we still have them up. Okay, and now we want to block it up with sandstone. Maybe we just want like a couple of nice little looking little windows in there. That'd be a good idea. Okay, let's start shaving off this uh, this top end here because I don't really like how it looks or how it functions. Get rid of all of this. Okay, a two by five house is probably a bold choice to make. We're going to make this an entrance to the mine. Excellent. Done. So we'll come down here. We'll get rid of these so we don't hit our head on them every time that we come down here. And then we want to... Whoops. Probably want to just, uh, I don't know, might block this up and come down here. All right. Great. We'll use our pickaxe to kind of like finish off what we were doing down here. And then we'll go down. We'll actually make a mine. Hopefully we'll get uh, like a heap of iron. And then we will probably be able to get an automatic uh, cooker going, which would be fantastic. Or an automatic smelter or just any kind of automation. Get some redstone clocks going. I know it's pretty early into the game to be thinking about redstone circuitry, but it's probably one of my favorite parts of the game. I'm not very good at it, but I like it. Okay, is this imposing enough? Let's see. Yep, that is pretty imposing. Perfect. Love it. Let's start mining downwards. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's really bad, actually. Uh, maybe we just uh, come down in here and try and plug it off. Maybe? Oh my god, this is deep. This is a deep cavern. Okay, good. And put that there. Probably want to also block it off on this side, too. And is this a source block? It was. Okay, good. Get rid of it. Okay, that's not a source block though. That's good. Good, we'll get rid of that. And we also want to get rid of these. Damn! Oh no! You know what? Piss on this. Hard, but I see some iron though. Excellent. We'll get some sandstone. We'll plug this yucky little area. We've kind of found like a, an underground. I don't know what to call this. I don't want to call it an oasis because I know that's wrong. Any quarrels? It's pretty dark down here. I'd be surprised if there aren't any enemies. Any zombie babies or something? No. Okay, we've completely lit it up. Let's go ahead and just get this iron because it's right in front of us. And why the hell would we not just take free iron? All right, nothing up there. Good. Nothing else? Nope, that's it. Wonderful. Well, maybe not wonderful, but could be worse. We've kind of like... This isn't good, actually. <laughs> this is kind of the entire path that we wanted our stuff to take isn't it oh you know what i know exactly how to get rid of this if we've got any sand yes maybe this is the way all right here 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 and here excellent and now we want to take out the source blocks in here while also still kind of like digging down don't we so we'll fill out this area so that we don't have to necessarily do anything too fiddly and we also don't have to get rid of these water blocks either if we fill it out completely. Okay, I think I just ran out of sand. Uh, whoops. That's not good. Okay, one more source block. We can actually just start digging around this. It's not going to replenish or anything like that. And we'll use this here, uh, diorite, to kind of like plug in that little gap right there. And then all of the water should be gone. Nice. All right, so we could probably actually still just dig down from here. As long as we don't breach that tiny little area in front of us. Okay, we'll also get rid of the sand right here. Excellent. Sand's really handy. I, it's, a lot of people say it sucks as kind of like a, a crafting utility. I fully disagree. Okay, good. Uh, plug that in so it doesn't ever have the chance of flooding us. Open this, open this. And we're probably going to get another flood when we open these here. Or maybe we've actually just gone straight under that little tiny oasis. Uh, these are sand. We're going to have to replace them. So let's go ahead and boop, boop. Okay, we replaced it with sand. Good, and now we want to pick this one off. And we want to get rid of this one before the water comes in. Nice. 
Get that one out of the way so we can kind of like see. Okay, good. And back to the shovel. Here and here. What the hell is up with, with the place we've just found? Oh my god! This is the worst mineshaft I have ever, ha ever had to the mispleasure of encountering. Yuck! Ew! Oh my god! Oh my god! We have to go around this. This is revolting. This is actually disgusting. Ugh! Okay, well we tried going down that way. Let's let's not ever go down there again. Plug that in straight away. Yuck. Never going in there. Maybe we just try a different mine shaft. How about Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's also nighttime, so we're probably gonna have to light up this area if we're gonna use it full time anyway. Let's do that. Let's do that now. Good, flick some of these around the place. And over here. Good. Put one up here. Nice. Another one there. Excellent. And right here. Uh, we could probably actually just come into this little area of stone. We could dig straight down from here. Possibly. Away from the gigantic uh, ocean of water beneath our base. I suppose you call it an aquifer, right? You would call that an aquifer. A gigantic kind of like plot of water deep under the ground. Kind of cool, actually. Good. Okay, the pickaxe was such a good shout. Getting an iron pickaxe was such a good idea. Let's go ahead, put that down. Plug this in. Now, we probably want to take some of these resources and wall off the cavern so that we don't get snuck up on by any nasties. But even if we do get snuck up by, like, a creeper, they shouldn't despawn any of our things, necessarily. And they'll mine out some of the cavern for us. Although they'll also kind of, like, cock up the nice-looking stairs that we are kind of going for. Okay, what level are we at? The hell? Hello? Hello? Ah, good. Okay, so there's some coal over there which we don't need because we've already automated charcoal out of a job. And there's also nothing over here except for a bunch of gravel. Oh my god! And there's water above the gravel. Oh, that is a hellhole if I ever saw one. Okay, let's uh, do the responsible thing and just plug that up. <laughs> Never going in there. And now we come away. All right, good. Oh, piss off. <laughs> We've gotten so unlucky with these caverns. We, we don't want to be under here whatsoever, because if we knock a single piece of that gravel, uh, it all falls in on us, drowning us, and also floods us. Okay, let's go ahead and just, like, block it off so we never have to look at that revolting place again. Nice. Done. And now we're mining downwards again. Excellent. Good. We'll push all the way through here. And what else are we looking at? Good, good. Good. Good, good, good. What level are we at? We are at level 40. Okay, so... I think that, like, 40 to 45 was the best place to find iron, right? But if we kind of, like, keep on mining down here until we find a decent, like, source of redstone, that would be just the absolute best. I'm still going to keep on mining down, like, three at a time. Ah, we've already, uh, like, almost exhausted our iron pick as well. Piss off! Seriously? Jesus! My God! Look at this! What am I looking at? Whoa! This is deep. There is a, a spider over there, which is nice, because we actually need lots and lots of silk. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's actually bad. That's a that's a real bad thing right there. That's that's not great. That's really bad, actually. Okay. Oh, piss off. Seriously? Oh, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. This is bad. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep. It's up to for me. That's okay, Iris. You have a great night. I hope you have some nice dreams. Uh, I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go back into the mine that was filled with water. I'm going to take my bucket and I'm going to create an elevator all the way down to the bottom of them. Goodbye, Yonsen. I'll watch the stream tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. We do kind of want to like, I feel like putting glass all over there is, is going to be actually pretty cool. Like a big scar of glass.
Uh, let's go ahead and try and open up this yucky oasis again. Because we did already light it off. So we don't really need to, like, really solidify that we don't ever want to come back here. I'll make a little floor down there. Nice. Uh, it's good access to water. Which we actually, we, we do want right now. Get rid of those two. And now I'm going to do these two bits of sandstone. Let's go ahead and get a bucket of water. And I'm actually going to place it right there so we've got a infinite water source. Great. Now we're going to come out of here. And we're going to drop this on the end of that staircase that we just saw. And the reason for that is we're going to create a little elevator downwards. Hopefully there's not going to be any skeletons down there because that would suck so bad. All right, I'm hitting my head on literally every single uh, little podium that I can. Probably not the best. All right, here we are. So it might actually be responsible if we kind of like, uh, what the hell is that? Two creepers down there. Great. Let's get rid of these. Uh, let's get rid of these here. And we'll create an elevator coming in from here. Yeah, I like this. Okay, one of them just detonated, but I'm pretty sure he literally just damaged himself. Wow, these guys are stupid as hell. What the hell is that down there? Oh my god, there's so many creepers. That is not good. That is really bad, actually. Okay, so what we want to do here is we don't want to fall off the ledge. What we want to do is we want to create like a, an elevator on top of this block right here, don't we? No, on top of this block right here, and then we want to kind of section it off here and around here so we don't accidentally fall off the ledge while we're kind of like coming up this elevator. We'll kind of like block that off there. That's going to be the elevator. Probably also would be a good idea to stick maybe one here as well so we can like hop on something in case there's like a skeleton maybe. And let's go ahead and move this one. Good. And now we are going to go ahead and put the water here. We've got a bucket. Nope, we've got a, uh, we've, we've got a, we've got an elevator now. I don't know how fast that water's spreading. Oh, spreading pretty quickly. I think I just knocked a bunch of uh, stalagmites off. Okay, so. Is it true, by the way, is it true that if you are in water, creepers and TNT do not damage you? Because if they do, we're about to lose all of our things. I'm happy to try, actually. Let's experiment. Let's do an experiment, because we're not playing hardcore again. Oh my god, that is actually a another gigantic water chasm. This place sucks. All right, let's come all the way down. Hopefully there's no skeletons, uh, because if we are sniped, we are probably not going to be in a great spot. I do hear a skeleton popping shots at us already. Where is he? Where'd he go? I see the creeper. Oh, piss off! Wow! Oh my god! I can't believe that! I actually can't believe a skeleton knocked us off of our little elevator. And then two creepers killed us. I hope that second creeper didn't detonate and blow all of our things up, because that would just be insult to injury. All right, we've got to go through the, uh, the actual location here that we've made to be going through. I'm glad that I got rid of all the things we can hit our head on. Because quite frankly, that was just obnoxious. Alright, probably also want to get a mine set up that's not all the way over here. Probably want to get one set up under our house, maybe? Possibly? Potentially? So I'm going to go and get all of our things back. I There he is! Oh my god! This dick! Is he still there? Is he still alive? Yes, he is! Oh. Doom loop! We've got a doom loop! Oh no. Okay, the only farmer that isn't working is this guy as well. Maybe it's because we didn't have anything planted on this uh, field right here. Do we need a chest? Do we need a chest for them to put things in? Uh, we've lost everything, by the way. Everything that was in our inventory is now gone. Maybe including all of those iron ingots. That would uh, really actually just be the, the worst thing in the world, honestly. We had so much of the good stuff just in our inventory, but we also didn't have a lot of good things in our inventory. We had an iron pick. That's probably the best thing we had in our inventory. I'm going to try and go down again, and then we want to try for the, the holy grail that is not being killed by that skeleton. 
Okay, he's still waiting down there. All of our stuff is still down there. A creeper is uh, camping us. There are two skeletons down there now. Okay, all of our stuff is probably forfeit at this point. Gotta be said, probably forfeit. That sucks. Uh, we probably should have like kind of curved around and then recessed back into there. That would have been the responsible thing to do. Hmm. All right, uh, since we can't get our things and we are now caught in a doom loop, I'm just going to immediately be all like, nope, all of that's gone. We are not gonna go back and try and get that. We are just going to go ahead and make another set of tools. We're gonna recess into the hole and then we are going to try our best to recoup our losses. We had 20 ingots, we had a bucket. Uh, that was probably actually the most valuable thing we had because it's reusable and pickaxes are not. But otherwise, at least we still well, at least we still have the world, which we didn't have in hardcore. That's also the second death we've had. Hashtag black tongue. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll try and start from uh, the start again. So we'll need to make ourselves some stone tools. We have two we do have some cobblestone. Excellent. Do we have any sticks in here? No, but we do have lots and lots of planks, so we can actually make the tools regardless. Alright, let's make 24 sticks. What did we need? We need uh, at least one. We'll get two pickaxes. We need two axes, which should be on the first slot in our hotbar because I use them for combat. Right here. And we also need two shovels. Let's get these. Great. Put them in the wrong end of the hotbar, though. That should be everything. That should be everything we need, necessarily. Like, in terms of needs, our needs are currently being met. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go back down. We are still going to take the stone tools. We still don't have any armor, which is a, a little bit of a shame, but it could be significantly worse. We should probably also make a pressure pad for that uh, door right there, just in case any nasties try and come and get us from inside. All right, we're coming down. I, th I feel like we got kind of dicked over by that sick by that skeleton. I'm also going to remove the um, the top layer of these. Because they're getting in the way of us actually traversing the mine. Which we need to do. This is essential. This is literally a core gameplay loop. Now we may die a couple, uh, die a couple more times. But that is in fact a uh, sacrifice that I am willing to make. Okay, that one doesn't need to move. These two do. And then we need to replace the uh, yuckies that we've got over here. Then we'll mine these out. Because we know that there is no exposed area into the... Never mind. I completely lied. There we go. We'll put that there. And now we will go ahead and pick these out. I don't want to leave like block gaps just because of zombie children. Like they are absolutely the pits. We also don't really do anything with this here um, elevator either. So it's probably going to be the best idea to curve back into the staircase here. Right? And we'll just go all the way down from here. Yeah, we can do that. We just don't have any torches. Oh, for God's sake. Seriously? Oh, this is bad. This is, actually, this is a terrible, terrible place to be. Yep, I saw that one coming a mile away. Oh my God. And we can't plug the hole either. What else is in here? Is there anything else? Oh, we can actually plug that right there and right there. And now let's go ahead and start mining out further. Is that a hole? Yes, it is. But we are getting into a bit where it won't be a hole. So it's not going to be a hole for long. We'll plug that. We'll plug this and should be golden. Now, the moment we see coal, we are actually going to take it because we need lots and lots of torches. We still have sticks. Perfect. Good. All right. What's down here? I didn't see any coal. Oh, actually, we did see some coal, didn't we? We saw some coal up above us in the other kind of little yucky area that we didn't necessarily want to be caught in. So I'll jump up here. This is fine. In here, maybe? Yeah, in here. So we lit all of this up, and there is coal all the way at the end here, I think. We can use this to create some torches. Nice. Okay, a lot of coal, actually. So this, is, this was basically our get-out-of-jail-free card, but it seems as though we are using it right now to kind of, like, catch up to all of that... all of that wealth that we just lost, which is a little bit of a shame... But we can always recover, can't we? We can always replenish our stores of wealth. All right, let's go. We can make as many of these torches as we can. 40. That'll do the trick nicely. Let's go ahead and if that into our other hand. Good. Still got some stone pickaxes. Uh, probably should have some planks on us to make a crafting bench. But again, I'm not too worried about it. 
All right, want to come around here. There will be a better way of uh, setting up this mine eventually. We just haven't set it up yet. So don't worry, it will come. If we build it, they will come. All right, I'll mine all of this out. I want to get down to like bedrock, I think. Like level, I don't know, five, I think. What are we at now? We are at 28. So we need to go down another 22 blocks at least. Bedrock uh, layer doesn't actually count. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure bedrock layer doesn't actually count against the the spawn chances of, of ores and such. Okay, come all the way down here. I also don't know if bedrock is still actually the cap. Okay, mine all of this out right here. And break all of that. Good. 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 Excellent. Nice. We're still coming down. Uh, what level are we at now? We are at 17. Okay, we're getting closer to like diamond level. Which we definitely want to be at. We basically want to get to diamonds as fast as possible at this point. Because diamonds are kind of now our choke point. Okay, we're getting into granite, which is disgusting. Hey, King of Spiders, how you doing? You mentioned you got surgery recently. Um, have you recovered? I hope you have. Surgery's rough. Ah, we got some iron down here. That's fantastic. I was getting a little piss off, seriously. Oh my god. Okay, let's plug that in. Boop. Wow. This is, we've had the most revolting luck in these mines. We've got more iron here, but I can guarantee on the other side of here, there's going to be a gigantic uh, splash of water. Ah, oh, well, oh, uh, pick broke as well. Let's go ahead and just use this one. At least we're getting iron, right? At least we're actually getting the supplies we need. Let's go ahead and use our second stack of cobble. Got a little bit of granite as well that we could probably use to fiddle around. Are you on bedrock or Java? I am on Java. I was on Bedrock initially, but apparently I was missing out on so many things, it's just not worth playing uh, Bedrock. Let's go, we can just uh, plug this in, and then I think we're probably going to start mining sideways. Yeah, let's go this way now. This whole cave, by the way, has just been absolutely filled with water. Like, everywhere we go. Water. Crazy. I'm not entirely sure if I if I kind of like the update that added these caves because there is a, a higher element of complexity to it. Okay, what's that? What the hell is that? What is this? Cobble deep slate. What the hell is that? What level are we at? Seven. Okay, so this is actually the level we want to be on. Ah, you have recovered. Excellent. That's awesome to hear. I hate that as well. In my world, I used to barely have any iron. Missing on what? We're missing on everything. We just died. We lost uh, literally everything in our back pocket, which is a little bit of a shame, uh, but we were halfway through the process when we died. I've got to like sorting out a mine, like a, like a decent resource mine. I don't know what cobbled slate is. I don't know if we can like use that for tools or anything. Probably not, honestly. Go ahead, just put a torch there. Cause I'm paranoid. I'm really paranoid now. Okay, good. Clicked up all of this stuff. Get this iron as well. Hopefully there's no water on the other side. Good. And excellent. We didn't get flooded once. Perfect. Let's go ahead and plug that one there. And we'll, uh, start, uh, we'll start mining up this stuff right here. All right. We've got to start strip mining now. Man, the cobble slate is actually kind of... um, It's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Now, I do kind of want to make some kind of tool area down here, I suppose. I'll put that there. We'll kind of like mine out a hollow so we can put some furnaces down here. We can smelt ores while we're mining. Probably a good, really good idea. Deep Slate is when you're really near bedrock. Does it do anything? Does Deep Slate actually do anything? Does it have any function? Because otherwise I'll just like go one level up where we don't have to mine it whatsoever. Okay, good. We'll go three this way as well and then we'll make like a wall of furnaces because God knows we've got the cobble to do so. Okay, excellent. And we'll mine one more out this way. Deep Slate is basically reinforced stone. Okay. So it's it's just cosmetic, is it? Is that what I'm being led to believe? I'll go one more in here and then we'll make a wall of furnaces. No, we need to go up topside anyway. We should probably go get a um a stack of I don't know, a, a stack of, of logs or something. Just we could we have enough wood down here to kind of do what we need to do. 
get way more diamonds and iron and emeralds and redstone down there. Yep, that's why we rushed down here. Uh, I've never seen Deep Slate before, though. I played Bedrock back in, like, 2018, and that's when I stopped playing. I've never seen Java, uh, like, in its vanilla potential, uh, the way that we've been playing it so far. And I've never seen any of these resources. All right, good. I stopped playing, I think, when the copper uh, was added to the game, because it kind of screwed up the worlds that, um, that me and my uh, buddies were playing on. It just added, like, chunks of copper randomly throughout our mining shafts. Which would be nice if it had any useful function, but it doesn't. Hey, Recycle VR. Well, you don't need to spam the chat, by the way. I, I do read it. Okay, we'll come up here. Uh, we'll get rid of all the things that we hit our heads on. Like this one and that one. Hey, iron. Nice. Okay, if I go up one more, I'm pretty sure there's going to be water. I'm not even going to chance it. I'm not going to chance it whatsoever. Okay, good. I'll hit my head on that. Let's get rid of it. Uh, we don't want these here. I'm going to go up top side and we're going to go get some sticks. Okay, good. This is a pretty deep shaft, actually. Is that our second pickaxe? Yes, it is. Bugger. Ah, oh, well, looks like we're going up the slow way then. Have you ever got to the end? Uh, yes, numerous amounts of times, but that was way before. I think it was that, that was before Minecraft was bought by Microsoft. Yeah, way before then. Well, maybe not, actually. It was before, like, um, all of these massive patches started coming out that added, like, post-Dragon stuff. Like, I've been the Dragon probably four times, like, organically, and then I've farmed him a couple of times as well, because you, you can inorganically spawn him with a Dragon Egg. So I have been in the game a bunch of times, but I haven't seen any of this new stuff. Uh, for once, we've also set up right here at a... Oh, piss off! Okay. That was cheeky. Oop. Seriously? Go away! Iron golems, what are you doing? Beat that child to death! I can't believe that. I literally cannot believe that. Maybe we need to put some walls around this place, actually. Doesn't really seem like the iron golems are doing much. Okay. We're gonna sleep in here. Excuse me, sir. My bed. Woo! Crazy. Crazy, crazy. But yeah, I've like, I've never seen um, these advancements. I've never seen the adventures. I've never seen like the achievements or anything like that in game. I've only seen it on PlayStation. Java has cooldowns. Me vibing bedrock with spam click. Yeah, uh, that was definitely something that I really struggled with initially. Do we want gunpowder? No. Okay, I'll just leave those to the uh, iron golems. Let's go and get our logs. Then we'll go down back to the mines. And we'll start uh, trying to roll for some good good ores. You know, that was definitely my strategy. And it was like my strategy for the first three hardcore worlds we uh, played. Until I think it was Gunner came into chat and gave me some advice. Which was, hey, um, there's like a there's a cooldown on the weapons. And if you utilize that, you'll do way better. And then I, I got used to it. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But you really do have to kind of pick your shots. You can't just like... Oh, we lost all that food as well. You can't... What? Are you taking the piss? Golems! Seriously? I am gobsmacked. I am literally gobsmacked. Yeah, you gotta really pick your shots, and you also need to know kind of like the distance between yourself and the enemies. So spam clicking was really, really good, right? You get a sword, you spam click, and enemies die real fast. However, swords are now useless. They're absolutely useless. There is no way, shape, or form uh, that you would ever get a uh, sword over any kind of item in the game. Because the axes do so much more dam damage on a crit. Why aren't regenerating health? You have hunger? That's bedrock only? No, no. Uh, we are playing on hard mode. That's also a, a bedrock thing. Uh, when you have, like, less than three hunger bars, you don't regenerate health. That's that's also bedrock. Hello, hello there, Spray Paints. Welcome back to the stream. So I think that we're probably going to want to get some food going, right? We've got some beef here that we, we could probably realistically cook up. Let's do that. It's taking up a slot in the chest. Uh, let's throw it in there. And I'm going to maybe convert all of this wheat into food. Because quite frankly, it's not really doing anything else. Nope, that's the wrong inventory screen. We want this crafting table right here. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, I mean, it's okay. And we'll also get a lot of this uh, steak when we kind of like come up here for the next time as well. Right, so that's wheat done. We've got bread. We've got bread and that's fine. What is this? Oh, we've got raw iron as well. Let's use that here before we kind of like go back down into the mine and potentially die in a doom loop as we already did before. We also need pickaxes. Oh my God. My poor brain. 
Uh. We also don't want this rotten flesh either. Okay, so I'll make uh, all of these into sticks right here. Uh. Done. And we'll turn these sticks into a pickaxe, oh. if we can. Can we actually make, like, cobble? Oh, cool. Ah, right. Nice. I like that. I actually really like that. So we can use this for crafting tools. Excellent. Okay, we've got a set of stone tools. We'll probably have to wait a wee while for the iron to cook. We already got three, which means we can make an iron pickaxe right now. I didn't want to take that last one. Just because we don't want to take like an extra ingot into our into our inventory. I'm gonna eat all of this bread, even though it's got no nutritional value whatsoever. Good. And now our HP is regenerating. Pretty quickly as well, actually. I got so used to playing hardcore that we uh I was I was so used to like the the hearts just not regenerating whatsoever. Okay, good. And we'll come down here. Excellent. Eating donuts be like, yeah, I know, there's no nutritional content, but my god, donuts are tasty, aren't they? I love the flavor. I love the feeling of the donut in my mouth. That is that is that is exactly something that I, I live for. Okay, let's start knocking down these uh, blocks that we hit our head on pretty frequently. Probably going to open up a pit to Tartarus, and by Tartarus I mean uh, the giant water hole that we had to plug in a bunch of different times. Maybe. Maybe we have to. I'm happy to do it. But it may also flood out all of our torches, which would also suck. I mean, we're going to always just put them back down again, right? Okay, good. We are down to where we were. Excellent. And this is the place we were at last time. Let's go ahead and mine out this block right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn one acacia log into four planks. And that is a crafting bench. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and chuck this right there in the floor so we have a little bit more walking space. And I'm going to make as many of these here furnaces as I can in one sitting. It's probably going to be eight, realistically. Done. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, we need a fuel source, so I'm actually going to take a couple of these acacia logs. We're going to use one acacia log to cook a few more into charcoal, and by that time we should have found coal. I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and place a... Wait, why can't I place a torch here? Oh, it's because this is already a torch there. Let's go ahead and place that there. Excellent. Cream and jelly filled donut donuts are insanely fire. Oh, absolutely. I'm more of a jam donut guy. Those, like, the ones that are filled with jam. They're kind of, like, long. They've got jam kind of, like, sticking out the sides. They're injected with jam. They are so tasty. Covered in cinnamon and, and sugar. I love them so much. That's what I'm all about. You're going to go play Bed Wars on Bedrock? Uh, best of luck to you on your, on your Bedrock Bed Wars. We did play a little bit of Bedrock, but as it turns out, we were just missing out on so many things, so I had to go there regardless. Bed Wars and Minecraft feel like completely separate games. I don't even know what they are. Minecraft normally, no custom games, is a little fun and goofy. While Bed Wars is for true gamers. I don't even know what Bed Wars is. Is that kind of like a, a PvP thing? I haven't done a lot of PvP in this game. I only learned how to fight a couple of days ago. The jam donuts are insane. I know, right? The most dangerous information I hold in my uh, little ape brain is I know where to get a 20 pack of jam donuts for $20. That is the most dangerous information I know. Like all of the all of the illegal stuff that I, I know about people doing stuff around the um, around the city that I live in, that's that's all fine and dandy. But man, when you know where to get 20 jam donuts for 20 bucks, that is danger at its peak. Put a torch right here. I'm usually cracked in bed wars. What is that like a Zuma speak for um for really good or really, really bad? You wrestle big sweaty boys over who gets the big spot on the bed? Really? I've done that before just outside of Minecraft. I'm really good at it. Um, I kind of learned a little bit of Pancratian in my time, so... You know, I'm, I'm, I, I got a little bit of Greco-Roman wrestling in me. It means really good. Cracked means really good. Oh, okay. I'm a millennial. I'm a Italian millennial. And uh, in my generation, cracked means you didn't pay for the game. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, does kind of apply to Minecraft, doesn't it? Alright, still haven't found a single ore, let alone diamonds. Found a lot of this reinforced stone, though. A little bit of a shame. What about through here? Anything? Please? I beg of you, game. Please generate any ores. Redstone? Lapis lazuli? What do I care? Just give me something that isn't rock. Or not. 
By the way, bid wars is basically just fighting to protect your bid. Oh, okay. If your bid goes out, then you can't respawn. Yeah, okay. I see why you would want to play that on bedrock, because then you'd have to time all of your crits by doing drop assassinations. Because that's basically the the entire gold. Okay, we need an iron pickaxe, which, fortunately enough, now we have the opportunity to go and craft. Nice. And it's above the void. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Basically, it's like protecting your base and your bed from huge, creepy, stinky sweats. Ah, I recognize the, uh, I recognize huge, creepy, stinky sweats. That's a word I know. Okay, we need the uh, sticks right here, down here for an iron pickaxe with, our, with the last of our iron ingots. Hopefully we're not going to have to use any of the gold at the end of this tunnel right here. Bedrock? I use bedrock. Uh, so many people use bedrock, but people for this playthrough were insisting that I play the Java edition. I kind of understand why. There are so many things in the Java edition that aren't in bedrock, because I was a bedrock guy. I absolutely adored the kind of like integration of the store as well in bedrock. I feel like they're really missing out on the Java edition by not having a store where you can buy texture packs and skins. It, it makes no sense to me why they would stick that on console and not like PC. I know you can like go out of your way and just put them in your game for free. But if people don't want to go out of their way and learn how to do modding, why, why not give them the functionality to uh, access the store that they've already programmed? You know what would be funny if Minecraft Bedrock just had every texture replaced with a Bedrock texture? There have been a couple of playthroughs on YouTube like that. I've seen them in passing. Like, Minecraft, but every single texture is just a solid green block and I don't know what I'm doing. Or, uh, Minecraft, but every single texture is an iron golem. That kind of stuff. On console, some of the items have special effects and animated stuff. There's a lot of animations in, um, in Java as well. And there's so many more things. There's automation. Automation works in Java. Which is actually probably the most important thing to me. Like, redstone circuitry in the Bedrock Edition is truly revolting. You're limited to a single chunk, and if you set up any kind of automation systems, which is why I play Minecraft, it's to automate Lego, uh, then unfortunately, as soon as you leave that chunk, or that chunk de-renders, which happens when you go, like, I don't know, 10 chunks away, uh, the whole machine breaks and you have to rebuild it from scratch. It sucks. On console, some of the items... Have, yeah, so this console fashion is kind of better sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. The console definitely has way better microtransaction stores. Like, that is something that is just unequivocal. You, you can't compare the online stores of the Bedrock Edition to anything in Java. There's a lot of mods for Java Edition, and I feel like that's all well and good, but at the same time, like, that store is just so nice for cosmetics. And I don't know why they don't integrate it. Okay, weird. We haven't actually found any kind of, like, ores except for that one little chunk of gold. I know strip mining is probably the least effective way of... Finding things now that the caves and, and mines update has, has been pushed, but... What the hell? There's nothing here! There's literally nothing here! Yeah, the entrance of this mine has de-rendered. We cannot see the entrance of this mine. Oh, diamonds. Okay, great. Finally, our first diamond's recorded. It's probably just gonna be one, right? Yep, okay. Thanks, game. You really shouldn't have. That's gravel. Weird. Why gravel? All of a sudden. Ah, oh, great. Lapis Lazuli. Awesome. Ah. Pringles a while ago put mine coin QR codes on their cans so people can get free mine coins. Oh, that is sick. We never had that here in New Zealand. We, we never got that, unfortunately. It's like buying two things without even trying to. Yeah, those kind of collaborations, I will always support. That is so uh, aware of their, own, of their own fan base. Like, that is an excellent collaboration. Okay, I hear a skeleton. I also hear it taking damage. It's pretty weird. I actually have two of them. You lucky strumpet. Okay, good. So, yeah. I did play Bedrock for most of my life. I did play it for most of my life. Ah, here we go. We're actually in the place with all the jingling bones now. Someone's taking damage. But the main question I have now is where from? We don't have any armor, so we, we have to be really cautious. Oh, damn. What the hell? How deep does this shaft go? And why does the bottom layer just have gravel? There's no ores down here. There are no ores. Oh, that's death. Okay, let's grab that. We'll break one of these so it all falls down. That was a lot less than I thought, actually. 
Okay, we'll put that there. Oh. Pringles had a Minecraft flavor for a little bit. What was it? Um, like freshly punched tree flavor. I love when games and other, and other big things do collabs. Yeah, it's definitely like it's it's probably an awareness of their player base that most companies just don't have. Like Mountain Dew thrives on memes. Oh, I am great. We're actually running really low on that now. Pickaxe is about to break, so it's good we found a little pocket of this right here. Hopefully, there's no lava up there. Good, done. But yeah, I, I love the collaborations like that. It's it's so self-aware. It's so self-aware and it always benefits everybody involved. Okay. I'll keep an eye out, actually. Maybe we do have some, unless they kind of, like, stopped it. It was a stew. What, like, Minecraft stew flavor? Oh, right. You, yeah, because you can make the stews in Minecraft. This just looks like a, a pit to hell. This doesn't actually look like a, a cave with ores or anything like that. There are no ores down here. What the hell is this? What is this? This is... Tough! Is it? Okay. Uh, some lapis lazuli right here as well. Oh, great. That's what I remember about the, uh, the copper update. Now you can get ores spawning in, like, other, other rocks as well. Okay, good. Uh, let's go ahead. Put a torch up there, because I'm paranoid. I don't know why, but this place kind of creeps me out. Let's get out of here. I don't like it. I don't like it whatsoever. Put a torch right there so we know our way out. Oh no, I'm lost. <laughs> oh bugger. Oh poos. Uh oh. Oh no. Border dash. Ah, God's wallop. No! No! Not like this! Oh, there we go. It's literally right behind me. Uh, right. So, we tried it in there. Let's actually try a different direction. You know what I like? I, in, in the bedrock, I did sink quite a bit of money into it. I probably spent about 80 bucks in total, 80 New Zealand dollars on the store. I got the um, Pure BD Craft Texture Pack, and I loved it so goddamn much. It actually, I played with it so much that it actually put me off bedrock when I fired it up for the first time. Because what I discovered is that the base game textures are revolting. They look disgusting. <laughs> and what I really, really liked was uh, Pure BD Craft and not really anything else. Also, big thanks to Yogscast for getting me hooked on Pure BD Craft, because that's kind of like their skin pack as well. It's, it's the one they love so much. It does look absolutely di divine. I tried getting a shader pack working on uh, Java, which you can't get on Bedrock uh, earlier, but unfortunately the mod manager uh, that I use, CurseForge, which I already had installed for Lethal Company, it, it was just busted as hell straight from the get-go. It crashed the game a couple of times, gave me a, um, a, a, a death screen as well. Not... In Minecraft, but like where all of the applications freeze in my recording software. Really weird. Okay, good. <sighs> oh no. Okay, our pickaxe broke. Ah. <sighs> is Minecraft themed completely? Have you heard the 11th Minecraft disc? No, it will haunt you more than this cave does. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, spray paints. You have a great time, whatever you are about to do. So, we do have a little bit of iron. We do have to cook it, unfortunately. Where is the one with the charcoal? Maybe eight furnaces straight off rip was maybe not the best. There it is. Okay, we got one charcoal, which I do kind of want to use to cook the rest of this. We do actually have another one of these stone pickaxes. So we'll use this until we find somewhere where we kind of like have to use the iron pickaxe, like resources, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get a double chest down here as well so we can start storing things. Because we probably don't need all of these stacks of rock. Good, and that can go in the corner over here. Nice. And we'll put all of this crap that we don't want in our inventory right here. I'm going to keep these two bricks of things. Granite we don't want whatsoever. Steak we'll put that on a hot bar. Raw gold, probably want to keep that. Do we have to smelt that? I think we do. I think we have to smelt that. Okay, we got one diamond. We got 60 lapis lazuli, which is pretty nice. Yeah, how many have we got? Quite a few. Good. Let's go ahead and start cooking up this uh, iron. We need three ingots. We need three ingots and then we will be able to make an iron pickaxe. Which should be all fine and dandy. One. Man, this charcoal's really effective. Isn't it annoying where you fall from the build height only to hit one sheep and you miss? Uh, wait, uh, what are you aiming for? Are you talking about Bed I've never played Bed Wars. I've never seen anything about Bed Wars in my life, if, if that's what you're referring to. So it's probably more like, don't you hate it when uh, when you've never played Bed Wars before? 
right? With the mace? What mace? There's a, wait, are there maces in this game? Is that actually a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh my God, I think I wanna be a, a mace main. Okay, let's actually use the cobblestone pickaxe to save some of our iron while we kind of like dig through here. Looking creative? Uh, I can't really do that right now, of course, and I'm not gonna switch to creative. Uh, just, I wanna keep this vanilla playthrough that I'm doing about as uh, honest as possible. And it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope once you start getting um, like creative enabled stuff. Get someone with a high height, it will insta-kill. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I've actually found when it comes to the combat in here, it doesn't matter how high you fall from, as long as you are falling, you'll still get the crits. Piss off, seriously. All right, we're gonna have to do this slow. And we have to plug it, I suppose. Boom, boom. There we go, we can breathe, great. Uh, let's go ahead and start mining all of this out. We got pretty far into that one. Oh no. This goes far. This actually goes really, really far. Okay. Let's just start mining. Uh, no, oh, piss off. We didn't want to put that one there. I mean, we can swim through it. But we probably don't want to have all of this water here in the first place, do we? Okay, good, that is a lot of our HP. Oh my God, stakes do a lot. Woo! It can insta-kill a warden from 64 blocks high? What's a warden? I don't know what these things are. My guys, my dudes. I'm so new at this game. We have to get rid of this. It's in the way. I know that we could probably just swim through pretty easily. We're gonna start taking damage soon, which is fine-ish, as long as we're fast. There, yeah, done. Let's go through, and we made it. Perfect. Uh, so what we want to do is kind of like plug in this entire tunnel, right? I don't want to kind of like give up on this little hole that we've made. I mean, we could probably actually see around as well, but even if we find any good resources, we can't really get it with what we've got, unfortunately. All right, good, that's a little bit pretty much done and plugged. All right, good. Awesome, uh, ran out of stone right at the end there, but we can just replace it now. Okay, put that there, these here. So that should plug some of it off or not. I thought that that might actually fill in the gaps, but it hasn't. Okay. And this one as well, and we're out of all of the materials. Okay, what else have we got? We still have lots and lots of diorite. Let's start using that. Whew. A warden is a skulk boss that if you trigger a skull trigger, it will appear and can insta-kill you. Uh, a person with unenchanted netherite armor. Wow. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I think I came across them in Minecraft Dungeons. I played a lot of Minecraft Dungeons. Like, a lot of Minecraft Dungeons. Okay, so there must be something from above now. Kind of like... Yeah, there is, right here. That didn't help at all. We're gonna have to fill all of this in and then probably mine it all out again. We can do that though. Good, and now we wanna get this one, this one, and we wanna start knocking out all of these because we know we're not gonna fall back into that water cavern. All right, good. Let's start plugging again. And that should be good. Nice, all right, good. We can, oh, we don't have any torches either. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, we'll go back and we'll craft some torches. We're actually using resources more than we're gaining resources, which is not good whatsoever. That's it's really, really bad. I don't know if we're just in a, like, crap place for resources, but it's bad. Really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, we need torches which require charcoal, which is made right here. Or not. Or it's not made right here. Okay, we probably have to go topside and get some wood, right? Because that's probably our biggest choke point now. It's whether or not we can make torches. That sucks, that sucks so bad. Okay, I thought we had it basically made, but we don't. Let's go all the way back up. We're gonna like, we'll hope for the best. Yeah, there's a cavern down here that we can't really start infiltrating and there's skeletons literally all over the place. It's a creeper right there. That sucks. Ah, it drops a skulk catalyst that can kill an animal near, it spreads skulk. I don't even know what Skulk is. Is that like a post-end, uh, a, a post-dragon thing? Because I never got to see post-dragon. I only really saw some of the maps in Minecraft Dungeons. That was about it. It is daytime. We can probably go uh, ahead and start chopping down some logs. In fact, we can probably take all of the acacia saplings. We don't have any acacia saplings. We lost them all in the mine when we died. 
Well, that undercomplicates everything. Let's go ahead and cross here. We'll go knock some of these trees down and then we'll turn them into some nice uh, big tree farms far away from the village so that we don't necessarily need to get raided by uh, monsters hiding underneath them. Or we could do it in the village and we get the iron golems to kind of like kill all of the monsters that are behind it. But I don't think the iron golems going to do anything unless the monsters actually start aggressing against villagers. Ah, oh, but they'll already spawn. Actually, let's just, let's set up all of our trees inside of the village proper. That's probably actually a really good idea. Okay, good. I'm getting all of these logs. They're basically all going to be turned into charcoal. That was so close. Okay, that wasn't death though. Would have just been a loss of health. We also haven't explored that weird orange area just over there. It's kind of cool. In fact, we haven't been this way at all. This is probably actually the furthest we've been from the village since we got here. Ancient cities can be found under mountain ranges. Really? No way. If you dig under a mountain, you'll find ancient city, which houses great loot, but also the skulk. Oh, that excites me. We actually did set up a uh, base in one of the hardcore playthroughs. Not necessarily under a mountain, but we set it up inside of uh, the peak of a mountain. We kind of had it cantilever outwards, but... Unfortunately, every time we do that, the monsters that come out of there just, they have no chill. They have absolutely no chill. So there's zero chance of us actually getting any uh, base made or any resources from that. That's eggs all over the place. If we had any more redstone, we could make a goddamn automatic meat cooker, which we don't. Ah! And no, I'm not talking about like putting it on rails and minecraft, mi minecarts with hoppers and stuff like that. Like, that is so overkill. I've, I've got a very, very basic recipe for an oven that just cooks meat. Automatically. You, you don't need to put anything in it. It just automatically does it. Hopefully I'll be able to build one by the end of the session. I was hoping to have some redstone by now. Because we did just go into a mine and strip mine pretty far into the mine until we exhausted all of our resources. We don't really have that. The orange area is a mesa biome, which is very rare. Is it? Ah. Is it worth, like, checking out? Should I go check it out? Or is it just kind of like a, a novelty? Okay, let's go ahead. Is that a guy on top of that tower again? Huh. Wonder what he's doing. Okay, let's chop down the last of these trees. And then I think we'll, like, turn in... Call it a night. We'll find a place uh, close to the base where we can kind of, like, plant all of these saplings that we are now accruing. And we're going to keep all these sticks, obviously, because uh, sticks are annoying to need. But they're not annoying to just, like, have sitting in your inventory. You can get terracotta. It's not worth checking out unless you want terracotta. Uh, I don't know. Like, maybe later, but uh, probably not necessarily now. I'll keep it as, like, a novelty then. How does that sound? Okay, the tree capitator is now no longer functioning. Let's just break this axe. Or not. Wait, since when did axes not... Oh, we can break grass with tools now! Oh, I did not know this! Oh, that's so cool. That actually changes everything. Can we... Oh, we can't bust leaves, though, with it. That's okay. We got another stone axe right here. We'll exhaust this out. Like so. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Very weird, actually. We need these logs as well. Okay, let's get something off of our hopper so we can break these leaves. Good. Okay. So, over here, we've got some more trees over here. Good. Just a few, and these will be the last ones. A tree generated in a tree. I don't think that was actually the case. I think what had happened was that we... So, how Tree Capitator works, which is the only mod we have installed. It's the only one we're going to have installed. It's, like, it's probably the biggest scale of quality of life difference that there is between uh, Bedrock and Java Minecraft. It's a shame you can't use it in Java in Bedrock Minecraft, because that, honestly, would probably get me to play it for another thousand hours. How it works is it basically looks in a, in a big V-shaped cone above the first block that you knocked out. And any, like, logs above there, it considers to be uh, a part of the tree. So if you kind of, like, if, if you knock out the bottom one and then there's a log next to the next highest one, it just won't knock out that uh, second, uh, uh, second log. It's just not how the mod works. Like, it's a, it's, it's a limitation of the functionality, but... It does work really, really well. Hello, chicken. Do you have an egg? Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, let's bust this down. We'll clear out this area here. Excellent. Got a lot of saplings too. Probably don't need all these saplings. Hello there, Mr. Sheep. 
Just going to go ahead and drop assassinate him for his wool. So we lost all of our uh, iron, so we, we can't make ourselves shears. Oh, there's heaps of trees over here. Oh, nice. We should have gone exploring way earlier. There's always a chest right here too. Okay, so we've got gold. We've got some iron. This would have actually helped so much earlier. Golden apple. Don't know what that does. Uh, we've got a golden hoe of unbreaking. That's actually a bit of a god roll. I love that. We've got a golden sword. Bane of Arthropods 4. That's insanely potent. Let's go ahead and stick that on our help bar. That is uh, anti-spiders. Arthropods spiders. And we've literally got one block away from an entire ender portal. Set. Oh my god, I just burned myself. Okay, good to know. Can't stand on that, otherwise it burns. Fire burns! Ouch! Ah, Ruin portal. I know, it's really cool, isn't it? And it's just one block away from normal. Get that gold block. Ah. Oh, I think we kind of want to keep it there for now. Like, we don't need gold. We have got gold. We don't actually need the gold. I think it's, it's, it's probably a little bit excessive to just start hoarding gold now. All right, only a few more trees to take down. And then we'll go back to the village and we'll kind of like set up a, a little tree growing area so we don't have to go so far from the village anymore. It's probably going to be the best decision. All right, a couple of trees up here. I wonder if this one will get knocked down because of the V-shaped cone. Oh, yep, the whole thing just got knocked down. That's fine. Good. And one over here. And there's a couple more in between us and the village. I... What the hell is this? Is this sand? What the hell is this? Play. Okay, okay. I was about to uh, have a bit of a conniption. I thought there was snow in the desert. That makes no sense to me. Although, technically, a um, tundra is still a desert. Yeah, uh, the desert is the desert part is only like whether or not there's a a source of water naturally occurring, and and there's not. So, you know, technically tundra also desert. All right, good. We got that one down. Probably not going to get this one down with the axe. We could probably just leave it. Yeah, I can almost guarantee we're not going to get this one down. There we go. Yeah, of course. So we're going to get a couple of these, and I'm still going to knock down the whole tree with our fist. We're out of axe. This is probably the last log. I'm happy. Anti-spider, you trying to make me angry? Hey, man, I, I just found the spiders. All I know is what the, uh, the enchantments do and how to speak the enchantment language, which hilariously doesn't actually translate to what the enchantment does whatsoever. <laughs> A lot of people think that if you could translate it, you'd know exactly what the enchantments do, but it, it makes no difference. Is there a merchant here? Is that who was standing on the, the tower? There was someone standing on the tower, right? Hello there, sir. There's a farmer in here. Is this place cursed? I'm going up. I'm just going to make sure that it's not cursed. There was somebody up here. I'm certain of it. Actually, we've got a, a really good view from up here, to be quite honest. Maybe we should take a look around. Okay, desert that way. Savannah that way. Looks like we've got a pretty big, what do you call it? Mesa, right? A big mesa off that way. I can kind of see like the, the orange on the horizon just over there, above that tiny little bit. Okay. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Yeah, Mesa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Golden Apple gives you extra hearts. Crouch on hardened lava. Ah, okay. That's a good tip. I'll use that. Uh, hopefully nobody's in my bed, but quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody is. Yep, there is a farmer in my bed. Get out of my bed, sir. What a twit. What an actual twit. He just buggered me. What's he trading? All right, he'll trade beetroots and potatoes for a uh, little bit of emeralds, which is hilarious because that's what we don't have. Okay, we can't get redstone readily available, so we can't get a decent source of food, right? That is a big issue. Maybe we take these acacia logs that we have, we replace some of the sand down here with dirt, and then we start growing some areas for trees. Might be a really, really good idea. I think we'll get a stack of dirt. Yep, good. Oh, also accidentally got a, too much of it. We also need an axe, don't we? We need an axe. Now, do we have, here's the question, do we have enough iron for an axe? We do not have any iron. Okay, let's put that on there. Can we make it out of diorite? No. Useless material. We've got cobblestone, though. We'll just use that. Good. Oh, we have a pickaxe. I wanted to make an axe. Whoops. Okay, let's throw that one away. There you go, friendo. Free pickaxe for you. Don't spend it all in one place. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and make an axe here, just a stone axe, because again, iron is a very, very valuable resource. And we've got so many iron golems here. Huh. The golden apple regenerates your regular hearts, but the hearts it gives you are temporary. Oh, I see. Temporary hearts. That makes sense, actually. All right, let's put this uh, into our crap chest, because we probably aren't going to realistically use them. What else we got? We got five projection pants. That's not particularly useful either. And it's also made of gold. Projection two with the gold number. Yeah, but it's going to break too soon. It's probably better just to melt it down into ingots if we can. Play ball. We can put those in there. What else? We got mutton for some reason. Wool can go in there. All right. That's probably enough. Uh, we also got eggs. Damn it. I just slammed the door in my own face. Eggs. Now we got 12 eggs. That's probably actually enough to make the automatic cooker that I have in my head. Okay. Let's set up the trees all the way over here. Next to our house. Actually, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> Maybe we set it up over here instead. Maybe we dig a recess into this hill. That's a good idea. Let's go ahead and just do that. We'll, we'll dig out some of the sand. Not like we don't have enough already. And we'll kind of like put the trees up here. Because then we'll be able to kind of like moderate the amount of enemies that kind of see us from a distance. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. We'll keep on mining all of this crap out. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. And now I'm going to start shaving across and meet up with the shaving over here. A little bit more. Excellent. I like this. I want it to look virtually natural. That's that's kind of my intent. What the hell are you doing up here, friendo? You just want to see what's going on? You want, you want to see the terraforming I'm doing? You want to stand on the terraforming? Do you remember that that uh, that merchant that I drowned in sand, friendo? This guy's got some nuts. He's got some real nuts on him. Bowie, I'm the only one here. Yep, yep. My guys, my dudes. So many people keep saying this. The whole point of streaming is not that there are people turning up and, and watching the stream, right? The whole point is to kind of like add a social element to a, a form of YouTube that I just like doing, minus the social element anyway. So I don't really care that there's nobody else here. For all I care, there could be zero viewers that I'm broadcasting to. And still, I'm having fun. It's all about having fun. It's, it's not about quantity. It's all about quality. That's the thing. All right, we'll go ahead, uh, curl around here. Get all the way through. And then we can start sticking down our trees. Okay, so how many have we got? Uh, we could probably mine out enough for like 64 saplings to go down. Let's just start digging out a hole for the for the dirt. I'll do like 4x4s. Four because we can get away with 4x4s. Four Good. And we'll remove all of this. We'll replace it with dirt. Excellent. A mesa is counted as a mountain, so you might find an ancient city there. Ooh. That'd be, that'd be exciting. Might be exciting. It might be exciting. I don't know. Maybe an ancient city is just like empty and crap. Hmm. It might actually be empty and crap. I don't know. We just don't know. Oh, why, are the, why are these like five wide? Did I miscount? Probably, actually. Go ahead and just fill these in. This guy's got some balls. Wait, did I make this five by five? Oh, I did two. That's... Whoops. Okay. That's two of them. So that's oak and acacia basically set up. Uh, we could probably actually just do more, right? Two, three, four... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, one. Done. Our shovel is about to break, but it is about to break doing something good. Excellent. You can find diamond armor and maybe netherite and enchanted golden apples. Jesus, really? But it's like, it's a death trap, isn't it? Enchanted apples are god apples. It's death though, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a death sentence. It's, it's where people go to die. Okay, there we go. Sorry, my uh, wrist just had a bit of a conniption. I failed to place down the dirt in the right place. <laughs> this guy just did a drive-by. Hmm. Excellent. And we'll put some over here as well. We're going to torch this bad boy as well, although we can't really do that until we get some charcoal generated. We do have a lot of logs. We probably should be cooking these while we place these down, actually. It's not a death threat? Okay. Well, that fills me with a little bit more confidence than, um, hey, there's in-game resources here, and uh, they're well-guarded by people that one-hit you. Okay, crafting bench, no thank you. 
We want, oh, we've got iron actually, perfect. Let's go ahead and chuck the acacia logs in there and we'll keep this iron on us. Probably want to take it down into the mine so that we can use it to generate more. You can get wool, which if put down the skulker sensors won't te detect you. And crouching makes it not detect you. Seriously? That's cool as hell. I didn't realize there was actually stealth mechanics. Yo, wool or carpet? Would carpet work? Because you can get so much more carpet out of wool. Okay, good. We'll place all of this down. So those skulker sensors, uh, those are the things that like, they, they open up and they scream, right? I think I've, I think I saw them on Minecraft Dungeons. I'm not entirely sure though. Right, acacia saplings. These are going to be first. I'm just going to plant heaps of them in a giant circle. Okay, that should do for now. And we also want these oak saplings too. Good. I'm going to keep them away from the acacia saplings. This acacia kind of has a habit of growing outwards. Probably actually just try and make a really big log here. A couple of really big trees. Good. Done. Okay, let's check out the farm. Looks like they are actually spread. What the hell is this? We didn't plant this. What are these? Are these beets? No shot. I don't know what's popping out of here. I think they're using bone meal of some sort. Okay, we'll get some more chests unless they're sticking in here. No, they are not sticking in there. All right, so I think at this point, we should probably pretty up the farm a little bit. Maybe put some fences around it. Then get a chest. Uh, actually, we'll just get a chest first. That's probably the best idea. And good four. We'll get a double chest. One, two, done. Two chests. Villagers plant things. If you summon a warden, run. Ancient cities are incredibly easy to do if you have the right gear and don't summon a warden. Okay. All right. Maybe maybe we'll try it in this session before we uh, before we end it. It's a screecher that screams sensors, sends signals to the screecher. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a. There's like a, uh, there's a, there's a chain of workflow to it, isn't there? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, I'm gonna stick this here and here. Hopefully they'll start filling it up. What is this? Beetroot! Hey, nice. Okay, we've got some wheat seeds. We've also got beet seeds. That rhymes. That's funny. Uh, let's plant these. One and two, done. All right, farmers, do your job. Is it lunchtime or something? Where's the sun? It's way past midday. Why are you guys kind of idling here? Who are you? Librarian. Oh, that's right. This is the guy who will enchant things for us, right? Hello, friendo. All right. That guy's just a, a novice cleric. We probably want to get another one of these farms set up if that's... If it's actually jet... Is this carrots? No way. There's no shot we're actually generating food here. Just organically. I bet they're chucking all the food in the compost bins, though. That'd be stupid. They'll just plant things. If you put food into a composter, you get bone meal. When do you think you'll do an ancient city if you... Okay. Librarians are really good for mending. What, like uh, mending items? Or do you mean like the enchantment? Because I think this guy sp specifically sells piercing. Yeah. Oh no. It's an orgy. Ah! Ah! I can't show this on YouTube. Ah! Oh, no, don't invite me. I don't want to be a part of this. Get away from me. Oh. I can smell what you're doing. Yuck. Okay. Uh, we do need charcoal, so we're going to have to go back, get the uh, giant stack of charcoal that we just started cooking. Oh, these guys are buggering each other. Gross. Cooties. Mending is an enchantment that will, if you get experience, it will repair your tool. That is fantastic. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind as well. We've got a golden hoe here. I don't really want to keep this on us, but it seems like a bit of a waste not to. So since we now have a chest dedicated to the farming district that we've kind of set up, we probably want to wall it off, don't we? Hello there, sir. We've got a lot of acacia planks and we could probably actually turn that into fencing. So I'm gonna go ahead, make a big dizzle decision. We're gonna make all of these stacks right here, a whole stack of acacia planks. Now let's do some math. Let's do some math. We're probably going to have to, like, count out exactly how many items we have to place around the farm for it to function. I'm not entirely sure how many those are going to necessarily be. Uh, we'll turn these into torches before we forget right here. Done. That's a lot of torches. That'll do the trick nicely. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and put them uh, offhand right here. Nice. Okay, we're going to put a, far, a fence up around the farm so that these dickheads don't go ahead and stomp everything. Because they are very capable of stomping everything. So we need uh, one, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one, so ten. Minus one, nine per side. That is nine, eight, ten, twenty-seven, thirty-six fences. We need thirty-six fences to go around it. We need four gates. Thirty-six fences, four gates. Let's go and get that. Yinsen skinny boy? What do you mean Yinsen skinny boy? I got I got buff muscles. All right, 36 fences. 36 fences. Uh, how do we make these again? Okay, that won't do. It's like uh, it's like this, isn't it? With like logs in the middle? No. Poles. Poles in the middle. Okay, I think that uh, 36 in the middle then. And we need lots and lots of these poles, don't we? We need lots of sticks. So we need four times 36. Oh, no. That is 126, 132, 144. It's 144. We need 144. That'll do the trick right there. 144, probably. Put that there, 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 put that there. And then we will fill out what we are missing. Wait, is that a fence or a gate? Gate! No, we don't want gates. We want fences. So that's probably in the middle? Then? Yes, okay, so we need lots of the planks. Gotcha. Go ahead, place those down, and put that down, halve that, and then we'll fill out the rest of it with this. 36, 36, 36, 36. Excellent. Use your crafting book to see the recipe. For what, the fences? Oh, I, I can get pretty far without using the crafting book. So now we just need four Gates, which is poles on the outside, isn't it? I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The crafting book feels a little bit cheaty. It was never there when I was playing this game, so I'm probably not going to start using it now. All right, we have so many fences. Oh, my God. Although this is uh, supposed to, theoretically, surround this entire zone. Good, 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 good. Or maybe I made too many. I would probably like to not. Actually, let's have them uh, one block out further. Move, sir. Go move! Get out of the way! Oh my god. I know that if we misclick on a villager, a golem is just going to come and kill us. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have it like one block out. A little bit further outwards. <sighs> And I, am I one of your most persistent viewers? Uh, I've, I've definitely got quite a lot of persistent viewers, but you do turn up pretty frequently, gotta be said. You do turn up a lot. Unbreaking increases durability? Oh, that's a shame. Maybe we do just want mending then. I was hoping that maybe it wasn't like a... Dude. Maybe it wasn't like a, a durability thing. Maybe it was actually just like a, a, a free kind of... An infinite item, I suppose. Okay, all around here. And all through here. Nice. I did the math wrong, by the way. I'm aware that I did the math wrong. And these composters are probably going to have to move too. Don't know where I'm going to put them. Probably against the fence next to the gate. Okay, good. Put all of this around here. Whoops, that's too close. Get that out of the way. Excellent. And start placing it down. Well, I went overkill with the fences, I think. Or maybe I wasn't looking at the yield of... Oh, that's probably it, right? Ah. You can kill the golem by making it three blocks above it and then just killing it. I can't reach you. Then you can murder villagers. I don't really want to murder them because they're like... They're farming up all of our crops for us. Okay, I am going to go ahead and bust this down. Cost that guy a, a whole job. And then we want to get that back down here. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You want a job. Let's go ahead and just stick it there. And we'll do the same with all of these, so that they're not, like, really out of place. Boop! And put that there. Excellent. And this one as well can go just over here. Put it there. And now we have gates that we need to stick in, don't we? Four gates. One here. Good. One here. I think that chest needs to be flipped around now. One gate there. Did you actually just jump on the farm, you oaf? Wow. Brain dead. Actually brain dead. 
I can't, okay, we're moving this away from the fence because I'm pretty sure they're just going to use it to hop the fence over and over again. Put it there. You dope. Okay, get this one, put it there. Excellent. Although, it is actually good to know that we can kind of like um, distance the golems. If that is good information, we can kind of like use that to generate iron then. Probably at a more reliable rate than uh, what we're actually doing. Sorry. You can kill the golem by making it three blocks above it. What, like you have to be a, a, a higher above the golem? Is that, is that what you're telling me? So if I like take some sand. Here, right? This, this is what you're telling me? I can't. Oh my god, you're actually right. That is ridiculous. How many shots with the stone axe do I need to kill it though? Yeah, so every time we kill it, we get iron ingots. Oh, and redstone! Perfect! That's exactly what we need. Nice. Oh, poppies. Gross. It picked flowers. Uh, iron golem should not be in the farm. No, 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 no. That is big bad. Get out of there, good sir. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Boom, boom, boom. This is a, a, a... It doesn't feel natural. Oh, no, I just threw my axe on the ground. Oh, well, I got a pickaxe. Who's going to stop me, honestly? I could probably just do this with my fist, right? Okay, good. Pickaxe. Gotta be said, doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, let's go ahead and bust all of this down. That's more iron. Excellent. Uh, iron is basically our choke point at, the, uh, at this current juncture. We're just basically trying to get ourselves enough iron to make a sorting system of some kind. And we're not getting raided or anything like that. You're welcome. The poppy was from giving to the village children? No way. No way. That feels bad. That, I know I'm smiling right now, but it feels bad. Okay, we've pretty much filled up our sand chest almost to the brim. Let's go ahead and start knocking this annoying looking thing down. I don't know why these paths are here, but uh, we don't want them here, quite frankly. Let's just get rid of them. It's also almost nighttime, I'm pretty sure. Either that or it's trying to rain. Right, let's get this out of the way. We trip over this stuff so much, so frequently. It's a little bit obnoxious. Oh, I just unlocked new recipes. Excellent. What is this, Final Fantasy 15? Nice, okay. It is kind of nice, actually, taking tips from chat. Like, I, I would not have figured that one out myself. Usually, when I'm playing Minecraft, Iron Golems are kind of like an exploit to not get killed. Okay, uh, I'm going to put down a torch there because there was a torch there. Uh, we probably also want to migrate all of the torches from this area here as well, don't we? Go ahead, come in here. Excellent. I'm going to take that torch and I'm going to take that torch and I'm going to start replacing them on the edges and also on the gates right here. And here, and another one. Here, good. And another one. Why are all the villagers who don't have jobs just hanging out in here? Get a job. Literally, just get a job. My god. Iron can repair iron golems? Oh, that's handy. That is also handy to know. I don't think we'll be using it, though, somehow. Okay, those guys are just stuck, and I'm pretty sure they're happy to be. Maybe when it's night time, they'll like rush into a house or something like that. I'd say. There's a farmer over here. Let's see what he's selling. What have you got? He wants to trade carrots, eel, trade an emerald for six bread, which is actually... Uh, that would get us out of a tight bind pretty easily. What is this? Leather for an emerald? We could probably actually start getting livestock, right? We, we can get some livestock and maybe we could think about getting some, uh, you know, getting some goodies. Uh, this farm has to go down as well. Let's start dismantling some of this. Did you see that iron golem just appear out of thin air? I've seen a couple of them appear out of thin air. I, I'm pretty sure that's uh, their mechanic. They just, like, come out of nowhere, and then they rail whatever enemy that they're focused against. Okay, bust all of this down. Good. Uh, we don't have a shovel, but we can just use our iron ingot, which is basically a shovel. Um, not made into a shovel yet. To knock down the rest of this farm that we have kind of already patched over. Okay, good. I kind of like the flatlands. I, I like flatlands. So I'll come through here. Knock out all of that grass. Knock down all of this crap that's kind of like sticking out in the way. That we don't necessarily want to have to deal with. 
bit more sand. Yes, that's always nice. I love a bit of sand. Uh, let's put a torch here. <laughs> it's really dark where we are. Like, really dark. So maybe we just put a torch there. Okay, we still need quite a bit of redstone, though. We need a redstone comparator, and we need two redstone... Oh, what are they called? Um... Oh, I don't remember. They're like the two things that like stick out from each other. I'll, I'll look at it in the inventory right here. I need a cooker. Redstone. Okay, so we... I'm certain we've found redstone, have we not? We've got some in, in here. I mean, we're going to go to sleep anyway. Hey, no one's in our bed. Nice. Two watching? Nice. We will just use your iron ingot, which is just a shovel and not made of a tool yet. Wise words? They are wise words. Everything can be something, just not yet. For example, I could probably be uh, a pile of ash. I'm just not yet. Who knows? All right, what else we got? Uh, we probably want to get all of the sand out of our pockets. We probably want to start cooking up the sand, actually, so we can get some windows for some defensibility in our house. Because for the love of God, this is not... This is not defensible. I suppose we haven't been attacked in here, though. Probably need to find some glowstone as well to put in the ceiling, but that is a future problem. Good. Uh, okay, hello there, sir. I have a question. Have you ever heard about our Lord and Saviour, the Axe Crit? No, don't go. The Axe Crit, my dude. Have you heard of it? Yes. Good. Excellent. Got him. Nice. He had no chance, honestly. Put sand in a furnace, it will make glass. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is dark. It is a little bit dark. We probably don't need to make glass just yet. I probably actually... Is there anything in here? No. I thought that everybody would be kind of like... Sticking all of their, our things in there. Uh, like food, maybe? But they aren't. They aren't doing that. In fact, they can't even reach the compost. Are the gates actually keeping them in? There is a farmer on the outside over here. Alright, we got one guy coming in. Can they actually not operate the gates? Seriously? My guys! Okay, let's open all of these since these guys are too brain dead to... to leave. Idiots. Okay, let's get some of these beets. Nice. Yum. Thank you. Take some of this. Very nice. What are these? That's wheat. We've got some beets here. I don't see any carrots. I don't see a single carrot. We actually need carrots, I think. I don't know what for. We got five beetroots. Yeah, we definitely need carrots. They have such a gigantic harvest yield. Is this carrots? What is that? No, it's just wheat seeds. What are these? Beet seeds. Okay. Let's go ahead and plant some beets, I suppose. I, I feel like beets aren't necessarily the thing that we want to start snowballing in the farm. We probably actually want to start doing carrots. Okay, I've opened all the fences so that these guys can actually reach their job stations. My god. They can't operate gates, only doors. Oh, really? Actually, that... We could use that. We could probably use that. I basically just want to keep monsters out and I want to stop these dumbasses from stomping all over our crops. Uh, let's go ahead and knock down this chest because it's empty and then we'll turn it around so that we can use it. Boom, boom. Now, what happens if we stick food in here? Do they take it out and then compost it? Oh, hey. Sorry, I uh, didn't see you there. Okay, bye. Weird. Is this guy taken from the chest? No. Ah, uh, we'll see what happens. <sighs> Bowl seven beets beet soup, which regions like five bars. Jesus, that is not worth it, honestly. I don't think beets are going to be worth it. If that's... If only five health is the yield from, like, eight beets. Like, if we get carrots, if we get carrots, we can trade them to one of the farmers in a huge quantity, and that farmer will give us a lot of uh, emeralds, which then we can use to buy resources. Looks like I need redstone really bad, like, desperately. Maybe we go back down to the mine and try our luck again. Oh, a couple arrows here. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Weird. I wonder who dropped those. <laughs> maybe Robin Hood has uh, been through here, but he maybe had um, some kind of gout or dysentery. So he, uh, he didn't really realize that he dropped all of his arrows down on the ground there. Okay, good. I hope I'm not doing too many flick shots for people to be able to keep up with where my mouse is going. They can't deposit into chests. Gosh, the steak is making me hungry. 
You can find redstone ancient cities. A lot of it. It was a skeleton dying. Yeah, I had a hunch. I had a hunch it was a skeleton dying. Let's go check out that mesa then. We'll empty out all of the resources that we want to keep from our inventory and we'll go check out that mesa. Maybe we'll keep ourselves a axe so we can get some wool from some sheep. And from those sheep, we'll make carpet. Okay, nothing in there. We do have a sword. We, do, we have a golden sword. I don't know how much damage it does. Uh, it does way less damage than the axe, so we're probably not actually going to use this against anything that's just not flat out a, uh, a spider. Okay, we'll keep the eggs. We'll keep this poppy. What else are we going to keep? A lot of this isn't really valuable stuff. String is very valuable. Oh, we can actually make... We can make a crossbow now. Okay, let's do that. Where is the crossbow? I can't remember how to make it. I, I think it was like... Um, string here, string here. Uh, plank, 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 plank. And then one iron ingot here? Maybe? No? Huh, okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw it around, regardless. Where is it? Crossbow. We've got the bow. You want a mace? I would love a mace. If you tell me how to make a mace, I'll uh, definitely make one. You have to go into a trial chamber and get a breeze rod and a heavy core, which is very rare. You can't make a crossbow? Damn it. Damn it. How do you make a crossbow? Just out of interest. Because I seem to remember we've had the resources a bunch of different times to make them. You see? Look. It's in the corner of the book. Is it actually? Showing all? Showing craftable? Showing all? No? Oh, he did, uh, kind of just put all of our iron angles away. Shears. We could probably actually get shears instead of just killing every sheep we come across for some wool. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we also... No, we still have the string. Oh, my God. Crafting table. Okay. Yes, you are right. Absolutely, you are right. There's a brush. Diamond shovel. Clock. That's not weaponry. <laughs> what? Probably actually should get a clock to be... Oh, that's expensive. We can afford... Oh, there's the crossbow. Okay, we need... We can make this. Sticks, tripwire hook. Yeah, we can make a tripwire hook. Can't we? Yeah, we can make a tripwire hook. Easy. We can make a crossbow. Done. Okay, let's get a crossbow made then. Crossbow. Boom. Excellent. Okay, now we've got a ranged weapon. Fantabulous. We don't have a lot of arrows, though. I don't really know how to make arrows. We probably need feathers, right? Yeah, probably. Okay, well, at least we got two feathers. No, we got two... We got two arrows. Uh, we'll keep those on us. Probably want to dump... Honestly, all of this stuff is probably not particularly vital to us. Except for this golden hoe, this golden sword. They're probably worth quite a bit. What else we got? Fences. We'll put that in the building chest, I suppose. Okay, we're going to go back down. We're going to try for some redstone, because we desperately need some. Bow is better than crossbow. Can rapid fire, but crossbow is to draw down the arrow. I'm, I'm patient enough. <laughs> as long as you don't have to, like, pull and draw the, uh, the bow, I'm absolutely fine with it. Also, can you stick the, uh, the crossbow on your offhand? Yes. I don't think you can do that with your bow. Okay, good. And down we go. Way down we go. Excellent. We'll go into our pit. Our pit of garbage so far. It's been absolute garbage. We've found nothing useful down here whatsoever. We've found one diamond. And we've broken two iron picks to get it. When you go into the ancient city... Oh, that's right. Uh, that's where we were going. Well, actually, uh, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just drop a couple of logs in this chest right here. Oh, good. There's a lot of crap in here, actually. Uh, a stack of logs. We want to put a stack of logs in here because it's valuable. Probably also want to keep our iron ingots down here because this is probably where we're going to need them most. And we've still got this tripwire hook. I'm not going to miss it if we lose it. Good. All right, done. Under the mountain. Remember that. Uh, I'll try the mesa. We'll yep, there's a zombie. I'll try for the mesa first. Because if there is actually something beneath there, that would be super cool to explore. I do kind of want to... I want to find the... Uh, I want to see if carpet actually works as well. Cave near you? Oh, there's heaps of caves near me. Like, too many caves near me. Uh, we just need a couple of sheep so we can get some wool, don't we? And we also didn't put the uh, building materials away in the building chest. We'll do that as well before we head off. 
trail chamber map can be found in a cartography villager. We don't have one of those here. We, we just don't have one. We could probably make one. Oh my god, why are they buggering in the town square? Could you guys not? <laughs> Disgusting! <sighs> Gross. Hate that. Hate that we set up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and consolidate that stack and we'll drop the rest of the sticks in here. Oak logs, acacia logs, they can go in there. We'll consolidate these planks into one stack. I'm pretty happy with what we've got, actually. And the sand can also go in there. Done! Okay, so we've uh, cleared out our inventory. Just in time for sundown. And put it near an unemployed villager? Unless it's a nitwit. <laughs> We probably actually do have a bunch of nitwits here. Although in saying that, they finally filled out this entire farm. That was probably my fault though, to be fair. Probably almost entirely my fault. Why beetroots? Is that like a biome specific thing? Because I think they're autonomously planting their own beetroots. I didn't plant a single beetroot here. Okay, let's go sleep. And then we'll go try for one of those underground cities. Also, what is that stuff lighting up under the sea? Very cool, whatever it is. We'll go back into our home. Good. Get out of our bed. Nice. Can this guy go one day without sexually assaulting me? Honestly. Dude. I see the little green sparkles. You are fooling nobody. Why is that? Why, why is there like the breeding animation whenever we get... The green sparkles, right? That, that means breeding animation. It's an underwater monument, not worth it at all. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, is that that thing where the uh, kind of puffer fish spawn at? One of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is to like take a bunch of sponges and then dry out an entire underwater temple. I love them so much. Uh, can we make this jump? I don't know, let's see. We'll bee hop over here. Nice, done. Awesome. Okay, we'll come all the way over here. We probably need to start killing chickens for fletching, right? What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, the vast amount of resources down here. Why didn't... How, how did we miss this? My days! Jump in the water? Yeah, I'm thinking so, right? No hearts, it's breeding? Hearts is a breeding, okay. So what is the, like, um, the green things? Yeah, wouldn't against full damage, but I don't want to be caught down there with my pants down, to be quite honest. Especially with that really heinous looking hole right there. I don't think there's any way out if we do fall down. Okay, I'm going to try and jump this really precarious cr crevasse. So, Jesus take the wheel! Boing! Okay, we made it, fortunately. Let's try and, like, scooch at least a little staircase sideways from here, I think, into the water. So that we have somewhere to go. Okay, that's gonna fall down, excellent. We can just beat that off. Great, and we'll beat these off too. Nice, nice. Okay, good. We'll get that one out of the way, and we'll also get this one out of the way too. And now let's beat it off with this arrow. That's probably a, as good as a shovel as we'll find. Let's get our pickaxe back up. Good, down here, down here, and we'll bust this out, even though sand's gonna fall. Whew. You can use water or build up. Yeah, no, wait, uh, yeah, honestly, just like not being stuck down there in the first place is probably the thing that makes me feel the safest. Okay, that's uh, busted down. That's fine. We can kind of like make a staircase come down here. Excellent. All right, we're going down now. What is down here? Boop. Excellent. I uh, take that back. Maybe it's not so excellent. Uh, well, that's not what we want. We probably want a pickaxe of some sort. I think I hear a monster. But I can't be entirely certain. Let's just kind of like dry out the spawns really quickly. We've got the we've got the torches to spare, honestly. Watch out for draw drowned. Bust the sus stick out. What is the sus stick? Or are you talking about that villager? Who was trying to like get jiggy with me? Because he was getting a sus stick out real, real hard. Very gross. Okay. We've got uh, some resources here. I'll get these and then I'll go back into the uh, gigantic, what looks like a meteor crater. And we'll go and get those resources that are just kind of scattered around there too. We've got an iron pick as well, so we can get the gold. 
Got design everywhere. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Come up here. And we'll mine all of this. Hopefully there's not going to be lava under it, which would negate the whole point of coming down here in the first place. Is this gravel? No. Oh, it could be, actually. Excellent. Okay. Good. We are going to need an absolute arseload of iron for all of the automation that we want to do as well. Like, I know there's kind of, like, villager automation, but I'm smarter than that. I don't, I don't want to trick people into doing work for me. I'm going to get a machine to do it. And then I'm going to make them pay for it. Ha <laughs> ha. Trump references. Okay, we'll come up here. Hopefully there's nothing in this little cubby either. Let's torch that off. Because <laughs> I'm suspicious. Okay, we got some more right here. We'll mine all of this out. I'll bust that block out so we can get up here and collect this iron. I'm talking about the villager? Oh, the sus stick. Gross. Ew, that is, that is a gross way of saying it. Oh. Hello there. Uh... There you go. I think we hit him once more and then... Done. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of the combat in this. It's still kind of fiddly. Like, the crit thing is really annoying to have to deal with. Okay, I'll put that there. And we can't actually see in front of us, which maybe isn't the best. Let's get a Ryan pickaxe out. Okay, I think it's clear. Is that a skeleton? I'm off. <laughs> I'm, act I'm actually not taking chances. I see a spider. Okay. So which one do we come up? It was probably that one right there, right? So let's go up there. This on this place. This is terrifying. I'm off. Bye-bye. Hopefully we're not going to get ganked by a, by a skeleton on our way up here like we, we had a couple of hours ago. Because that actually happened. That actually happened. Okay, good. We're drowning a little bit, but it's absolutely fine. Anything for the name of science. The, the cliffs and caves thing, right? I feel like... This is probably going to be a hot take. I feel like it's not um, a very well thought, thought out in the sense that everything is covered in water. So there's no real, like, chance of spelunking, so to speak. You can't really get into a cave and be all like, oh, I'm going to get hunkered down on this thing. I'm going to get all the nice resources. It's always just, like, full of water. Oops. Okay, we're probably going to have to do a little bit of a sprint jump over here and then b-hop over nope not gonna happen not gonna happen fine i will place down blocks and i will use it as a transit if you if, if it makes you happy game so win ancient city right now we're, we're off we're, we're gonna go see it we're off to the uh we're off to the place let's eat the steak all right we've got no more food left i don't think oh we've got this raw beet and we've got a few apples as well i suppose all right good What's around here? We're, I've never actually been this far away from the village. I think we just kind of like got on a boat as soon as we spawned so that we could outlast all of the monsters that were spawning because it was nighttime. And we never really... Oh, I love that. I love that. Look at that. There's ocean over there with things sticking out. I love it. Oh, cool. This is very neat. There's a thing right there. I actually see something rendered right off in the distance. If you look in the top left-hand uh, corner of my cross here, you can see like a little V, a little inverted V, I suppose. So under that thing and under this thing, there should be an ancient city, right? Is, is that what I'm, what I'm gathering? We're in the orange bit. There's like a plateau over there. That'd be a cool place to set up a base as well. There's ocean with things sticking out. I took that wrong. Do we kind of like, oh, maybe we want to set up a castle on that giant plateau over there. The Savannah Plateau. If we set up a castle over there, we could have like a, a giant viewpoint just looking out at this uh, very obviously. Oh my God, I can see under the water. It's so well lit. Can't see any of this crap. I can see over there. Neat. I love that so much. Mine under it? Okay, we're going to mine under this. It's on you, King of Spiders, if there's no ancient city here, okay? You're going to have to take a little bit of accountability. Uh, where do we want to ruin the nice pristine landscape from? Probably down in this little dip right here, right? And we'll light it up as well so that people at nighttime know not to go in here. Boop. Okay. Let's start going in. I'm going in. Oh, I didn't realize that was sand. Okay. 
That's fine. Ah, oh, well, we're past the sand, fortunately. I'm gonna mine down in the old spiral uh, trick that seems to work for just about everybody, right? And then I'll put a torch down every like five blocks and I'll change direction. Right here, right here, right here. A lot of different colored blocks. I hope these aren't like filling out my inventory. Oh, they really are. Oh. <laughs> we got brown terracotta. Yeah, we do. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks, Gabe. You really shouldn't have. Okay. It always reminds me of System of Down. You might have to find a stone mountain. I don't know if a mesa is classified as a mountain. Well, we'll go down anyway. We'll go down anyway. We'll see if there is actually something beneath here. Good. 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 Uh, do you know what, like, height these underground cities uh, spawn at? Because if you tell me that, I'll be able to figure that out very, very quickly, whether or not we uh, actually have one beneath here or not. I'm putting a torch down whenever it's, like, really difficult to see as well. It'd be kind of nice if torches gave off light while they're in your off-rand. It's a little bit of a shame that they aren't. Put one there. Hey! Already well! Usually at deep slate. Okay, we're going to mine all the way down. Finding a hell of a lot of gold in this uh, in this run, though. Like, a lot of gold. Damn it. I think that piece of dirt right there may have uh, robbed us of a piece of... of a piece of uh, gold. Okay, let's go ahead and continue downwards with our bare hands. Good, good, good. We're at dirt now. What level are we at? We are at 41. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue downwards. Down, down. And this one as well. Can we break things with our, with our crossbow without taking durability? Yes. Okay, that's good to know. It's awesome to know. Means we don't have to scroll up the hotbar so much. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Put one right there. Good, 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 good. Gold! Nice. Man, this has been a really lucky run so far. Usually we're not lucky at all. Usually, like, something comes out of literally nowhere and kills us. So pretty good so far. You can use it to trade with piglins for ender pearls and some other stuff? Yes, uh, that was definitely in the game back when I was playing it on PlayStation. A lot of people would, like, farm up piglin spawns, I think. Got a lot of coal here. Uh, we can definitely turn this stuff into... What do we turn it into? Torches, right? Because we're realistically probably not going to use it for anything else. Well, that's a lot of all... Is the Mesa got, like, way higher item spawn rates than any other place? Because we found a lot of good stuff here already. All right, let's get the uh, good pickaxe off of our hopper. Excellent. And now we're going to turn. Yep, got to put down a marker. A little marker torch right there. We're at granite now. Good, good, good. Bust through all of this. And we busted through our pickaxe, which is not amazing. Let's just go ahead and make a... Make a crafting bench down here. And because we've got lots of sticks and stone, let's just put this down. And we'll make a spear. Boop. Boop. Here we go. Done. And we continue onwards. Efficiency waits for no man. Good. Maybe like one more drop and then we will... Have a torch and then we'll do a spin. Awesome. Lapis lazuli. I love that. I think cyan is probably my favorite color in the game. It's like a dye. I think cyan is just the best. I think lapis lazuli is probably a, a close second, which is weird because my, my favorite color outside of Minecraft is orange. Weird. Weird as hell. Okay. I'm all the way down here. Might have to go to a snowstone mountain. Oh, piss on that. <laughs> There's nothing there. We played a hardcore world uh, with a, a snowstone mountain just spawning in front of us. On, we were on top of it, and uh, I looked around and I was just like, absolutely not. There was no food sources, there was no, like, um... There was nothing good. There was nothing good. And monsters were still spawning everywhere. Under all the trees, stuff, there were skeletons all over the place. I like black and green. What, like the combination of the two? Black's not a colour, so your favourite colour is probably actually realistically going to be green. Uh, black is a shade. Okay, so, like, 
how guaranteed are these ancient cities? That is probably my next question. Also, we're at Deep Slate. I don't hear anything. Yeah, I think we got nothing down here. It's a good, oh, I'm so glad that stone can actually mine through this stuff. Oh, never mind. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, we didn't find any sheep for wool, did we? What level are we at? We're at zero. We are now at literally zero, and now we're at negative one. Huh? Are you taking the pith? We're at negative one. Weird. We're like a 70% chance. I play yourself, off, by the way. It's so fun, isn't it? My God. I wish I could still play it, but my health's gotten the better of me recently. You're usually unlucky if you don't find one. Okay, I think we may have just gotten really unlucky, but in saying that, diamonds. Literally immediate wealth. So it was worth it was worth coming here, regardless. I feel like the Mesa actually does have higher spawn rates of good things. There's a this is way more diamonds than we had last time, too. Uh, let's get rid of this brown terracotta. It's significantly less valuable, I would say, than diamonds. Good. Okay. Is this gravel? What the hell? How deep does this game go now? Because we're at negative values. Diamond! Cave noise. What the? Whenever you say Mesa, I think you're saying Mace. No, I'm definitely saying Mesa. Okay, we got some gold right here as well. Awesome. What level is this? Negative 13. What? Oh, please don't have lava in it. We've boxed ourselves in here. Uh, actually, let's kind of like make a little escape hole just in case we need it. Because if there is lava around here, I don't want to be fall victim to it. Okay. So hopefully there's no lava on this side. Okay, good. I was actually prepared to kind of like put a block down immediately. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and yeah, continue on this little staircase. And we'll block that up so nothing ever comes through it ever again. We're coming back down. What is, what is the deepest level? Does anybody know? Okay. We're doing that thing again where we uh, make another crafting table. It's like, kind of like a milestone, I suppose. And we're going to use it to make ourselves a brand new spanking stone pickaxe. Double stone, yes. Piss off, seriously. Diorite is worthless. What about tough? Can we use that? No, we cannot. That sucks. What about cobble deep slate? Yes. Done. Awesome. Negative 64 is the max level. Okay, so that's like bedrock, is it? Because I think in the um, in the actual bedrock version of the game, the lowest level is just zero. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was just significantly shorter. I, I could actually be wrong here. Yeah? Okay. We got four diamonds. That's pretty good, actually. Hey, gold! Hell yeah. Uh, we'll use our, our iron pickaxe to get this. Is there any more? Yes. Any more? Yes. Absa goddamn well lootly. Holy hell. Look at all this. This is wealth. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. Excellent. Good. Okay, we've got a little hole to jump up on now. Excellent. I like this. Yoink. Great. Uh, I'll put a torch in there, obviously. And let's continue digging down. Lowest level is minus 64 in both versions. Oh, okay. It's got to be significantly shorter in the uh, the bedrock version, though, because I do not remember getting to kind of like anything that looks like this and being able to go any further than that. Well, maybe the uh, update with the copper kind of changed everything. Because that's when I stopped playing it. When the copper kind of ruined um, a perfectly good series of maps that I'd already spent thousands of hours playing. Okay. So, coming down here, what else are we going to find? Still have not found a single stick of redstone. That's weird. That is weird, isn't it? To find no redstone anywhere? Okay, good. Come down here. Bust down here. Gotta check the time as well. Okay. 
got like 10 more minutes and then I've got to go and be somewhere else. Uh, we'll kind of like see this hole through, I think, all the way down to level 64, because I think we probably have a good chance of getting down there. If we just check our uh, depth, we're at negative 31. Okay, let's go down to negative 64 and we'll see whether or not we can't like find some really good resources down there or something. I think there's mossy cobblestone under us. I seem to remember that indicating a spawner of some sort. Okay, good. There is definitely not an ancient city here. Ah, we'll see the hole down. We'll, we'll, we'll see it all the way through. Because there may be something down here. There might be a nice wee reward. We've already found like, what, five diamonds? Four diamonds? Yep. That's, I mean, that's reward enough for a single excursion into a random ass cave to see whether or not there is in fact an ancient city of, of immeasurable wealth beneath the weird colored rocks. Like considering that we just went for a, a Hail Mary dig underneath a, a pile of rocks, a pile of weird colored rocks, we've got quite a lot. We hit diamonds twice, which is more than we found when we were strip mining the game. Maybe we want to see if this place is our mine. Okay, good. I'm hoping that we're not just gonna like drop into a monster spawner or, or something like that. That would suck. Okay, I've got a little weird cave ambience. That was strange. Where are we? We are at negative 45. No shot, we only did four. Is my mind playing tricks on me? I feel like we went further down than four blocks in the time it took me to check the depth. Maybe I'm wrong. There is a cave near a mountain that usually leads to an ancient city. Ah, that's good to know. I found a bunch of caves, like huge mouths of caves. In fact, the last world we rolled on hardcore was literally nothing but cave mouths. So maybe it was just like uh, some kind of mecha, some kind of underground mecha, where all of the monsters uh, had to do pilgrimage to. Are these squeaking? Oh, thank the Lord. Finally. Yes. Damn it. I hit the torch off. Redstone. We can get automation set up, but we're going to have to do it in the next uh, session because I have to go very shortly. Okay, good. Uh, we probably want to throw this red terracotta out and also that out so we can get all this redstone. Good grief. We only needed a few blocks and now we've got it. So this is going to basically eliminate our food shortage. Put that there. I'm still going to keep on digging down though. Let's see what's all the way down here. We'll see this through. Uh, let's get our stone pickaxe back. Hopefully it's not going to be nighttime when we get back out of this hole though. That'd be a nightmare to parkour through. Huh. Redstone! It is redstone! I can't believe we found diamonds like three times before we found any redstone. That is really unlucky. Oh, that's got a weird texture to it. Is this bedrock? Yes! We've had bedrock! We got nothing for it! Woo! Woo! We got nothing! Woo! <laughs> oh, apparently I'm picking up a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's right. We made some room because our pickaxe broke. Okay. There's only one thing that I want to do before we kind of like call it, right? I want to see if we can't like get a stone axe in one hand to attack. And then we'll see if we can't, uh, like, shoot the crossbow at something in the right hand. Because if we can offhand the crossbow, it would be significantly better than the bow. In my opinion. This might be a hot take. It might actually be better than the bow. Simply because you don't have to wait for the draw time. You just kind of, like, flick and shoot and then use the axe in between shots. It gives you free damage, essentially, is what I'm, is what I'm getting at. It gives you a free hit. Especially if you're trying to, like, charge up and, and time the drop assassinations with the axe. All right, here we are. Should be back at the entrance because we're going through the colors. Excellent. Nice. Hey, it's daytime. I love that. Excellent. Okay, let's go find something to potentially shoot because I don't know whether or not this is actually a thing. There's a rabbit over there. Do we want to maybe uh, try our chances with this rabbit? Actually, we'll try for a chicken because if we can get a chicken, it'll probably drop feathers and feathers are probably significantly more helpful to us than whatever rabbits drop. It's probably just like <laughs> glucose poos or something like that. Did you know that rabbits are uh, poo candy? I bet nobody knew that. I bet nobody here knew that rabbits are uh, poop candy. I'm sorry. It's okay, King of Spiders. We got diamonds and we're about to find out whether or not this crossbow you told me I couldn't craft is actually going to be an offhand godsend. So, either way, 
Like, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about being wrong. Failure, I, this is an Einstein quote, failure is still discovery. Failure is still discovery. That is a very, very powerful quote. One hit, nice. And I'm gonna do it again, nice. Drop assassinating the sheep for their wool. You can't run away from me, sheepy weepy. Nice. Excuse me, sir, have you heard, uh, do you have time to talk to us about our Lord and Savior, the axe drop? Nice. It's like a guillotine, essentially. Just an axe dropping. I'm like the headsman now. Oh, chicken. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta uh, be stealthy about this, right? We gotta sneak. We, we don't wanna frighten them. What the hell is on top of that tower? We've been on top of that tower. There's no one up there. Is that a ghost? Oh my God, is that the ghost of the, uh, is that the ghost of the traitor that we killed? There's an armadillo here. All right, there's a chicken. I'm gonna, t I'm, I'm stuck on something. I'm gonna take its egg and then we're gonna see whether or not this functions. All right, let's see. Oh my God, it works. It works! That actually works! Can we get the arrow back? Oh, hell yes! Okay, so we gotta charge it up, which is fine. It does a bit of damage, actually. Pretty good, I like that. There you go, King of Spiders. Redeemed. Okay, let's get rid of some of this kind of crap stuff. Actually, maybe tough is gonna be better than this yucky old diorite. Uh, chicken meat, probably not too helpful for us right now. Excellent. Good. Sorry, Chicky. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this crossbow back up. I love that so much. Do you think it would one hit like a sheep or something? Oh, we lose the arrow when it connects with a mob. That makes sense, actually. I definitely see someone on top of that tower. Okay. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to go and see whether or not uh, we are actually cursed and we're being haunted by the ghost of the traitor that we knocked off of that tower. Because we did kill him in a pretty ridiculously gory way, to be quite fair. We did murder him. Are we being haunted? Or is it just a vagrant? What's he doing? Hello? If we put a bell on top of this tower, right? I imagine this is like a scout and he's just kind of like looking around. Because we've always seen people at the top of this tower. So if he is scouting out around the place and he sees a raid or something, will he hit a bell? Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Whoa, look at that. I didn't see that cave last time. Cool. I'm still discovering things in this game. That is right on our doorstep. There's another village right over there, a temple as well. Okay. I'm going to get out of my way, you penis. I'm going to say facing that temple so we know exactly what we're doing as soon as we start the next session. All right? Okay. So that's it. That's all I've got time for. I have to go away. I have to do a couple of uh, boring, normal IRL things. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Minecraft that I have made. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community personally. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>